Okay, guys. Uh, so this is what I started. But I want to restart a game. English... VO? What is VO? English VO. Hehe, <laughs> a vibration on, of course. <laughs> Gameplay feedback. Uh, crash reporting. What is that? Seems good to me. Is there no other options? Close. Credits. I want to start a new game. What am I, what am I going to do? Okay, I'm scrolling all the way down now so I can see you guys. Voice over. Voice over. Voice over? Is it not voiced? <laughs> Liz, what difficult is chat backseating? <laughs> nightmare. The backseat level is nightmare. <laughs> So those options are for the launcher. Uh-huh. Start. It's just a launcher for the three games. The options are in each game once you launch it. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Oh, is that the the old picture? Oh, you don't see it, huh? Why don't you see it? weird. Oh, there you go. Press the any key. Okay. Bing. Oh, that sounds funny. Does it work for you guys? Oh, yes. Hello? No capture. Okay. We gonna fix these. Just double check. Okay, wait. I'm just I'm just check double checking something. Uh oh. work anymore. Ah, here you go. Uh, start new career. Uh, gamer mark and broke and trashman thanks to the follows. I have music at least. Bing bong boon! Hi, how are you? Welcome! Thank you so much for the raid! How you doing? Liz! Hi, Cage! Oh, you you know Bing? Wow, the word is so small. But of course you're playing lots of Fallout, and Bing is attracted by all the Fallout players, right? Can I make it... Options. Sound is so loud. Oh no, dialogue is always good, but master? Sound effects? I feel like it's super loud. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Artist, hi, welcome. Hello, mate. <laughs> yeah, I know I know Bing Bong Boon for quite some time now. Thank you very much for the raid. How was your stream? What did you do, Bing? Uh, select. Graphics. Ooh. So where's motion blur? Where do I turn off motion blur? Blech. There you go. <laughs> Lunatic, thank you so much for the... Five gifted subs, thank you so much. Is, does the music ever get like... <gasps> ah, monitor selection, okay. Never mind. Film grain, initializing. Okay, seems fine. Bing! Hey Liz, been a while. I'm never up this late anymore. I was doing some Fallout 4, no hood permadeath. Of course, you legend. Guys, if you want some Fallout 4 um, permadeath, no hit shenanigans, go check out Bing Bong Boon. Legend. 
Thank you so much, Lunatic, for the five gifted subs. Thank you. I'm just read the Wikipedia on the game. Now I'm really curious about it. Alas, the usual Freddy lurk applies. Aw, thank you very much for lurking. Why is this game so loud? Is it is it like the typical menu stuff? Let's go. David, thank you for gifting Welcome sub to Cage and Bing. Enjoy the emotes. Oh. Classified information requested. Uh oh. This game's always loud. Establishing okay. secure Come connection. Whack. Secure connection confirmed. What's happening? <gasps> Ooh! Character creation, right? This is character creation? Okay, chat. What do we do? Do we go with John Shepard? Do we go with Jane Shepard? Or do we go with Commander Snoo Snoo? Our own creation, what do we do? Hi, Stan, hello! Enjoy the, enjoy the chonkies, everybody who got us up. What is the howling sound alert? That's my voice feedback. Hi, that's a uh, custom snoo 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 snoo. Okay. Custom female. Do we do we play female or male? Is every everything bisexual in this game or? <laughs> I want as much snoo snoo as possible, guys. So what do we do? <laughs> I'm gonna go with yes. Femshep? I know that I decide, but... Both get snoo snoo. Yeah, but what gets... Is, is it always the same amount of snoo? <laughs> snoo snoo helicopter. I think so. Liz, chat, welcome to the Lizard Nation, our first boss today, character creation. Do we want to look good or maybe mean? In about an hour, it'll be seen. Later, we shall embark on the main quest, trying to snoo snoo alien butts and chest. What? What? To Earth, we assume we'll say farewell while we explore space around the Citadel. Okay. Only some NPCs are bisexual. Hmm. A trusty potato and hell. Thank you very much for the false. I don't. I think it was muted. Unless there's a pair of you for you in either, so you call V Slam maybe V Slam. Hmm. 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 But I have to say, John Shepard looks mighty fine, doesn't he? It's always the same amount of snoo snoo. Okay. <laughs> uh, for anything, Lizbo definitely wants some jiggly booty. Wait, there's jiggly booty physics? Damn. This game gets better by the minute. I haven't even played yet. Hi, <laughs> Don't Welcome. Hi, Ming. Gender doesn't matter. We played a female. Tarnished. We played a female in Diablo. Maybe we go with something male then for a change. Yeah, I know the default male is an actual model. I know. Hi, Sarandon. Welcome. Lots of booty. Go customize. Let's Please try. Please log in to access your profile. What? No. Go back. I want. How? I didn't want to call her Jane. No. Warning, no. data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Back. Please log in to access your How profile. Do I, uh, this cannot be done with a controller, this bullshit. Liz. No, wait. Can I, can I say commander? How, how am I putting in my... This is bullshit. <laughs> Why is this so tough? <laughs> Warning. Data corruption detected. No. Please no. reconstruct. Profile. No. No. Cute AI. Confirm no. preserve. Please log in to access your profile. So it's always Shepard, yeah? Okay, so Liz Shepard? The real question is who says you stupid jellyfish? Line better. What? You cannot change last name. Why not? I want it to be Commander Snoo Snoo. Uh only first name can be changed since everyone calls you Shepard. Aha! Hi, Skelly. Go welcome. Hi, Lane Tai. It's only for a save file. Okay. Like I said, first boss right here. Okay, Liz. Is that Hippo? Oh no. Okay, never mind. 
We'll call you Shepard anyway, okay? Hi, Stan. Hi, Blue Panda. Warning. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Okay, I shall do that. Confirm pre-service history. A spacer, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Colonist, you were born and raised on Minduir, Min Minduir? Mindua? A small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindua, Mind Minduir, Minduir? I don't know, slaughtering your family, oh no! And friends, you were saved by a passing alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Earthborn, you were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of pretty petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Let's go with Earth Confirm psychological profile. Soul survivor, war hero, or ruthless. Soul survivor, during your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. Ooh, I like that. War hero, early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risk your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Ruthless. Danger copter, what the? <laughs> Holy smokes, thank you so much. Hi, username, welcome back to Lurk. Thank you very much for lurking. Danger Copter, thank you so much for the 6,900 bits. Holy moly. With just 69 bits more, you could have played a sound. <laughs> I think it's Rocket 69, Rocket 69. But I think no nobody ever played this before. Thank you very much for the 6,900 bits. Nice. Thank you, guys. The first goal of the day is full. Thank you very much. Can we get a spoiled background story where we have been born into a rich family with access to expensive firearms? I, I don't think so. Uh, Ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless, ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Nice. Um... Do these backgrounds, psychological profiles and stuff, do they have an impact on your choices and, um, like, uh, the dialogue options, like in Cyberpunk? So I can say different things depending on what background I chose? Yes! Ooh, wow. Hi, Ellen, welcome. They get referenced in dialogue. Aha, uh -huh, I bet they must do. Yes, the minor story changes. Okay, okay. Shuriku, thank you very much for the follow. Not as much. I feel like Soul Survivor sounds nice. I don't want to be a hero in roughly sounds mean, so I'm going to be a Confirm Soul Survivor. Military specialization. What's that around my hand? Soldier. Soldiers are combat specialists, ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Soldiers have improved health, can specialize in the use of all weapon types, start with the ability to wear medium armor, and can train in the use of heavy armor. That sounds good. Engineer. Engineers are tech specialists. Using the holographic Omni tool, is that the thing around my hand? They can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. Woo! Engineers can only wear light armor, and they specialize in pistols. Adept. Adepts are biotic specialists. Through upgradable implants, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, and disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only wear light armor, and they specialize in pistols. Infiltrator. I don't see the question, Maria. Good point. Hi, Shuriko. Welcome. 
Infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. A sentinel. Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies, though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. They are more efficient at attack and biotics than other classes, but at the expense of combat. Sentinels can only wear light armor and receive no specialized weapon training. A vanguard. Vanguards are biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short, short range. They specialize in pistols and shotguns and wear medium armor. <sighs> Ooh, that sounds interesting. I like shotgun. I'm more... Like, typically I go more with rifles. But, like, there was one with sniper, right? Was it this one? I like snipers as well. I like <laughs> rifles and snipers, shotguns, I basically like everything. I love Vanguard. A dead Jedi with a pistol. Looks like a Sith to me. <laughs> Infiltrator sniper. Yeah, that sounds sounds like it, yeah. Yeah, anyway, a long range. Mm -hmm. So... Soldier sounds like an all-rounder. Right? Front lines, though. Mm -hmm. Can specialize in the use of all weapons. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Confirm facial identification. Ooh, change appearance. I can make her look around like this. Okay, nice, nice. Cycle presets. Ooh, purple hair. Ooh, I like this base. As a base. Medium to heavy armor. I don't know what the diff- like, is, a, is it bad to have uh, medium or heavy armor? Facial structure. Can you guys see her alright? Am I too much in the way? Skin tone. Can I be blue? So just a good starter. Okay. Complexion. Of course I want baby skin. Duh. Head. Neck thickness. No, I have a pretty small neck. Uh, do we make a Liz? Do we try to make a Liz? You're fine, Liz. Looks like Jack. Hi, Titan. Ed Titan, sorry. My male shepherd looked always the same with being bald and having a slight bit of beard. Beard is nice. Face size. Wait, could you could you look in the center? In the center, honey. Oh, okay. Okay, I understand. Cheek width. I was told to be cautious about the cheekbones, so we make we make her not as cheeky. <laughs> Cheekbones, uh... Let's go with medium. Cheek gaunt. What is gaunt? <laughs> You're not going away from the screen, not hiding your character creation. Would heavy armor slow you down a bit or take up more inventory? I would go with medium, so I have good protection and I'm still not super slow. Commander Snoo Snoo. Hi, Comaker. Thanks for the lurk. Uh, what, what, is, what is this? Oh, it's like... Okay. I think, right? Yeah, no, we don't- I don't want that. Ear size. Okay. Ears orientation. Okay. Oh, they're like... Aw, that's kind of cute. Let's go with medium. Okay, eyes. I love a good uh, um, character creation thing. Armor does not slow you down. Okay, that's good. Oh, what? Okay, look, look in this, look in the middle. Oh, that look, that looks bitchy. That looks like. <laughs> I 
perfect bitch face. <laughs> Themed emotes are always creative, and the waving Asari is no exception. Asari? Oh, you mean, uh, Liara. Hi, Crikey, hello. It only affects accuracy? What? Mary Shepherd has always looked the same. Pretty by default. You can even say he was default Shepherd. <laughs> Hi, Tech, hello. Hey, Hades. Liz plays Mass Effect. Okay, I'm now your biggest fan. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi, Sally, welcome. So happy you're playing this. Welcome to the ME family. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Dirato, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Hi, Mar. Good to see you. Okay, do we go with the big eyes or do we go with the bitch eyes? Were these the bitch eyes? I kind of like the big ones. No, oh, hell no. Yeah. I mean, I do have big eyes, so... My <laughs> beach eyes better. Hi, Liz. Hope you're doing okay. I'm doing great. How are you, Tech? Just saying, but sitting kind of sideways with one leg up on chair is rather uncomfortable. Maybe I need to move to the couch and put Liz on my TV. Hell yeah. Big Liz. <laughs> beach eyes. She looks kind of cute, though, right now, doesn't she? I depth? Oh, like as in into the skull? Yeah, I think this is okay. Brow depth. Oh, as in... Yeah, this is okay. Brow height. Oh, oh could you... <laughs> but I, we, we totally need different eyebrows, though. I like the cut, but I don't like the shape of it. Hi, Sweezes, welcome. Because we're better to see from far, if, if it's from far, far away. It's good for cutscenes, okay. Shepard constantly looking surprised, like, oh! oh. <laughs> she looks kind of like. <laughs> Iris color, green, 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 green. What do we have? Ooh. Is there purple? Oh my god, is there purple? I might have to do Yennefer if there's purple. Uh, give me purple, baby. Oh, purple eyes. Oh my god. Get coolie, thanks for the follow. A quick tip, write down the face code because Mass Effect 2 and 3 do your ME character dirty in some areas, so do, you might edit the, her there. Okay. Hi, Flo. Hello. Hi, Quite For sure, good to see you. This getting a close for the eye color. Yeah. That's kind of purplish, right? Do we go with green eyed Liz or do we go with purple? I have to see you when I, when I go with jaw. Mouth? What is the mouth shape? What is that? <laughs> Rabbit. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Um I think this is my shape, but it's too big. Uh can I make it smaller? Kade no, that was not Kardashian, that was like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Hi, Hoipling, how are you? Welcome, good to see you. Crossington, hello. Purple eyes, purple eyes. Is that okay for my lips? guess so. No. What? No. No. Nose. Uh, it's so hard to make her look straight at me. 
Okay, maybe I have to see your site profile. tough <laughs> what kind of a nose do I have <laughs> we make a female Trevor what no of course not hi Mikey <laughs> snoo, snoo. <laughs> she, she looks constantly surprised oh no okay uh, if this wouldn't be like so wide it would be okay I miss Trevor Trevor was nice Remaking, remaking your face? I'll try to orientate it on it. Nose height. Ah, okay. Uh, nose depth. Yeah, like this. But it's just too, so wide. Because Liz constantly surprised. <gasps> Here, makeup scar. Ooh, scar. Ah. Ooh, I can give her witcher scars. Right? Or do we want scars at all? Do we want scars? Poor Teddy. What? Trevor was Trevor. One of the most time-consuming parts of the RPG is the character creation. Hey, Silk, I really love that stuff. Blush color. I don't like blush. Lip color. Ooh. Something dark? Ooh. No, I want something... Dark purple is nice. Does the makeup look weird? Okay, what kind of makeup do you offer, game? Okay, I see nothing good, really. I watched Liz GDA's five best bits on YouTube the other day. I had my household in tears of Troy. I loved her <laughs> so good. <laughs> Glad she liked it. Oh my! This makeup, these makeup choices are horrible. What the hell? Uh, hair, hair color, uh, brown, what kind of Karen haircut is this? I like big buns and I cannot lie. Okay, they don't have long hair, do they? Uh oh. Bear, thanks for the follow. This is the Karen, hell no. Can I not change change the app? Oh, there you go. Wait, hair? Brow. Aw, now she looks sick. Look, look in the center. Commander Karen, I want to speak to your captain. <laughs> wow, 20,000 eyebrow plugging. Shit. Oh boy. Uh, okay, these are by far the best so far, but still horrible. This looks kind of natural. I think she slipped. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with those. Brown color, definitely black. May not so black. Maybe, maybe this? No, this. <sighs> the hair options don't make me happy, guys. Ashley hairstyle? Ashley? Maybe she's just a tough soldier, you know? They don't need haircuts. Uh, like, hair. Cool, there's some pattern in there. Nice. I guess this is the closest to what I would wear. 
does look a little Karen-y, though. Blech. Such a helmet, though. <laughs> it's kind of cute. I'm not happy. Uh-uh. Now you know why uh, my male shepherd always was bold. Okay. I guess this is it. Can we can can we fix the Can we fix the the makeup though? Ay 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 ay. Gotta be toxic game. Soldier cuts can only be a certain length, really? God damn it. Dear God. This is so bad! Why? I'm gonna- I'm just gonna regret that I pick something and then I'm gonna, gonna look horrible in every cutscene. I'm like, oh no, what did I do, you know? Oh uh, boy. Okay, maybe go with pink, but then I have to change the eye color again. Eye color. Go back to green, ladies and gentlemen. Dark green. Is this okay? Can we live with this? Is this okay? For what it's worth getting Shepard to look good and Mass Effect 1 is near impossible without mods, okay? Hi nerds, welcome, minibus. Hi, good to see you. Good to look horrible regardless. Oh, great. Good to know. How am I gonna save the code, though? Finalize? Profile reconstruction complete. This is fine, right? This is fine. Commander, where is the manager list? I don't know, Rink. Oh, uh, sorry. You're <laughs> pink as Rink. Hi, Merlin. <laughs> sorry. Jedi, thank you very much, Jedi, for the- for the- I'm always saying Jedi. Why? Yeti. Yeti? I always struggle with pronouncing- uh, pronouncing- uh, Yeti. <laughs> German. This, of course. What? Hi, Flo. Welcome. This is fine. Identification confirmed. Aha! Combat difficulty. We have quite the choices, guys. What do we pick? Bork, thank you very much for the follow. Guys, what do we pick? I usually like to play in harder difficulties, but I don't know how hard this game really is, so... How hard is the game, for reals? Your shepherd just put on a helmet. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. This question about who created came up. Yeah, it's, it's always me. I always make my own emotes and everything on the channel. Yeah, the music is a bit scary, right? Toxic? I agree. I think vet pretty much is in the middle, right? So that seems to be like casual too easy. Um, normal, hmm. Veteran seems like a little bit of a challenge. Uh, without having played the game, maybe veteran then. Have you played Star Wars games? No. Insanity is kind of rough for first playthrough. Hardcore is doable. Can you increase? Can you increase the difficulty as you go? Because if if I'm if I'm under like if I'm getting bored or something that I'm gonna increase it then. Auto level up off. Level scaling. I don't know what that means. Squad power usage defensive. I don't know. Subtitles on. Auto save on. Enable tutorials on. Confirm. Are we good with this? Hi Thanos, welcome. Hi Moon, good to see you. Hello, hello. Hi, Kuali. Veteran is fine. You might be good with Hardcore too. Legendary Edition is overall easier than Origin. Okay, but we can increase it just as we go. I don't want to be like, ugh. <laughs> Discourage, you know. 
What is auto level up? Well, I assume adjust whether points are automatically or manually assigned each time a character advances in level. Oh wait, for others? So not for me, but for my for my teammates. Hi, oh my darling, welcome. Spend four hours making a character put on your character's head first helmet. You find because it's plus one armor. <laughs> for everyone, no for you. Off only squad, and all our options. You can choose. I'm gonna take it. Squad only. Aha! So I can say they're gonna auto level up my squad, but I'm gonna level up myself, right? This way. Hi, Miles. Most difficult was in the original ME back then, not to buck somewhere or the game crashing. Oh boy. Choose your destiny. Yep. Okay. That sounds good. We're starting, guys. Weak. Here we go! Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. Ooh, nice she voice. was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for herself. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Yeah, Jack. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization in the decades of follow that followed. These mysterious artifacts revealed starting new, ne new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis of this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilization called it the Mass Effect. Who can read that fast? The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? The music's epic already. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. Relay is hot. Acquiring Acadis. approach vector. All stations secure for transit. <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> the board is green. Approach run has begun. What is that thing? It looks like a cannon. Are they flying inside of it? Hitting the relay in three, two, one. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, like, what was that lightning speed? Thrusters, Did they like speed up? Check navigation. Joker. Check internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Nihilus. Isn't that the I same that kind guy. of Garrus? Hi, Hans. Hello. Nihilus gave you a compliment. Hi, Vileton. Good to see you. So you Special. Hi. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this. <laughs> Call me paranoid. You're They've paranoid. <laughs> to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. Mohammed, thank you very much. Only an idiot believes the official story. Oh, I can make decisions. Ooh, I agree. You're overreacting. Cut the chatter. Hi, Ellen. Hello. Played this game so many times and still got chills for the intro. Hi, terrible. Usually, the first cutscene tells you, tells how well your custom character looks. Yours looks great. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. Eulis, hi, ECGM. Off turbulence, seatbelts on, chat. Uh, okay, so, yeah, it's the official story, but only an idiot believes the official story. I agree, you're overreacting. Uh, I'm gonna excited to see how my voice sounds. You overreacting? You always expect the worst. 
Ooh. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Kazan, thanks for the follow. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Voice seems familiar. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. Veteran, that, Commander? for now. Joker sounds like Seth Green. It's Chris Pratt. Oh no, Chris Pratt. Joker, you got that, Commander? Is he upset? I heard. You made him mad? I heard. I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> oh, that me! Let's go! Press button to access the mission computer. Oh, radio menu, map. Okay. Save, load, exit game, options, main menu, equipment. I have no equipment yet. Oh, sad. The squad. The squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Use the arrow keys to select a talent or its rank. Press A to spend a talent point to gain a rank in the selected talent. As you gain levels, you will acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. Just as Witcher. Talents must have been popular in 2007. List title change veteran difficulty list shepherd or we keep commander snooze we, we keep commander snoo snoo but you can add in uh brackets you can you can add a uh, veteran or something list is voiced by chris pratt. i am i am voiced by chris pratt okay level 36 out of 300 no level 1 36 out of 300 experience okay health winner 5 out of 105 okay Okay. Ooh. I hope I'm going to be able to probably play Caden. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Okay. Uh, I hope I hope I can properly play this with mouse uh, with controller. We're supposed to talk to him. We're getting dragged. Right along Navigator Presley. Hi. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like I we had a smooth fire run. Through. You heading down to see the captain? He wants to see me. I heard you arguing. Arguing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy. Your character looks like your sister. I have no sister. <laughs> I was. I was voiced for Chris Pratt <laughs> for a week in the 70s. <laughs> Hi, Hayden Hats, welcome. Uh, uh, he, he wants to I'm see me. I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. What do you mean? I'll look into it, goodbye, just do your job. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a spectre, a Turian spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Investigate or look into it. Uh, why is this on one side? Why, why, why is this so different? I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Okay. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place spectres visit. There's something not Dr. Dr. Check West. About Oh, sorry to interrupt you guys. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Left side may give you more choices, Liz. Aha. Uh -huh. Investigate opens up more inquisitive questions to learn stuff. So is it always on that side, like Mal Malakato just said? So, when it's like on this side here, on the, on the left, Aha, uh -huh. why don't they tell you that? Oof. Relax, Jenkins, the doctor's right. Part of the job, doc. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up new members in the infirmary. Part of the job, dog. Well, yeah, patching up crew members as a doctor is part of the job, yeah. 
Before it gets repeated a lot, I think you can infer the options are arranged based on your response style. Left is more info. Right side is order based on how good top is better. Bottom is more harsh. Well, that I could figure out myself, but um, that this this part was like the left side was not explained really, was it? <laughs> uh, 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 but this Marines are meant to fight. You just fix us up and we're done. I know how things work, Commander. I've Can seen you pause? my share cannot of pause. combat, but it's I hate when they... to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the captain. He's not I don't afraid like of that. combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a specter on board. It's so, it's so silly when they say, when, when the option seems like, okay, and then they completely change the content of what was offered, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna pick this, and then it's like completely different. Before, it, dup, 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 dup. I like Jenkins. Hi, Australia, welcome. Hi, don't panic. Hi, Johnny. It's like that in all three games, takes getting used to. Uh. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. Investigate... the Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. So, are Spectres kind of a species or kind of an organization now? Do they always look like Nihilus? The quarry was the worst with that list. Well, but you can't expect that with super massive games, they're always the same. It's an organization. You're a specter? What? But why are they talking then? <laughs> Hi, Exoid. Group organization can look differently. So it's not, they're not always looking like Nihilus. Okay, good. Eden Prime. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. Nice. <laughs> but when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. Hmm. Why are we going there? So, am I done with... Return, yeah. Uh, why are we going there? Goodbye. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. Hey, lazy, That's why I'm so Polly, I can't wait for the real mission to start. Well, do humans not look the same always? But Nihilus didn't look human, that's why I'm asking. Uh, you'll define, it's just another mission. Okay. Uh, you, you'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Be careful, there's no rush, don't play the hero. Be careful. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Ezio, thank you. And Johnny, thank you for the follows. Now that I think about it, you could get a mod that changes the text every time it says Shepard to say Commander Snoo Snooky. <laughs> um... 
What? No. Um, is it graphics? I think the, the font could be a little bit smaller. Am I blind? I saw it before. What was it? Calibration? No. Sound? Nah. Controls? Gameplay? I swear I could see it before. Subtitles on, but... Hmm. Okay, never mind then. Oh, this is where I gotta go, right? Hello? Huh. Cool head and the is it war paint or just his skin? Commander Shepard, cool. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. He looks cool. Famous last words. Mass Effect Legendary is that I really wanted to buy it, but then I realized that I would simply make the same decision, which kind of made me realize that there was no reason for me to buy the game. Ah, uh, you would make the same decision. Where's Captain Anderson? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Eden Prime is considered the Earth? Because she says, I wouldn't know, but I picked she's Earthborn, so if it's the Earth, I would like to be honest. Earth is Earth. Okay, just, just making sure. Maybe they gave it another word later. Uh, Banky, thanks for the follow. Da, 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 da. Mass Effect is my favorite trilogy. I love this. <laughs> it's my first playthrough. I've never played or seen this. Um, I wouldn't know then. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Why are you asking? What's your point? Is that a threat? Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I don't know. I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. Uh-oh. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I knew it. What's going on? It's, that's obvious. I don't want to be cocky, so I'm going to be... What's going on? Is someone going to fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Oh, like the secrecy? You should have told me. Why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon hey, during Frank an excavation. Hard, Kai. It was Prothean. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. Was it Prothean? Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Oh, well, that's a long Their time. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. The Citadel is the base? With no joke, it totally feels like them made every character in game have its own personality. Do you like RPGs like The Witcher, Skyrim? Chat, do I like The Witcher? What do you think? Do, do I? Do I? <laughs> yes, I love The Witcher. And we played Skyrim. We played Skyrim twice on this channel, and we played all The Witcher games. Um, and we're gonna replay it again when the update upgrade comes out for Witcher Three. I plan on doing a theme playthrough. Well, I was a sole survivor, but I had PTSD. It was mostly Paragon. But if someone mentions Turians or Batarians. Forced to make renegade truce for five conversation options. Hmm. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Pressing X for death. The Citadel is the capital of the council. The council heads the alliance. Okay. So, no, you don't like them. 
Well, I'm righty then, you are. <laughs> we play lots of story games. Uh, why did we tell the council? So this is investigating, like, more information. Hi, Shelly, how are you? Why didn't we you? keep the beacon for ourselves? Welcome in, you my friend. humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What? Why? Hi, is your Sticolo? Liz haven't played Mass Effect before, well, this will be an experience. Yeah, it's my first ever playthrough. I never touched or seen this game. The memory of ME1 was when I spent quite some time on making my character look good and cool, and then the opening sequence camera shows Shepard at the bridge, and I was like, the hell is that? <laughs> Uh, I think I did okay. I hate the eye makeup, but that was the best they offered. Hi, Pop of No Regret. Hello. Hi, Sticky. Good to see you. What rank are you in Gwent? Hmm? I don't play um, the standalone Gwent game, but in Witcher 3, I. On my second playthrough, I did all Gwent matches and tournaments and stuff. And I think I did mo like the tournaments, both of them. The base game and the DLC one, I did them on first try, without loading. And I always played on hardest difficulty. And I got all the cards <laughs> as well, in my second playthrough. Wait, snoo snoo with Alien, snoo snoo with everybody. Uh, I should have known. Why? Like hell he is! Why? Like why could be just why? Okay, but why? But it could also be super bitchy. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Ooh, I'm joining. You put my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you ah. have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. So he is a Turian. We are an elite group. And that's it's the species. It's rare to find species. an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Mm-hmm, okay. If I'm not wrong, the original version of ME1 had, like, effed up light or something else, so your character looked different in character creation than in game. Mm-hmm. Protheans, Moltians, get to the part where you ask him if he wants to play Gwent. <laughs> mm, care for a round of Gwent? You support this, Captain? What's the next step? What if I refuse? What's the next step? Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Protheans. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Damn. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar Hi, travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Thank you so much for the seven months. Fish boss, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much for the seven months with Prime. Welcome back to the Chonkies. Enjoy the emotes. How are you doing, Siri? Good to see you. It's very complex, and, and I love it. I've played it for three years now, and I'm a pro rank. Wow. Uh, I like Nyla so far, Pragmatic. I think he looks super cool, especially with the... I don't know if it's paint or just the pattern in his skin. It looks very cool. Eden Prime. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. 
Beacon. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars... Hi, Tim. ...we'd still be stuck hey, on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Terminus systems? Holy thanks for the follow. Welcome. You should level up your squad. They will waste points for stuff that's barely used. But uh, I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know what's important, you know. Hi, Multiverse. Welcome. Hey, Dung. Today's my birthday. Happy birthday! Congratulations. Do you have cool plans for the day? Good to see you, Dun. Happy birthday. Terminus system. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing Artist, to start for the a follow. war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Okay, I asked everything. I'm ready to go, apparently. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. <laughs> What's okay. wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Soldier. Prime, sir. Siri. You better see this. Hi, music. Bring it Junty, up on screen. Hi. Uh oh. Get down, Ashley. Hi, Eric. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't. Get uh, evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. And they sent me down there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh wow. What the frick is that? Oh shit. Everything nuggets. cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Yeah, what is that? What what was that? <laughs> Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Is that a big hand? Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small the, the, strike fist, team can move for the quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Oh, do, oh, oh Tell Alenko and Jenkins to see hey, the plane. Hey, Painless, hi. Going in. Engaging stealth systems. Oh boy, here we go. Now let's excite. <laughs> Somebody excitement? was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Oh boy. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go <laughs> in heavy and head straight the to the dig site. From Elden Ring are here what too. about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Oh. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you Hi, status Chili. reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. He can count us. Can we trust him? Uh, I'm a soldier, and soldiers don't question, right? So we, he can count on us. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Oh shit. Say no. We are no approaching sign. drop point two. <laughs> hey, dark. Abandons during my place. Works decently. Okay. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Smells like smoke and death. Oh, this place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. So this is open world. Draw a holster weapon. What? This is how I draw my weapon? This button? Are you kidding me? And how do I shoot? Use RT to fire. Sustain fire causes weapons to overheat. Ah, oh, shit nuggets. What is this chonky but donkey thing? What? What are you? What the hell are those? 
gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Are they though? Can I shoot it nonetheless for practice? Hostile spotted. All clear. Are you attacking me now that I shot your friend? No? Okay, good. Use LT to oh shit, I didn't read. Do they drop loot? Can I loot here? Is there loot in the game, guys? I want to loot stuff. Oh, what's this? Is it debris? Upgrade kit. Nice. There is loot. I like loot. It's pretty much just corridors met wise. Ah, okay. Dip, 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 dip. LT to aim. LT. LT? Oh, ah. Oh, okay. That's good. Thank you. Use LT to aim. Aim increase accuracy, Liz. Okie dokie. Do we have to. Oh, oh god. god. What happened here? Big bada boom. I'll be to switch weapons for your squad. To change weapons, hold LB. Use ult to select a weapon. Aid or equip it. But I like my weapon. Equip Avenger. Kessler. Lancer, Storm, Avenger, Kessler, Equip Lancer. So we, we always have the... Okay. But... Ah! Oh, now I see the faces. Okay. So this is me, and these are my companions. Okay. So this looks like a shotgun or something. I think I want to use this. And maybe he should use this, and he should use this. Wow, sniper! I like. Oh, hi to flow. Oh boy. Oh man, Mass Effect. <laughs> hi for bar, dark lady, Mikey. Hi, you welcome. Less from the past. I've never played this. It's my first time ever. Ooh. Jenkins, are you gonna die? <laughs> what is that beep beep beep? Was it overheating? Uh oh. Yes. Are you okay? Rip right through what a pleb! We're out of chance. He deserves a burial. We can't, we can't help him now. We can't help him now. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Yes, beacon is top priority. Sea Power, thank you for the resubscription for nine months. Enjoy the emotes. Oh man. What a fucking pleb though. He just instantly died. Now I have just one companion. Could I have saved him or was that scripted? It was scripted. Okay, God damn it. See, Power, thank you very much for the nine months. Welcome back to the to the Chonkies. I hope you're doing great. Moving under the gun on the left side, Liz. Mm -hmm. Can I can I squat? Oh, <gasps> I can T back. Oh my God, perfect. It's gotta be fun. It's gotta be one hell of um medi jail gel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omni gel can be used to bypass the encryption and electronics challenges. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening Ah! Press Y to use Medi Gel to heal your squad. Already? But he was he was barely touched. List the tea bag queen. You guys know me. There was one more, right? I've got some burned out buildings Game levels here, use the squad screen to improve your team's abilities. Press the button to access and... Hmm. Uh, the squad. Do we already have points? Do we have points? I don't see points. Talents. Uh, uh, points three, okay. Uh, sword rifle combat armor. So I could just level up these two. Do we understand correctly? Teabag poggers. Nice. V bag. Three, two, one. Hi, Harrison. Hello, Chopsley. Cedar Moon. Olden. V slamming. Exactly. Hoipling, thank you very much for the 69. Liz, yeah? 
He was Richard Leroy Jenkins. He was supposed to die quickly. <laughs> okay. Alden, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Fancy to see you here. I'm... Hi. Hi, hi. I'm glad they've changed the handling of sniper rifles in Legendary Edition. I've never played the old one, so I don't know. List, they grade out unlock when you put points into the opened up above them. What? What? <laughs> Blue squares? Blue squares? Oh, these ones. You can upgrade everything that has a blue light boxes. Okay, so these three, assault training, assault rifles, combat armor, and pistols. That's re really his name, Liz. Richard L. Jenkins. Okay. <laughs> Most important game mechanic discovered. <laughs> Charm intimidate important stats. So, opens charm options conversation, decreases the cost of item in stores. Charm option conversations will be grayed out if you do not have a high enough skill rank. New skill ranks will unlock when you become a specter and you earn paragon points. IE Tronic, thank you very much for the two month resubscription. Enjoy the, enjoy the chunkies, welcome back. You can upgrade everything that has blue light boxes. Green you already have, gray you can't have yet, okay. Hi Christus, welcome Charm and Intimidator. Need points to open up extra conversation, that's that's good. How do I do it though? Purchase rank. Okay, so one is Intimidate. Sets Intimidate score at one, opens new dialogue options. Credits gained when selling items in stores. Intimidates option and conversation will be grayed out. Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, sometimes you just need to intimidate somebody. Okay, I understand. But what else do I want? Frontline warriors are trained to withstand the physical punishment that comes with combat. Increases health, allows a limited health regeneration. Okay. Soul training. Increases melee damage. So this is more damage and this is more armor. For sniper rifles, you need more points in assault rifle. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure if I want to stick with a uh, rifle. I might want to change the uh, weapon now, just to see, uh, test some other things. Good guy and renegade, bad guy. Okay. You should focus on one for starters. One weapon type. For example, snipers unlock once you reach the circled one. So, so you know, I love, I love snipers, but they're not always an option. If you're in a small room, it just sucks to, to play with a, uh, with a sniper. So, hi, Ink. Everyone is, is keeping well. I, I'm great. How are you doing? I love this emote so much. I'm, I am this emote. I'm glad you like it. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with soldier for now. Increase health by four percent. Regenerates three health per second. Yeah, seems good. For now. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. So wait, let me... Let me... Oh. Let's pick this. But then I need to be closer, right? Hydrate, okay. In a small room, you can just fall back. Nah, I need to be in the front to protect my squad. Use to, blah, 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 to issue orders to your squad. Attack your target. Have a specific squad made move to a point and attack the target enemy. Regroup and follow. Oh boy. To send this woman ahead, press to call him back. Liz effect! Yes, game render. I'm not sure I understand the sending people forward. Ah! So it's just one? Okay. Man, the weapons overheat so quickly. God damn it. Hello, you big chunk of a donka.
What was another one? Okay. Ow. There's loot. Hey Chen, have you heard about this great offer? For up to 2,000 channel points per stream, you can invest in a 12-hour stream by our lovely list to gain more channel points. <laughs> You're so sweet, thank you very much. Yeah, guys, if you want to have another 12-hour stream, just like... Just like this one, you can contribute now. Gonna go this, catch you later. Bye! Bye, Kenzo! Thanks for hanging out! Have a good day! Alexandria, thanks for the follow. Uh... Is this the alien snoo snoo that you guys told me about? Oh, I hope not. I hope, I sure hope not. Oh boy. Hey, wait, this is Ashley, right? Dude, don't waste the ammo. Yeah. I didn't think I was gonna make it. You pleb. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna talk to you in a bit. I gotta loot first. Most of Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. <laughs> you the one who charged your ma'am? What happened here? Are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Uh-oh. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life. <laughs> Why are you since. laughing? <laughs> you know, I, I was like, I'm gonna talk to you in a bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna loot this stuff. And she's like, hold on a second. I'm gonna talk to you right now. What happened to your unit? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. Mm. I don't think any of the others. I think I'm the only one left. Oof. Don't blame yourself. You abandoned them. No, don't blame yourself. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? The Geth? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Join us, take us there, stay here. Why would she stay here? I think we can do it ourselves, but maybe she, we want her to join. Hmm. Game was like, F the loot, cutscenes triggered. If there's there's not already, this would be a good sketch for Viva La Dirt League. <laughs> so this is playing all three parts in, this, in, a sequ in sequence. That is the plan, yep. If you guys enjoy it, me playing it, I mean. Best enemies of the Geth, yeah. What armor color would you like? Barbie pink, please. <laughs> Ashley is badass, and she's kind of cute. Hope she likes women. <laughs> uh, stay here, jo join, join us. So we lost one, so maybe join we us. could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Investigate Geth. Let's let's talk about Geth, baby. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. You Nobody's better enjoy really it, <laughs> Chet. <laughs> you better enjoy it, Chet. I need list to play all of you Mass Effect. <laughs> oh, evil. Beacon. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was Hey, interested. Esri, welcome. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. And the sign wait, investigates, before the attack. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until Booty the cameras. We never knew they were coming. Here we... Nihilus? Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Gabs Wizard! Luckily, Hi! he's on our side. 
Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Games Wizard, thank you very much for the five monthly subscription. I hope you enjoy the emotes. And thanks for giving me mana, <laughs> artist. Um, thank you very, very much, Games Wizard. Uh, back then, when I played a lot of ME, I did finish ME1 on a weekend with all side quests. Ooh. I don't know how long the games are. Let's go. Move out! Wow. Matze, thanks for the gifted sub. To... We'll see. Press the button to access the mission computer, then go to the squad screen to spend talent points. Okay. Squat. Overkill. Allows long bursts of assault rifle fire without overheating. Ooh. Is that what I just got? Ashley Williams. Ooh. Okay. Toggle helmet. Uh, uh, okay. I like you with your helmet on. <laughs> 40 to 60 hours. All games or each game? Those dialogue options that pop up on the main wheel usually belong to the investigation option that you can choose last. More like bad Ashley Williams. Bad Ashley. <laughs> each game. Okay. So she already works with the sword rifle stuff, and she has the overkill skill. Okay, and she has how many talents? Zero. Did I already spend one on accident? Okay, never mind then. K oh, K Kaden. He has zero. Why do they tell me to go here when there's zero points? I don't get it. Okay, journal. Prologue, find the beacon. You are in charge of the ground team dropped onto Eden Prime, an alliance colony under attack. Your primary goal is to find and secure the Prothean beacon. Uh, no assignments. Okay. Why is the journal still pop- Mark all entries viewed. Really? What is this, Discord? Sword by name. Oh, okay. Codex. Oh, this is like a- okay. Aliens, council raisers. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic ah, peacekeepers. Okay. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157 which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. Okay. 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy. They vanished in a swift galactic extinction. Only the legacy of their empire remains. They are believed to have built the mass relays and the citadel, which have allowed numerous species to explore and expand throughout the galaxy. Prothean ruins are found on worlds across the galaxy. Hi, Blue. While surprisingly intact for their age, functioning examples of Prothean paleotechnology are rare. Time and generations of looters have picked their dead cities and derelict stations clean. Some believe the Protheans meddled in the evolution of younger races. The Hanar homeworld of Kaje, for example, shows clear evidence of former Prothean occupation. The presence of a former Prothean observation post on Mars has caused a rebirth of interventionary evolutionists among humans. These individuals believe the god myths of ancient civilizations are misremembered encounters with aliens. Okay, lots of stuff. Everybody get the weapons out, please. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Okay, good. Can I pick up the loot now, or are you gonna interrupt me again, Ashley? Light armor, scorpion. Ooh. 
Reduce to Omni Jail or take all? I don't know. Hi, DLB. Welcome. Instead of Commander Shepard, it should be Commander Lizard. No, no, it's Commander Snoo Snoo. Yes, yes. The game is pretty cool about showing xenophobic people, races and stuff, and how to overcome them. Lore, nice! I want Baby Shepard setting out with the team in search for Father Mother Shepard. Legendary Edition Codex. Looks pretty cute. Take all, always. To change your team's equipment, press the button to access a minion co mission computer. Uh, the, the squad? And now I can change my outfit where? Oh. Uh, yeah, we have a 12 hour stream today. What is class playing? Soldier and veteran difficulty. We take it all. I want it all, I want it all, and I'm gonna take it now. Do, 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 do. What are these things, by the way? They're literally a little bit overkill, right? To pierce people on. I mean, the fuck? Oh. Run to the waypoint to take cover behind the rock. How do I run? Is this the fast, fast as I can go? Move to the edge and press RT to fire. There's nothing I can shoot at right now. There ain't nobody. <laughs> Why would I shoot now? It doesn't make sense. Okay. Throw a grenade and press it again to detonate it. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold A while moving to storm forward rapidly while in combat. Okay. Yeah. Press B to melee attack. Why would I melee attack? I have guns. Did I get something? That sounded like success. Can I take the loot before you guys catch me in a in a, in a cutscene again? Please. Oh. <laughs> this is the dig site. Why? The beacon was right here. It must I want have been the loot. Moved. By who? <laughs> Our side or the death? Hard to say. I'd say pirate. Maybe Welcome. we'll know more after we check out the research camp. <sighs> so sad. Equipment is the option you're looking for. Oh, that wasn't equipment? I wasn't- oh, okay. Any survivors? Let's go there. We're wasting time. Hard to say, maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Any survivors? You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Can I take the loot? Changing Why did you teleport shepherd. me away? There it's you go. a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. I'm gonna take it all. These- these people seem so tiny. Game trolling you. This looks like a portal of some sort. Yeah, pew pew. I'm Team Vanguard for life. Because they hate you stealing stuff. I'm not stealing, I'm taking for the group. Duh. Equipment, there it was. The equipment screen allows you to equip and upgrade your gear for your squad press, blah 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 blah, cycle types, blah blah blah. Equips the selected item, upgrade the equipped item, breaks down the selected item into Omni Jail. Okay, so every item of equipment that I can pick up, I can also break down into Omni Jail, which heals the entire squad, right? If I understand correctly. Okay. Caden, Alenko, or Ashley Williams? Whoops. Okay. I think we're good for now. Are you playing on Xbox? I'm playing on PC with a controller. Medi. 
Looks gel like heels. Omni gel is like current. Ah, it's, it's currency. Oh. Keep your guard up. Gel? What? I want to. I want to. Oh. Wow, they're glowing blue. It's. T oh. Oh, God. They're still alive. Oh, they are? What did the Geth do to them? Oh, shit, Nuggets. I think they corrupted them of some sort. Are you a zombie? <laughs> How the hell are you running, sir? Are you. Okay, I, th I think it's time to change the weapon to this. Oh boy. Damn, they're sturdy. Sheesh. Here, get the V-slam, mister. We gotta practice. There. Bam, 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 bam! Okay, sorry, guys. <laughs> this currency is credits. Medigel heals. Omnigel opens locks. I'm so confused. Everybody's saying something different. It's tech stuff. It's... It's currency. <laughs> it opens stuff. So confused. Ashley Williams, can I talk to you? It used to be beautiful here. Uh-huh. Smells like smoke and death. Oh, okay. No, not teabagging. We're v slamming because we lady. Closed. Security locks engaged. Some locked objects require decryption or electronics to access. If any squad members have the required talent, you will be able to unlock the object using the decryption or electronics interface, but or by spending Omni Gel. Okay. Advance to the central core. Use L to move around the ring. Press A and B to move forward move inward or outward avoid the security programs what the fuck begin menu override what what ah oh, okay i understand okie dokie can i look around first please i think there was loot Oh, I might burn. I don't want to burn. Frogger hacker 9000. <laughs> oh, what? No. No, no. I want Oh, Garrus. No, not my Garrus. What's his name? Nihilus. He looks fucking cool. Important unlike the old version legendary. I I don't know the old, old version anyways. Oh, this. What? Hi, Nihilus. Aspen. He looks this isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. Uh-oh. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Oh, hmm. He's dead anyways, right? So... What? Open. Humans. Thank the Maker. Who's Hurry. the Maker? Close the door before they come back. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. You open the door, but you don't open the door? Well, the thing is, I thought this is progress area. You know, I thought they give me a tutorial to open stuff and then I go into, an, uh, into a building. And I was like, okay, let me just quickly look into that area there, and then realizing that was progress, and this was just like extra stuff. Attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. Hi, Staunch. Welcome. What are you doing? One second, we were gathering up our equipment. 
The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. I've heard Shepard has survived both pepper spray and mustard gas. He's quite the seasoned commander. <laughs> I guess that's an insider joke properly with the pepper spray and the mustard gas, but yeah. Hey, Evercrow. Hey, Falorian, welcome. Hope you're well today. I am, I am. I have a slight headache, but I hope it's going away soon. How are you? First time I've ever I've noticed that when this pointed maker out. You can do whatever it is. Don't worry. Okay, that's good. Velison, hi. Y'all feeling good? Yes, yes. How are you? Hi, Phoenix. Hello, welcome in. Uh, Nihilus. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him. The prophet. Leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. So there's another one. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Beacon. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Mom, He's a bit cray please. cray. This isn't the time. Yoda, thank you very much for the seven month reset. Welcome back. Enjoy the emotes. Welcome back to the junkies. Use some Omni Gel. Why? Williams, for what? Take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody his voice. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Okay. When Chet talks about future stuff, how do you expect Liz to understand the ME memes when she's just starting? Yeah, I can't understand them. But yeah. For the headache? For what the what? What's the hardest part of treating that? a Turian? The distance. It's a ship! Look at the size of it! Ah, oh, that is the thing that we saw in the video. It's huge! It looks like an octopus or something. Bye! And my and my weapon is already over overheated. Looks so much more cool than I remember because it's a remaster version. I should not watch this. I got me a LA gift and I would play. Ah, yeah, do that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. So scary. I don't like these. Oh, she's alive. <gasps> she's also <laughs> Ashley, most valuable player. <laughs> Look at her. She's also V. She's V sitting. I'm so proud of you, Ashley. You are real. You're a real V slammer right there. I like her. She she good. She good girl. But that OP- oh my god. No, no, don't tell me stuff is OP now. It's my first playthrough and I play on a harder difficulty already. Die! Wait, did we not have another guy? So how do I heal again? Uh... Ah, he's back. How do I- how do I heal my- my- my people again? There's nothing up here at the moment. Why? 
Ah, thank you. Seems like nobody's here. There you go. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is they it look safe? Sus. Are they gone? They look sus. Farmers, uh, it's safe. They're gone. Stop right there. They're gone, I think. We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, Clam slam. <laughs> I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. Why don't you tell me about the noise? Some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the Hello? damned. JLo, thanks for the follow. It was coming from inside your own head. What? Was it a jimming signal? It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Okay. I have to go. Hey, Nicole, Bye. We're just a bunch of farmers. These Hi, guys Rob. are soldiers. Hey, sailors. Maybe we should give them. Hey, Sesson. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. What's going on? I don't like being lied to. I don't like being lied to. Tell me the truth. There's something you're not telling me. Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Smuggling's a crime. Like what? That's why you ran here. Like what? What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. You said all things you're holding out on me. Give it to me. <sighs> I think we have enough pistols and maybe if they're attacked they can pro like defend themselves. Is that all? So this is like trying to call them out. The like, this is the first time that I have different colors in the dialogue, so... Red is, like, threatening, I assume, or intimidating. This, I don't know. Is that charm, maybe? What do the... Blue is charm. This is all... These are blue. This is bright blue to me, and this... Do you mean, like, the dark blue? They did lie once, yeah. Always use the blue or red options. Hmm. Should I be harsh and intimidating? It's best to go almost... Always red or almost always blue, okay. Paragon and Renegade. Blue is Paragon, red is Renegade. So then I'm a bad guy and th then I'm a good guy. This, These blue-red options are the charm and intimidate, yeah. You have better new options. I'm gonna be nice to them. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. I see. Ah, uh, these I cannot use because this is not good enough. Fine. Okay, forget about it. I've got more important things to worry about. Good luck. Any loot? Give me all the stuff. Give me all the stuff. What class did you choose? Soldier. So I'm pretty much an, an arounder, I think. Wait, container what? Ow! Can I burn? Ow! How come the guy is already so low in, in health again? Also, options on the right side of the wheel are also structured that way. Top right is Paragon, bottom right is Renegade, while mid is neutral. 
containment cell. This could be a loot container? No, okay. Preach. Chat who says you can pick and choose. Let, let's choose whatever. Commander, it's Nihilus. <gasps> oh no, Nihilus was shot. Anyway, it's loot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Medi jail. Okay. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. Who are you? You're a coward. <laughs> you need to be more careful. Who are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. You've My played the Halo games? No. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Tell me what happened. It wasn't the Geth, the one. No, I haven't played Halo. So late. How's Mass Effect going? It's going. It's going okay, I think, so far. Hi, Howells. Welcome. Just wondering because I'm playing them. No, I haven't played Halo. Um, never go neutral if you have the Paragon Renegade choices. Why not? Tell me what happened. It wasn't the guest. Tell me what happened. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. His your eyes are so weird. Relax. Yeah, so far down. I do, Widget. Hi. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. What about the beacon? We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. Hmm. First that damn mothership showed up. Then the attack? They killed everyone. Aww. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. Thousands. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? Always oh, using all the dialogue. Morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Aww. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. That's what she said. It landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. This would woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. <laughs> Hi, Jesse. I join. <laughs> For five seconds. <laughs> Hi, Jesse. How are you? That's what she said. <laughs> I'm her friend. How you doing? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, Papulus, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Hey, Spor Sporling. Hey. Are you the Liz? Depends. What do you know about the Liz? Hi, Rolo. Welcome. I might watch the play for Mass Effect 1 and then buy 2 unless that's a silly plan. I don't know. Hi, Salty. Welcome in. Did you notice Ashley is a bit cross-eyed? Is she? Is she doing the... <laughs> Hi, Hubert. Welcome. Just get the legendary so you get all three. Yeah, I think they're still on sale on Steam, the summer sale. I got it for 59% off. So if you guys plan to get the game, maybe now is the chance. I'm great and I haven't seen your pretty face in so long. I had to come by. Hi, good to see you. This game, I think you will be in love by the end. Do you think so? I'll just end it, Lizzie, but my message got deleted. Well, okay. The list from Edie's conversation about interesting topics. That, yeah, that'd be me. <laughs> that'd be me. Yes. Wait, so uh, I was making this noise, this the sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Gaff didn't find you. Beacon ship. I think I asked all those. The Gaff didn't find you. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. Everyone's cross eyes in the game. I, I, Can they most boarding things of the fall? Behind the welcome. crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack. 
I, Why? Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, Very sus. I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> Uh-oh. Lucky break for you, investigates. Uh, I asked this already. You make me sick. Wow, you can be so judgmental. Lucky break for you. I mean, well. Oh god, I have a Liz pun in my mind. If Liz bans people from their channel, do they become delisted? I show myself out, yeah. <laughs> on Amazon Prime during Prime Day. Ah, uh, I'm living in Switzerland and there's no Amazon here. Um, yeah. Imagine making e ED go... <laughs> 59, ought to be 69, I know, right? Maybe the message contained more that Liz needs to know at the moment. Hmm. So, so much conversation about crates, all the crates. Nobody's crossed that in the game. A uh, lucky break for you. Let's be nice, I don't know. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. He's like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Yay for laziness. <laughs> The soldiers are too suspicious about everything. I mean, saves their lives often enough. What? What? Are we under attack? Who the fuck is shooting? I want to loot in peace, Malaka. Shepard can be a total asshole for the entire series if you choose. I don't like to be an asshole. So I'm not gonna do that. Run! Run! Oh, nice booty though. What? Oh. Shit. It's a sexy gun. This weapon overheats so easily. It's annoying. Got a, you got a V bag, right? Or V slam, or whatever. Who are you guys shooting? I don't even see anybody. Hold RB to bring up the power wheel. The power wheel lets you use the powers and special abilities of your squad. Oh. Use shield boost, use overkill. Uh, use throw, use sabotage, use overload. Uh, 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 I don't know. What is this? Hmm. Is that the no, the no is advanced part? That's the beauty of first playthroughs to torture Liz and see if she will figure it out in the expression of hers. Malakata likes to see me struggle and suffer. And back to the other weapon. What? <laughs> Is he too far away so I cannot hurt him or something?
of those. What do you mean, Malakata loves to see you suffer? He's not alone, no. Man, when I see first time players on Mass Effect, I immediately think of about 10 scenes that I want to be here for, especially so you enjoy the reactions. Oh boy. Do headshots. Uh, do headshots um, matter in this game? What the fuck are you shooting at? Oh boy. Too close. They do? Okay, good. Then I will priori prioritize uh, aiming for the head. Here, take this. Take this booty. Swiggity swooty in my booty. Let's go. Um. Ah! What's this? Train, let's go. Headshot do more damage, yes. Okay, good. Well, some games are like, whatever. And some games are headshots. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Enemies have a weak spot. Yes, okay. This can I have a story recap, please? Hi Mati. Uh This is still the tutorial, I'm pretty sure, so. Oh, he looks pretty cool, but evil. Oh. What happened? Can somebody give Mati a, a, a like Basically, I'm commander of a little squad, and I'll be here to on the, on uh, Eden Prime, a planet, a colony planet, um, and we're here to collect a beacon. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> like that's all that I know. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, where? Where can I not shoot? He's glitching! Stop glitching! I don't know if I can actually shoot through these things. Come on, the model you cover. <laughs> Fucking overheating, this is so annoying. Not dead, yeah. Ha! There you go. Eat dirt. So where's the other one? Oh. I love how they're trying to shoot through stuff. <laughs> like. <laughs> No loot, sadness. <laughs> they move weird. Humans found some cool Mass Effect space tag on Mars, which led us far away in the galaxy, and now we're hanging out with the cool space kids. Also, and also what Liz said. <laughs> oh, okay. Probably a setting to make it more exciting. The 360 hard drive went corrupt a month before ME3 got released, so I lost all my saves, so I had to have a fresh save file through Mass Effect 1 and 2 before the game released. Oh no! I mean, it's a good excuse to play the game again though, right? Music, though. 
guys protect me, okay? Bomb disarm mission list searching for loot first. That's my kind of streamer. I got you. Wait, do I have a timer? There's a timer! Oh, fuck nuggets. I didn't know there was a timer! <laughs> that might have changed things, you know? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> fuck nuggets! There it is. How many do I have to disarm? Two charges to my own shit. Ah! <laughs> Why did nobody tell me? Oh, fuck nuggets. Ah! I hear it. I hear it. I hear it, though. Ah, pro streamer. Let's go. Easy. Let's go. No problemo. Why do you give me dramatic music? All charges to some. There you go. I mean, saving the galaxy is important, but looting is more important. You cannot, you cannot save the world if you don't have loot, you know? It's just as simple as that. So where am I supposed to go now? Man, that is one juicy booty. I have to say that. I'm sorry, but... That was this here. know if this is supposed to go this you're right in front of the timer for us oh yeah it was it was one minute left <laughs> uh, Iktra, thank you very much for the follow welcome okay just checking the perimeter can I shoot this down already no okay good so I don't have to worry about ammunition I just have to wow name thank you very much for the for the first time sub of prime no what not prime wow thank you very much thank you so much i hope you enjoy my emos that i made hi iktra welcome i like follow for booty more Ooh. can i go in there no damn it oh i see loot the avenger storage locker what Ah, oh, this one Wrong command. What did you want? Treasury Legendary 59% off on Steam at the moment. Exactly. List, I just got the email confirmation for the Malaka heads. Nice! Yeah, guys, I made new merch yesterday. I was going on a hike. Um, two and a half hours. It was 30 degrees Celsius in the shadow. Um, I was melting and I have dark hair, so... My God. It's my like head was overheating and I wanted a hat, so I made hats. Yesterday in the merch. That must be where the Geth ship landed. Uh-oh. Well, they're not really experts in landing, are they? Hats! Yeah, like baseball caps. Prithian beacon. Let's go. A hit. <laughs> Destructorator. Damn, she's Normandy. fucking thick, the man. Beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Uh-oh. 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 What's happening? Yeet! You get away there now, too, Commander. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Am I- Shep! No, don't touch it's too- What the frick? What 
what just happened with me? And why is the beacon kaput? No. The end, we dead. Da 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 da. Hi, Sephorax, welcome. You broke it. Oof. Hi, good. Uh, hello there. Bad ending. Guys, stop make make jokes about we that. I don't I don't know if you're for real or not. Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. I think Saren is big, big. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. Oof. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Headache, apparently. Okay, what happened? What happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. Mm. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Uh, it's sort of character for both of them and way too cliche. What do you mean? Oh, she's a Sith Lord? Hi, Regato. Welcome. Mm, just me or he seemed a bit angry. A bit. A bit, yeah. Original Mass Effect, nice. Well, I found it just fine. Are we still alive? Looks like the game continues. That alien lady had the behind and a Karu the what? <laughs> Phil, what? <laughs> Seen is pretty fine. The game is from 2008. Um, I don't know if I should be too soft with my with my crew. Maybe they got like. I don't know. I don't want to be too soft to them. What about the beacon? Let's cut to the chase. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system <laughs> overload, maybe. The Oof. blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Thanks. Was I hurt? Not a local hospital? Let's say thanks. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I was dreaming, not a dream, a vision. More like a nightmare. Yeah, it was a vision, right? I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up? Hi, Supermoon. Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Okay. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Tense is streaming. <laughs> Commander Snoo Snoo? Hell yeah. Hi, Maker. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. You sure you're okay? I feel a bad about Jenkins. What happened to Williams? I'm pissed off about the Geth. Can I say all of these? I feel bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Okay, what happened to Williams? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. That's a mistake. Good. But, but I liked her. I wanted her to be in my squad. She was... she We, we killed somebody and she was instantly V-slamming that guy. Like, without me telling her. <laughs> I 
Chonky, thank you very much for the 31 months tier 2 resubscription. Thank you very much. Enjoy the Chonkies. Welcome back. Get me today with lore like Gilmore Coffee Muck. I need coffee and an ivy right now. Always. Um, well, she is in your ship now. Okay, that's good. Uh, maybe I just say nothing about it. Maybe I just be like, yeah, you wanted to talk. Williams is know. a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Ooh. You wanted to talk? You said you needed to see me in private, Captain. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. We've got nothing to hide. I did my job. To hell with them. <laughs> We've got nothing to hide. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. Yes, Ricardo. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. Uh-oh. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He hates humans? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. Humans think but so Saren too, some of them at least. Together. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon oh, yeah, self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? I'm not sure. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. <laughs> Silencer, thanks for the resub for a two months. Thank you very much. A warning, war, our death. I don't know, really. Driver Hill was over 200 voice actor roles. Wow. It's been lots of stuff. Jennifer Hill, a ton of other voice of overwork. Dang, what his names? Keith David. Thank you very much, Silencer. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Welcome back to the Chonkies. Thank you very much. There's a community too. That's because we're taking over the galaxy. First ever playthrough, oh my god! Yay! Hi Anna, how are you doing? Welcome. Battlestar something. Siren is a damn xenophobic alien fall. Oh, wait. <laughs> Dreamt of chicken parm, sorry. <laughs> um, definitely was a warning. Uh, a war. I don't know if it's a warning. And our death. Hmm, a war, I would say. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What would we say? There's nothing to report. Forget it. What would we say? What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. Hi, Algor. Welcome. But I know Sam. So excited for you. You're so I know sweet. his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Not if I can help it. Not if I can help it. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. I understood, sir. We expose him. They can't help us. Understood, sir. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Hi, Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Hi, Tender. Hello. A oh, horn. Hi. I assume it's the horn, right? Uh. Kaden. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. How are you holding up? Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stop Saren from wiping out the whole colony. Do 
do, 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 do. Always interesting to see how other people play the ME series, yeah? Uh, you helped to talk later. The mission failed. You helped. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. Mm. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Jenkins will be missed. We talk later. Soldiers die. Jenkins will be missed. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It was because he was a player. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. Hey, Einstein. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to hey, level the concessions out of the Alliance. Seems like you've been around. Keep it to yourself. Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more con concessions out of the Alliance. Seems like you've been around. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. I may as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? Baxty, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. I'm assuming that you're going for a Paragon run. Yeah. I, I, I don't enjoy being bad, so I will probably focus on being nice. Unless, I mean, I am a commander, so sometimes I have to make tough calls, right? Can we stop talking about Jenkins? It's too soon. <laughs> um, I'm hyped to see who you romance. Anna. Do you know me at all? We gotta romance everybody, of course. Everybody. <laughs> Always. <laughs> I'm Commander Snoo Snoo after all, okay? We're gonna we're gonna try the whole the whole crew. The whole Citadel. Everybody. We're just everybody. Everybody. Um You're here because of your family? I don't have one. It's not important right now. I'm in it for the action. It's uh, uh I'm in it for the action. Couldn't keep me out if you tried. Best way to explore the galaxy is behind a cannon. Is that how you got here? I heard about a coos. I bet you had your pick of posts after that. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? Tell me why? Gaffa, hi! Thank you so much for the form of resub. Keep up the great work and streams, Liz. I remember, go there and get that thing, then go back to that place. Yes, I will do so. Thank you very much. <laughs> Gaffa, how are you doing? Hey, Yeltner. Yeah, hey, it's okay. Be back. Oh, no, 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 no. We want to brief the council, I can't say. Just follow your orders, I can't say. The captain's briefing was confidential. Understood, ma'am. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. My shepherd, I always aim to be a basic, plain, mediocre, neutral, split down the middle. <laughs> okay. Neutral like a witch, a, a witch. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, I can tell already that I'm gonna be lost here. Hello. Navigator Presley. Glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Uh oh, Drilline, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Codex plus twelve XP. Nice. Good. Thank you. Hope you're well. I am, Gaffa. Renegade and Paragon aren't good or bad. As much as Renegade is more ruthless and less likely to play nice around red tape and be like and the like, and Paragon is less likely to cross lines in pursuit of the gods. What's there? Okay. I want to game on a holographic screen. <laughs> How are you doing, Queen? Good to see you. Hey, hey, everyone. Hello. So, do we have something like a um? Like a like a quest. Um, what's it called? Like a like a quest log or something. Am I supposed to talk to Joker? I don't think so. Hey, Joker. 
Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Oh, was that progress? Oopsie poopins. Quest log is journal, but it didn't say anything. What are they tying on the computers? I don't know. Hey, Ashley. Ashley. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. <laughs> Why so touchy, Joker? <laughs> Just saying you need firepower, too. Mm, okay, okay. Look I see monster. what you did there, game. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. <laughs> Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Lucky Shepard, thanks, to Hero. You ever seen Bethesda's Starfield gameplay trailer? It reminds me of Interstellar movie. Ooh, nice. Look at the loot potential, oh yeah. Suddenly, music silence. Luna, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Wow. This is an outrage. The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. He mad. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Uh oh. Captain Finally, Anderson, high speed captain. I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. He's dangerous as the truth. <sighs> uh, I don't want to say they're blind. I don't want to offend them. Um, and then they're less likely to help me out. So it's the truth. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. That's not even close You've to what they offered. You've already done more than enough to oh. jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Uh-oh. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things. Hi, sure, you're welcome. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. <laughs> Not only you, girly. No wavy mode, yeah. Important locations are marked on your map. Open the missions computer. Follow the pulsing arrow on your radar to the Citadel, Citadel Tower. Oh, so this is. This is the Citadel? Wow. Liz, uh, yeah, you should expect a lot of that choice option of differing from the actual dialogue. Oh man, I don't like when games do that. When it, they, like the quick, the quick select um, option looks like you're gonna be nice and then they're saying something completely different or, ugh, I don't know. So wh why why let me pick in the first place? <laughs> Damn it. Alliance patrol report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy regarding regarding 
Uh, readings. Oh my god, I can't read. During a patrol of the Argos Row cluster, she had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a sec uh, in a reckon team? Hmm, journal entry. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm gonna take a short break. Uh, Kuva? Kuvatron? Thank you very much for the follow. I'm gonna take a short break, guys, uh, and get, like, stretched a little bit, and maybe get a snack. I'll be right back, and I hope you enjoy the clips. See you afterwards, guys. Goddamn! I don't wanna be with the- Goddamn. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Screw this. <laughs> I'm not Franklin. Okay, wait, we can do this. On the road, you plebs. It's my road now. So much. Hello, hello. Ah, look at them. I'm an orca too. Wee, look at that. I'm an orca too. Whoosh. And jump again. Whoosh. <laughs> I'm a big metal whale. Oops. She poopins. I want this car. I want this car. I want it now. I want this car. I want you this car. You, buddy. I want this car. I want it. <laughs> Get out of there! Out. Get out! Yeah. Oh! Right in front of another car! Oh, it's decent size, so we're gonna do that. This is total bullshit. Easy! Nothing happened! We need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. In the nuts too? Oh, that was the that was a fight. I love it. You know it's for their own good. I know it's for their own good. I swear, yeah, this is shock therapy. <laughs> the face. Oh my god, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. But I think this is what Trevor would do. Oh. Oh no! Destination. Uh, how? Oh, federal. This. New plan. I changed oh. my mind. Santiansky Mountain Range. No problem, man. <laughs> Muffle, why are you riding into my- <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? No! <laughs> why are you doing this? <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> this job wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for all the shitty drivers in Los Santos. Why is it raining? Uh, Agent Orton. Been a while so, due to heat, water, our worst evaporates, I think is the English word. And, you, and then it goes in. into the sky right. in form of clouds. Um, the and then the when it cools down gone. again, it falls from the heaven and that's called rain. And that's why it rains. My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You Who is Bob? Are not very fucking nice. Don't tell me I have to shoot her now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you never know with Trevor. <laughs> oh, hey there, Trevor. Oh my God, he did kill them. 
Trevor, no! Mm, hey there, Wade. Trevor, no! Did you meet Gebra? <laughs> you did not do this, Trevor. You did not strap the the eyeball raped teddy bear with the underwear from Debra on your truck. The fuck is wrong with you, Trevor? Oh, okay, wait, I've got to go back. Out of the way. <laughs> this is my road. I want to try. I want to try a stunt, guys. Stunt time! Go! Oh god, 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 oh god. Yo! Slow motion! Where am I supposed to land? Failed? Miss. Misbehave? <laughs> Misbehave? <laughs> oh no! <gasps> I was bleeding out of my. Booty hole. He had a little bit of bloody explosive diarrhea coming out of him. <laughs> he landed. <clears throat> oh, no! No! Yeah. Hi guys, I'm back. Hello. I managed to never get at a car with Liz. Oof, I really have to change this video. Everybody thinks I'm a horrible driver in real life. Gabba gabba gay, gabba gabba gay. Wasted. I got a cleave bar, guys. My favorite. White chocolate macadamia. Welcome back. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> and I got a coffee. The best. Coffee and sweets, right? Absolute best combination ever. That was a long fall. It was one hell of a long fall. Hi, Hans, and welcome. <laughs> GDA clips are the best. You guys can watch the whole thing on my YouTube channel. There. Okay, so I'm supposed to go to the highlighted area, right? If I understand correctly. Holy bananas, 12 hours, yes! Thank you, Kami. I'm supposed to go down, or...? Hmm... Time for travel. Tez, small change, stranger in strange land. Embassy receptionist. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. Commander? You know who I am? Yes, I receive Hi, reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Location? What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avina. Avina? What's that? Is that Siri? Oh, of the future? Avina is the virtual guide for the mm -hmm. Citadel. Okay. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. You're still butthurt? What do you mean? <laughs> butthurt? What do you mean? Hi, Straw Hat, and hi, Sherlock. Let's repost this because they haven't seen you drive in Cyberpunk. Personal question. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative nice assistant for the embassies. Are you busy right now? <laughs> um, you seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent Hi, trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Okay. Goodbye. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Ship eyes are so wide in the Citadel. That's okay. She does look a little bit like... Which class did you choose? Uh, Saint, I picked soldier. Because it seemed like to, to be like an around. That posture man, though. What? What the... Huh. Which class did you choose? Yeah, I picked soldier. I didn't read the title. Does it say in the title? Veteran soldier? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it should check out everything. Hello? I can't believe I landed a job here. 
This place is fantastic. Uh, GG. Codex plus 12. So exploration gives you extra inf- what the frick are you? What the- is it a spider? It has a little backpack! Look, how cute is that? It has a little backpack, look at that! <laughs> Title is good. Title is good. Legendary introduced some additional customization options. Salarians have caved in chest. Don't know if it's ever explained. Well, I think they just wanted to. What the? What kind of a mess is Padonka Chonk are you? Wow. Look at all the aliens, yeah! Mass Effect is one of the only games that has truly different aliens. Uh, where to go, where to go? Executor Palin. Commander Hi. Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Uh, who are you? No, does it matter? I go where I want. Wow, you can't really be bitchy here. Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Mm -hmm. Was there something you needed, Commander? Always. Attitude towards humans. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. The Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business. But I don't have to like it. True. Need to talk to that big guy. You can't talk to him, Jiggle? Jiggy, sorry. <laughs> the first time ever playing. I wish I was Liz right now. <laughs> what do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. You don't like them? What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Hmm. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Yeah, that can be tricky, I agree. CSEC. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the seasick representative to the council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Why not? And Jiggy, by the way, welcome in. War, war never changes. Racism, racism never changes. Uh, well, uh, in this case, I would not say racism, but speciesism, because it's a different species, but yeah. Same, same thing, basically. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. So, talking to people gives you experience, if I understand this correctly. So, you want to make sure if you want to level up a lot and unravel everything, you want to explore and talk a lot. Exploration plus talking to people, good stuff, good times, okay. There you go. Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of your shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eater Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. I have a journal entry. Prologue, find the beacons that expose Saren. Strange transmission, find the commune. Head to the sentry system in the Hawking Eater. So I just, I just found an extra quest. And investigate the strange biotic commune, okay. Go to the Hydra system in Argos Row Cluster and investigate. So you're traveling between clusters and do quests there? 
Disney song time? What do you mean? This exploring and talking is always good. Also safe often. Oh, you have to say- wait, I put on autosave. Go to the tower. Go to the Citadel Tower and Presidium for an audience with the council. Oh boy. Put my helmet on! <laughs> I like my helmet. Sounds perfectly okay. Our oh no world! Fantastic place I've ever known. Can't get rid of old habits. Save Llama is back. <laughs> Save Llama. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Pick. Auto save is not terribly freaking in this game. Manually saving is better. Okay. Thank you guys for the advice. Hi, diplomat. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Okay, I can see many people. Or like many years. There's there's lots of um species speciesism going around. Don't believe it. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Nice Relax, copper hair. Brad, this isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? Mm. Still kicking. Thanks for the follow, welcome. Hey Galahad. Love how you customize this emote. It looks awesome. I do that every time we change the game. I'm always redrawing the wave emote. Oh, Shen, can you repost? I didn't see that. F5 also works? Okay. What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... <laughs> that is, she helps people with things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. <sighs> I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. What species is this dude? Ginger, I guess. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, lots of discrimination in the game, yeah. Okay. I mean, you have that in Witcher too, as well. Like, you have that in Witcher as well. And I think it's just the, the setting, right? Yes, let's explore everywhere and talk to everyone. That all part of how great these games are. I look forward to enjoy the ride with you on this one. Nice, Jen. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. <laughs> Thanks, <fun> kid. <laughs> Why is it white and pink with you, Ashley? That's... that's... Mine is one of the coolness points, okay? For having a pink outfit. Hello, Nasana. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. <sighs> okay. Hello? Bartender? Oh no. There, bartender. Hello. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Why not? No thanks, Commander. How do you know where I am? You know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger than average stir among the diplomats and hangers Hi, Vengeful. Around Welcome. Here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. Damn, my character's thick. You didn't see it because my my camera was over it, but yeah. Freaking awesome. I just started playing this game on GeForce now in Steam. You rock. <laughs> RPG fan, hi. Nothing wrong with being a girly badass. Yeah. Yeah. Fill me in. Yeah, of course. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. <laughs> if you haven't heard of her, you soon will. Shaira's. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I try Flux or Cora's Den. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Is she the ass effect? Tell me about Flux in Cora's den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Okay, I should go. Goodbye. <laughs> so long, Commander. He's Have telling me about day. like the the clubs and the stuff, and like uh, 
what well, sounds like a whorehouse or something. And my commander is like, okay, gotta go, bye. Can I talk to you? No. It's this new, new place. This, I think Legendary Edition is going to be free for Prime members on Prime Day, July 12 to 13. Okay, cool. Like, I, I, I don't have Amazon Prime because... Or Twitch Prime because there's no Amazon in Switzerland. Wait, I've been to this guy. Lady of the Night. <laughs> Guess where this shop is going next? Okay, where's the snoo snoo part again? I think I've been everywhere in this place. Welcome Out of the way! The Allow me to be your guide. Yeah. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Are you a real virtual guide? A, a real virtual guide. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals should you require assistance. Sounds this interesting. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space so far, important cool. enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy. Roughly 2,384 galactic standard Roughly. years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most Roughly, recently and added gives an embassy exact number. belongs to your own species, <laughs> okay. humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Oh no! Oh no, Alicia. Oof. Ass effect, how did she know about that? <laughs> um, why was humanity opposed? Investigate? Did I say everything? Spectres, there you go. Do you know anything about spectres? The term spectre is derived from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. Each spectre agent is handpicked by the council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years Very ago, rough. Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. Since then, the three council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community while preserving individual autonomy for each species. species. Sounds too perfect. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. And thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Okay. Ooh. Can I go for a swim? Elevator. I can summon the elevator. Hello? 
I must have happened when my window fell shut and I must have not closed the container probably. Uh-oh. This renegade chap loves calling virtual interfaces pop-ups because they just pop up out of nowhere, right? <laughs> These two just following me blindly. I'm not sure. Oh. Hope you like yellow. Hmm. To CSEC Academy. The elevator to CSEC Academy is located down in the ramp and past the small plaza. The Alliance docking bay can be found here. Okay. Embassies. Okay. Tower. So this is where I want to go because my- wait, am I not supposed to go to the tower? I'm confused. Go to the tower. But the minimap suggests... Guys, will I always have the minimap there at this location? Is it always visible? Maybe then I will have to make an overlay so you guys can see the minimap. Because it's blocked by me. Center Zanahoria, thank you very much for the follow, welcome. Citadel Rapid Transit. Presidium locations. Citadel Tower. Ha! Let's go. Damn, I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm just taking a shuttle or something. You've arrived at the Citadel Tower. Nice. Hello. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Hello, Garrus. I heard Commander a lot Shepard, about you. Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. You don't like Saren? What did you find? You blew it. Hi, Senner. Hi, all. Happy Friday, too. Hi, Con Colonel. How you doing? I think I finally washed my makeup brushes. <laughs> You can change it in the option, so I can place the minimap someplace else. Best boy. I know that everybody leaves, uh, loves Garrus. I heard that so often. Uh, you don't like Saren? What did you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most well, of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Maybe. Hello. Oh. The new wave mode is cute as fuck. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I was very happy to draw something more, um... How do you say? More unique, you know? Wait. Anonymous, thank you very much for the 33 year. Anonymous gifted 33 coins and 21 subs. Holy smokes, Anonymous, you're a legend. Thank you so much for all your support. I'm, I'm mind blown. I'm so grateful. Thank you. I hope everybody who just got a sub enjoys the emotes that I made. Welcome to the Chonkies. Oh my god. What the hell? Hi, Gillette. 33 coins and then 21 subs. It's a legend. Guys, we need some hype in chat, okay? Everybody spam some some cute chonkies or or the hype emotes. Or the, the, the hype command. Gifties, yours! Together! <laughs> this, uh, Space Llama said it's worth opening the full map if the minimap gets confusing. Okay. Rish, thank you for the six gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have the first, no, the second goal filled, guys. There's definitely gonna be two songs at the end of the stream. Thank you very, very much. The <laughs> armor. Did you get a sub? I hope you enjoyed. No, wait, you subbed before, right? Armor pop? I think you subbed first time. 
Admiral. No, I'm waiting Kahoku. to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Are you all right? Your skin looks painful. Commander. 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 Thank you so much. Two songs, yes. Hi, Phoenix. The hello. There's an exclamation mark. Captain Anderson. Anonymous cheerer. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I'm super grateful. Thank you very, very much for all your support. I, mind blowing. Thank you so much. Level four hype train. Holy moly. The hearing's already started. Come on. Gifted subs. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Have you seen a doctor about your skin? <laughs> That's a beard, but it looks like... He has a beard, but underneath the beard, the skin is very painful. Any no mouse! <laughs> okay, so... How did you get involved? That was you, not me. I gotta be smart about this. If I just throw around accusations, it's not gonna get me anywhere, I think. The third-person camera narrative shows the evidence. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Hi guys, like time now see. Hi Andex, how are you? Thank you so much for the five month resub. Enjoy the emotes. I'll come back to the chunkies. That Solarian counselor looks cozy in his robes. In the original, the Saren hologram was quite clear, so players were asking how Council didn't see all the weird cyber implants. The holo is such is much more vague now. Mm-hmm. Uh Han Hank? Han Han? Thank you very much for the follow, welcome. How did you get involved, then? The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Insults? Typical. See? He hates us. You will pay. This seems... Mm, nah, this doesn't seem smart. It's like, as if I'm just for revenge. Like, from the text, I would go with this. But they're probably gonna say something different, but I'm still gonna go with the text. <laughs> Objection, you say. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Uh -oh. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. Krikso, this Krikso, meeting thanks. has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Thank you so much for gifting this up to Captain Nitzel. <laughs> Saren, did you, in fact, get a mega pint of wine? No, <laughs> oh, lol. Quit protecting him, I'll find proof. You arrogant bastard! This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Council, and mine. I'll find proof. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my <laughs> innocence? Thank you so much, Krixo, kind of for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You won't see the truth? No, what's the point? <sighs> Reapers? Saren! <laughs> Something Mass Effect will often 
offer dialogue choices that are not choices. The same line will be said regardless of what you choose. That's so nasty. Why? Space Karen. You don't see the... You won't see the truth. No, what's the point? So this I'm definitely going to pick. What's the point? No. Seems very neutral. I don't know. Ah! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the hype train. 29 gifted subs and 1,000 booties. Thank you very, very much. Not exactly true. Choo-choo! Thank you guys for the hype train. This hologram is just making him even more suspicious. I would find the architecture in this court a little bit disturbing. Budget and data limitations. This game was released in 2007. Can you just miss your helmet, please, in dialogues? No! <laughs> Neutral seems smart for now. I think so, yeah. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your she petition cool. to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Dark Star, thanks for the follow. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Now what? What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I'll talk to him. He could be useful. I don't trust him. Hmm. Rejoin for now, that is. Yeah, you can toggle helmet on and off a of dialogue cutscenes. I know. Can I just do that from the dialogue? Or... That happens as well, but those are all... No points choices, right? I mean, what Anderson said was a bit of a stretch, wasn't it? Like, he messes up one colony and suddenly he wants to exterminate all humans. Uh, Carrigan, thanks for the follow. I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. Oh. I won't waste my time with that loser. <laughs> you won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Mm, the captain deserves better. I'm on it. I don't like this. Mm. I'm a soldier, I'm just saying I'm on it. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Any other leads? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. Hello there. But his information won't come cheap. Elman Weatherby, thank you so much for the three month resubscription. I hope you enjoy the emote still. Thank you very, very much. Three months, hello, hello, how are you? Mati, thank you for the 169 biddies. No drinking on the job, I quit. <laughs> Why does Anderson know so much about some guy at a security firm? That's a bit sus. Hmm. It's so hard. I mean, you could basically... He seems to be exaggerating a little bit as well. So maybe he is the guy who is... Who wants to get rid of the... Of the... Of the aliens. 
Um, Raccoon, thank you for the 690. Thank you so much. Guys, thank you so much for your support. You're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you very much. What about you and Sarah investigate? Council and the ambas ambassador. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Oof. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step uh -oh. in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Mm. Why protect him? They abandoned him? Why protect him? The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. How was that even close? <laughs> Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not Hi, your Hi, how are you? Agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How are they chosen? How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just... The Council's always what? looking for exceptional individuals. Put down People the controller. Who can get the job Oops. done. Like you. Oh no. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. I have to say that again because I didn't. How do they hear decide what he who say. becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The council's always looking for exceptional individuals, people who can get the job done, like you. <laughs> They've been watching you for years. They see Mati, something thank in you for the six hundred sixty-nine biddies. Thank you Malice so much. Malice was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. How are they organized? What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. <laughs> Each specter answers directly to the council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times. They act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. Mm-hmm, okay. Shadow Broker? Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game, and the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows all the loopholes. Mm -hmm. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. So would I. Oof. He's a monster. I'm not going to say anything about it. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. 
Thank you for I'll the 62. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. The leftovers, thank you very much. Um, they have been watching you for years. That's creepy. It is. It is. Chat, if you're interested in Mass Effect Legendary Edition, it's now on sale for 59% off. Highly recommended for everyone who didn't play the series at all. Don't have DLCs. Yeah, so I, I got it in the sale as well. Okay, so what is my... Investigate Saren. You need to find some proof that Saren is connected with the Geth. Okay. Speak to Harkin. Go to... Do it. Can I select this? Chora's Den is where we gotta go. And Barla Fon. Head to the bank. Okay. Let's go to the fun place first. <laughs> or maybe we do business and then the fun. Gotta find it though. Can I check the map? We're here. How do I get there? Oh boy. Okay, it looks like I gotta go back and then over... Over there. Disliked general move in RPGs to avoid protagonists. Obvious budget reasons tend to cut the role, pl role playing aspect I down. Ward locations, presidium locations. Chores den, let's go. Uh, Sapster, thanks for the follow, welcome. We have arrived at the Chores Den, a gentleman's club in the wards. Oh no! What well, I'm a gentlewoman! That's oh. What? so fast. Marty, thank you for the five gifted subs. What the? Thank you. Why does healing take so long? Is it dead? Ah, it's not dead. Those were Saren's men. Due to all design and general navigation, there isn't an overall map, but actually you have to listen to characters when they tell you what to do later. Games don't have that problem, okay. Wait, the corpses disappeared? What the frick, mate? Can I... Can I put the weapon away? Thank you. Jesus, my luck of Christ. Oh, I cannot aim at people. I don't want to. I don't want to shoot them. I just want to have a better look, you know. Thank you very much, Marty. Mass Effect is today. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Is it a tote monster? <laughs> Welcome to Ass Effect, Snoo Snoo. Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Level up. I can actually... I have 12 points? Shit.
Let's have all the charm. And all the intimidation, so I'm just uh, good to go later. Um, ding! <laughs> True best boy of the game, or best frog. Uh. <laughs> the shepherd reporting for duty, hell yeah. <laughs> that scene cut scare me. Rex is cool. Um. Aha, okay. I feel like I'm gonna stick a lot with rifles. Sniper rifles specifically, but I'm not sure. Increases weapon damage. Adrenaline burst. Resets the cooldown times on all your talents so they can be used immediately. Ah. Ooh, that, that could be interesting. More health, also good. Combat armor, increases damage reduced. Able to equip medium armor, increased damage protection, also good. Shield boost, restores 30% of your shield per second. Hmm. Liz, why did I know you would say toad monster? I'm sorry. <laughs> he does look a little bit like a toad, doesn't he? Yeah, the health bar thing sucked, man. <laughs> that 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 uh, healing was taking forever, so I totally have to invest in that. Increases accuracy and damage with pistols. Mm -hmm. Increases damage, accuracy. Yeah, I guess apparently I can just go with assault rifle, so. more damage. Let's go. First aid is good. First aid is grayed out. I think I can just invest in those blue ones, right? The fitness, first aid, sniper, and shotguns is grayed out. You can buy fine first aid interfaces that give auto healing. That'd be nice. Okay, this is the guy that I'm supposed to talk to. General Septimus. Go away. I'm not interested in talking. And I understand why. Not now. I'm watching the show. Uh, I see what you're watching there. Patron. I got business here, but not with you. Okay, Mr. Frog Guy. They're very clothed for this kind of. Ooh. Okay, okay. <clears throat> we're, we're, we're here business. <clears throat> Hi. What is this purple stuff? Rejuvenating potions? Krogan Bouncer. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Fist. Who's Fist? He owns this club. But the customers have to stay out front. Other Krogan? What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Goodbye. Okay, bye. That's the most boring show Enjoy I've ever the seen. Club. Thanks. Liz arrives at Chores Den five hours later. Oh, where were we meant to be? <laughs> well, uh, there were quests. Um, <clears throat> Wait, where's Harkin again? Oh, here, this guy. Hey, Harkin. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking Ugh. for some fun? No! I gotta say, that soldier Ugh. get up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. Let's see where this goes. 
You're disgusting. Not right now. Forget it. I'll pass. <laughs> this is business. She's Good providing yourself, service princess. and we're paying for her. You know, if more Marines look like you, I might have joined the Alliance instead of CSEC. Don't call me that. Maybe you can help me. Where's Garrus? Maybe you can help me. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? What secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Oof. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turian set him up. What went wrong? How do you know this? Can I ask all of these questions? Hot tub, of course, passed before. I think we haven't had a hot tub today. Let's go, hot tub action. Mm, what went wrong? Why'd they kick him out? I have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. But it's a good story, though. The heroes fall. Classic tragedy. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> the love! Uh, how do you know this? You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. Okay. What went wrong? How do you know? You're lying. Disgusting! That's not why I'm here. Quit wasting my time. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. Captain Anderson? How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown nosers. Ew. He earned his rank. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. The Vulture Still thinks of the he follow. can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. Quit blaming others. Investigate. Okay, goodbye. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Okay. Garrus Valkarian, a Tyrian C-Sec officer, might be able to help you against Saren. Med clinic, an upper wards to follow up a lead on Saren. Okay. DJ needs to play a new tune, though. <laughs> Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a Spectre? Maybe it's not true. Harkin's an ass. Bet he's just messing with our heads. Hmm. Is he, though? Why would he be messing with our heads, though? What is his motivation? I like to question everything. The lower markets. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go now. This is all too confusing. Alleyway, med clinic, all the way on the other side. So can I easily go there? Do I have to run all the way around it? Wait, through the alleyway here? Run! Can you jump? Jumping would be nice. Okay, if I go through here and then there, should be working. What the actual? I'm wondering if they still have the. <laughs> I don't know, Jesus. We'll see. We'll see. I think this way, right? Yeah, down here. What a charmer! Yeah. Oh, pretty charming. Seasick Academy. What is this? 
No, I, I don't want to go there. I want to go to the clinic thing. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get so lost here. Rapid transit clinic. Here you go. I didn't tell anyone. I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut, or we'll. Uh -oh. Who are you? Let her go. There's Garrus. Ah! Oh, headshot! What hell of a aim! I want that guy on my team right now. I want him on my team right now. Ah! Oh shit! Right. Wrong weapon. Okay, he dead. Okay, he dead as well. Are we, are we good? Are we good? You a little asshole here, take this. Give me the loot. Is there not loot? Why is there no loot? Oh wait, could I have sh Wait, I gotta, I gotta test this now. Ah, sorry, Caden. But that needed to be tested. Give mana. Thank you, Danish. Okay, hello. Hey, Garrus. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Does he try to pick up companions like loot? When did this game turn into Pokemon? <laughs> Uh, it was a big risk, no problem. Nice, sh nice shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. We can protect you. Who were those men? Tell me what happened. Who were those men? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? Yeah. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The Quarian? What about Saren? Uh, uh, can I only ask one thing? My hair's ruffled. <laughs> Is Pokemon about collecting slaves instead of companions? Tr kinda, maybe, a bit. Let's look from enemies. Is automatically collected loot. Ah, loot. Loot from enemies is automatically collected and added to your inventory when you open the inventory tab. Any other loot <laughs> is only collectible from containers or locked boxes in different shapes and forms. Okay. So when when they're opposite of each other, does that mean I can just ask one question? You guys are actually free to answer this, please. Help. Hi, Ben. So could I ask both of these questions? Can I ask what about Saren and the Quarian thing? Or just one? Yes, only one. Okay, then I'm gonna ask about the Quarian because he's not even talking about Saren, so... What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where'd she go? Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. <laughs> Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Evidence? Anything else? Evidence. We need evidence! Left aside. All. Most. Right side. No. One. Okay. No! What no? Left. Investigation. So... W so in this in this scenario is this a is, this is a choice. Or could I ask both of these if I pick the left first? You know, I prefer to to be like um two different colors, like Witcher for example does it. Everything is white and the one that progressed the story is going to be a yellow answer, something like this. Just know this. Oof. Both are essentially the same. 
Left side is optional, right advances plot. Okay. Think of right hand side as leaving the conversation or moving on. Yeah. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. We need to find her, but F Fist has her. We don't have anything yet. Uh, we need to find her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Why do you hate Saren? Forget it. Why do you hate Saren? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Okay. You made your case. Okay. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, yes. we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker <laughs> hired a Krogan bounty hunter like named him. Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. We could use him. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Add to squad. Okay. Wait, do they want me to remove somebody? No! I don't want to remove anybody. No, 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 no. Examine. I like them all. I don't want to. Do I have to? Do I have to remove somebody? No. Liz, you can only take two people at the time. No. Why? Stupid game. I don't like. I wanna I wanna have all the people. Rapid transit. Wait, no, the 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 Academy is right behind me, isn't it? Or down the stairs or something. CSEC Academy? Down here, right? You do this every mission. It's not final. Okay, good. Officer Lang. What's this? Nice XP. Hello. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Yep. I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole Hi, section Hello. about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Hi, Seems Dandy like the right Lane, thing welcome. to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. <laughs> we uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen Hand a thrown, of welcome. It. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. 
wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. Mm, okay, I will. Let's go clubbing. Uh, Spectres? What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. No? Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use them, right? Yeah, it's a little bit naive, I think. This, so each person has a spec that you can't analyze and choose the best two to come with you. That screen was to compare between them. The spec changes as they level up, right? Yeah, but I have auto level, right? So they level by themselves. Harkin. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Mm -hmm. Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, bribes. but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Okay, goodbye. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. C-section. Oof. Hello, hi Nai. This is so cute, I love it. <laughs> Glad you like it. No, 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 open up. Am I even right here? Uh, uh... Lower markets? Am I right here? Fist's office. No, I can't go to Fist's office, so this is wrong, right? But what's here? It looks like I have a marker over there. CSEC Academy, so you go. SEC stands, stands for security, right? Citadel security. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Okay. Hello. Bring the ones you think have the best banter. They're all pretty fun in the story. Rex. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. Oh, you're you making it difficult for yourself. You? I want you to try. <laughs> He's cool. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. Fist is mine. You will. My name's Shepard. My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. That's the one. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Maybe you can kill him after I did some investigation. How's that sound? So you'll join? Welcome aboard? I like that saying. <laughs> hmm. Welcome aboard. Glad then. to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. His scars look nasty. So, combat strength, not so much. Tech strength, pretty good, I think. No. No tech strength. And biotic strength, okay. Garrus has tech and combat strength, but no biotic strength. And she just has combat strength? Uh oh. Uh, but she's hella good in combat, though. How many can I have at this point? I want to have those two, because these two don't have any idea, so I need those two, right? Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Ashley. Sorry, Caden. What is this marker? Is that just an elevator marker? When nobody selected the bars at the bottom, tells you your spec. 
Safe check. It's been a while. It has, you're right. <laughs> oh boy! Put it away. Oh boy. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go half of the time. So now we're going back to the den, right? The chorus den. If I understand correctly, I hope. To at any point is it in your team. You have arrived at the chorus den, gentlemen's club in the woods. This is not where I'm supposed to be. Take down fist. Yeah, he's here. Okay. Or not? Are we not supposed to be here? Moreland. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous Hello shop. Hello there. You want many good supplies. Give me to tap new equipment to use. You're still in level one stuff. I need supplies. Do, do I? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Non-human armors. You use standard items. Okay, so these uh, Roman letters are the level of these weapons. I would advise taking someone with electronics. I think you need that for hacking. Just turn the wrong way. This is the lower markets. Oof. Room players and shops, by the way. Yeah, I realized. But where? When did I turn wrong? Oh, I'm gonna get so lost in this place all the time. You gotta be prepared. Ah, there you go. Um. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, how do I change my stuff, though? Hi, Breeze. Hello. Buy the Medigel upgrade. Hmm. I don't even know how much I have. Thousand five hundred and twenty. I have 16-something. God knows what that is. Uh... So how does that work now? So do I just... This is the stuff from the radio menu that I use, I assume. These three weapons is what I switch between, and now I pick the ones that I want to use from this kind? You can't sprint a holding A, don't be a snail. I know that, but I wanted to... Like, roleplay and not burst, like... Ooh, accuracy rating 69. <laughs> um, I don't want to run through a club or a market. Credit is all the right most. Okay, guys, for now. Did I understand this correctly? So, Ronlin, I hope that was the answer to my question. I see, I see these. Like, assault rifle, shotgun, pistol, sniper rifle, grenades, armor. So... This is from the radio menu, right? When I click, uh, what's it? Uh, is it RB? No. Is it LB? I think LB. Um, and then I pick the weapons there. These are the ones that I'm pre like picking then. Get the menu system, right? This is the same, so it doesn't matter. Damage per second. Heat sink capacity. So I think this might be better. Uh, I'm gonna stick with that. Um, nothing's better, really. So I'm gonna. I mean, there's a little bit better heatsink. Accuracy is less. And damage is a bit better. Maybe this hammer two is better. At least you got the correct in in inference. I also tried to explain this earlier with a legendary edition. They changed the weapons. They, uh, Corey, 
<laughs> I don't know if you if you understand, but I haven't played the first games, so it doesn't matter to me if they changed anything. Because I don't know the first game anyways, so it's a first playthrough, I have no clue. So comparing the old with the new doesn't make any sense to me, because that's just double information that I can process anyways. Um, it's all new to me. <laughs> they have different shooting modes depending on models. You have to inspect them to find what each does. Two rifles from different developers can shoot differently. RB gives you the info. Yeah, but still, Corey, you keep bringing up that they... That they changed something from the older game that is just... You keep repeating that and I'm just telling you now, again, that it doesn't make any difference because I haven't played the first game. Uh, everyone can equip biotic amps. Hi Crusher, how are you? Welcome. Is it gonna look different? Or just when I equip it. Oh man, damage protection, shields, tech biotic protection. So biotic is like hacking, right? Tech biotic protection means I'm more secured against being hacked. I think they all, they all seem pretty bad. Squat made weapons and armor. Biotics are basically magics in this game. Hi, Marin, welcome, how are you? Good to see you. Hi, not tag, welcome. Hi, Gosa, welcome. Wow. I'm doing all right, finally able to drive privately now, so need to get some driving in before I take a driver test in August. Ooh, good luck with that. <sighs> Guys, I... <sighs> it's like, whatever I pick, it's, it's bad in some regard. It's either bad when it comes to to biotic stuff, or it's bad at something else. Like, this seems to be utter garbage. This might be okay, because it's relatively balanced. I don't know, scorpion, slight armor. Let's take this then. Ooh, it looks pretty cool. Bit dirty though. Doing great, Li It's Friday! How about you, Liz? Later some board gear? No, uh, today is a 12-hour stream. And on 12-hour streams I'm not, um... What's that? On 12 hour streams, I'm... I'm not eating board Looks gear. Like uh oh. Knows we're coming. Uh oh. Uh... Damn it. I can hurt him. Sheesh. 
fish. Asshole. Take this. Damn! Whew. Uh, it's Soz Moses. Thank you very much for the follow. I guess Cory mean that some characters have specific traits or forbid them effectively use some weapons. Could be a misunderstanding. We'd have thought Liz is going to pick adapt class considering she really loves to play mages in RPG games. How do you how do you get this information, Adam? I'm just thinking about the last time I played a mage in a game. I mean, I played Sorceress in Diablo, but before that... I always played Melee. <laughs> That's one game. The, re the recent games I've always played Melee. Are you nasty? No. Where is Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers. Might be missing when this does it, but it's using dead. squad mate abilities. Stay back or we'll shoot! You're making a mistake, save yourselves. It's them or us, they work for Fist, nobody threatens me. Save yourselves. Uh, should I intimidate them or let's be nice. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. You, no, you I never liked Fist anyway. <laughs> okay. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. It's <laughs> like, do I have a devil and, a, and an angel on my shoulder right there? <laughs> All kinds of high region, there are ways the game offers to prevent their region. Okay. Core maker, hi, welcome. Hello, hello. Thank you very much for the rate, core maker. How was your stream? How was Skyrim? Never pays good salary. Welcome, raiders. Hello, hello. Hey, Count. Welcome in. Hi, Denny. One is blue, one is red. So I hope you had tech issues with the game. No, nothing. No, no problems whatsoever. Everything fine. Uh, what were you, what were your issues, Core Maker? Maybe you want to give it another try then, if you if you liked it otherwise, apart from your issues. Crazy eyes. <laughs> Should do some massive at most of vote for the dialogue options. Wait, I, we have, we we have the wavy mode. Every every follower of the channel can use the wavy mode here in this chat. Uh, amazing. I want to play more, but it's 33 degrees Celsius now in the room and I'm getting harder. I had to cancel from there because I feel like I'm getting a heat attack. Oh my god. Get some co cold shower, cool drinks. I know! Happy birthday, Dun. You, you said that before in, in the... When you, when you came in her earlier. Do you have a cool... Do you have a cool birthday? What are you doing today? Hey, Rooster. Hello. Welcome. So yeah, w welcome in everybody. I hope you had a great time playing Skyrim with Cormaker. I'm Liz, a variety streamer from Germany. I'm living in Switzerland and this is my first play for Mass Effect. I've never seen or played this game. Um, and I think we're still in the tutorial. I'm still learning. It's gonna take some time, but I will get there. And so far it's fun. Hi, Ipa. Hello. How's it going, Commander Lizard? I'm Commander Snoo Snoo. And <laughs> um, yeah, it's so far it's nice. How are you doing, Eva? Good to see you. We need ME variation on the Chonka emote. It's a lifetime of gaming alone. Oh good, I played the trilogy already. I wanted to do it for the community, but I wasn't annoyed back then. Not sure I would do- oh, okay, well. The game is great, nice. Commander Snooze 3, yeah, David came up with that. 
Hey, Raza Kundalini Sheepard. <laughs> Mass Effect Andromeda. When I hear that many people hate this game, why why is it so hated? I surrender. Smart move. Any information? Smart move. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. <laughs> wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. Uh huh. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Zooks, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. It's hated because it's not as good as the trilogy. Not as good or, like, actually bad. You said I shouldn't play it. <laughs> because when Mass Effect Andromeda released, the character's facial animations was awful, really? Rex my bay, really? Hi, Stone Rhino, hello. Matt Roberts, hello. A lot of people hated Andromeda because it couldn't match the level of investment fans had for the franchise. Oh, oh, okay, see. It was more open world design, a bit different than originals. Mm hmm. Well, sometimes different doesn't mean it's bad, per se, but, well, if, in that case, maybe. Hmm. It's a good game with the wrong branding. Aha! Uh -huh. So it's like. If you look at it separately, it's it could be a good game, but when you have the expectations coming from the other game franchise, then it's like, meh. I, I hear that from quite a few games, when the developers are like, yeah, we're trying something else now, something new, and then community's like, ugh, hate it, it's not the same as the other, bring back the other stuff. Yep, okay, exactly, okay. Andromeda, you could jump. So there's that. Jumping? I love jumping in games. I always feel awkward when I cannot jump. Every time. It's a solid game by now, but another name would have been better. So not Mass Effect. Okay. Combat Andromeda was... Is that a chef's kiss or is it a not chef's kiss? I, I couldn't tell. It was gone too quickly. Gosa, thank you very much for the five month resub. Thank you. This is like Witcher with Ga without Geralt. Mm hmm Thank you very much, Ghost. I enjoy the emotes. And Zuzumu, hi! 18 months, that's two Twitch babies already. Damn! Thank you so much, you two, for the resubscriptions. I hope you guys enjoy the emotes that I made. Welcome back to the Chonkies! It suffered because EA forced them to rush it out. Ugh, 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 oh, horrible. Uh, another publisher would have been better too. Okay, Andromeda is actually a fine game, especially now. Most people who hate on it are comparing it too much to the trilogy is supposed to be different. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we have to save her. Where's the meeting? You son of a bitch! <laughs> but when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Maybe we can... Maybe we can get there quickly. Yeah, Bioware should be published by, by us. What? It was in development for five years. Well, there's good games and they're still in early access. <laughs> So many open ends. Have fun, Strictly. Argentino, thank you very much for the five month resub. All the resubs today. Ba damn. Hi, everyone. Let's welcome to this awesome saga. Thank you. Thank you very much also for the five month resub. Enjoy the emotes. Mm -hmm. Where's the meeting? I'm torn between I have we have to save her and where's the meeting? I want to cut to the chase, you know, but the Where's the meeting? Give me the location. Now. Those eyes. Here on the wards. The back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Oh no. Do I have a timer? <laughs> what are you doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs. Half done. He'd surrendered. Never do that again. I am in charge here. You ever pull another stunt like that? It was the only contract I had left. And don't we have something more pressing to worry about? That quarian's dead if we don't go now. Oh no, they give me a fucking timer. Oh shit, nuggets. And I don't even know where I gotta go. And there's shooting involved as well, apparently. Open the fucking door, man. Oh shit.
Great, great, great. This is just great. I'm gonna shoot you in the fucking foot. Run, 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 run. Thank God, humans are squishy. Go, go, go! go. Ah, ah. Maybe I should just fuck these guys and run. I don't know. But I don't, I don't, I don't have the orientation to g get there fast. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Is this saving often? No, not often enough. Uh. Make a new save. When past the loot. Well, I have I have a timer. I freak out when I get a timer. Monty, thank you so much for another five gifted subs. Holy smokes, thank you. <sighs> Judging by how this place, she would have enjoyed Vanguard class. Uh well, woulda, coulda, you know. Guys, where Hi Actimus, how are you? Welcome. I hope you're doing good. Left. How the freak am I supposed to know where I gotta go? Wait, let me check the journal. Uh, Saren's men have set a trap for Quirin. You have to get to the alley before they kill it. The alley. Wow. Thank you very much for that in-depth information. Quirin store. I mean, turn left after the menu. Yeah, I know, I know. <sighs> Which left? Here or here? Like up or through the door? I have, I have not even two minutes left. This is totally gonna be busted. Up. Yeah, take your time, door. Take your goddamn time. Ugh. That's a cool thank you for the biddies. Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's Ugh. the evidence? No way. The deal's off. I hate timers. I fucking hate timers. Oh. Ooh. Now it gets fun. Oh, my gun. Okay, my gun. Okay, I can forget about my gun. Powering up. It's so weird when they're just glitching th through this like <laughs> screen and you're like aiming and they're suddenly then there they're there. Ah, Razaku, thank you so much for the 100 BDs and Mati, five gifted subs, thank you so much. Shiz, I got a sub for Liz, thank you. <laughs> Enjoy the emotes, Dandy. Hi, betters. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Okay. I took care of him. Are you okay? Give me the evidence. Give me the evidence. Are you okay? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? A friend. I'm with the Alliance. Someone who saved your life. A friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. Okay. We could take her to the human embassy. But as Dalku thinks the following. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Uh, Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you I'm not know making how my many... life e easier either? Who's this? <laughs> Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? She can help us just doing my job. Shut up and I tell you. <laughs> You can't be very bossy, wow. She can help us. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Pilgrimage? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. 
When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, mm, <laughs> only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Something of value? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Please continue. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Is that true? Go on. Hmm. Ciao, famosa. <laughs> Day games. Hey, Jorge. Glad to see your friend. Oh, you had problems with electricity. Oof, the timing. Oh, I hope everything is good now, Actimus. Hey, Yelt. Liz Lock Holmes. Ooh, Eric C. Eric C, thank you so much for 16 months on tier 3. You legend. Thank you so much. Such a long time. And then on tier 3. Mind blowing. Thank you so, 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 so much for that massive support. Guys, can we get some hype in chat, please? Some chonkies. Thank you very much. Um. Hi, kind mind. Welcome. Hello, hello. <sighs> Is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Mm -hmm. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. What's well, the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. That's assumptions Wait, now. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Oh. Had to come by since I have weekend. Ooh. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon nice. has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. The Reapers? I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers, what are they? Reapers sounds familiar. So I can ask about it or... I don't know, I'm gonna ask about it, I don't know. Are they some kind of new alien species? Hey, Rose. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. Hey, Rose. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. It's true. It's not far-fetched. Uh... D uh... Uh... D the vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They need to know whether they believe it. So yeah, that's the question. Don't tell them. Yeah, I wonder as well, will they believe it? Will they? This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. 
Count, thank you very you much for the follow. The alley, Hi as well. Thank you, you know guys. What I can do. Let me come with you. What about your quest? You could be useful. Join us. You're not ready for this. Let's ask questions first. Hi, Petries. Welcome. Hey, Reggie Petty. Hello. Kai and Count, thank you very much for the follows, guys. Welcome. Other voices, Marina C Certis, known for playing Diana Troy in Star Trek The Next Generation. I haven't watched that. <laughs> yeah, Rex, her name is Tali. <laughs> I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Hmm. Point. Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Then join us. I'll take all the help I can get. Can I have one more companion, Thanks. please? You won't regret this. Please? Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. <laughs> no! I want three or five. Ah. Come on. Why? Ah. But this way we have no bite biotic strength at all. <sighs> but I like Garrus. I'm gonna have Garrus. No, Liz. I want though. Doesn't work like that. That sucks. <laughs> How are lizards doing today? Just put myself in the bathtub with ice cubes. This is better, really? <laughs> Hi, Bash Iron. Welcome. And Phosphor, hi. Such a needy streamer. Never happy with what you have. I want- I want so many companions, though. You know? Uh, okay, she has only tech strength. Garrus has a bit of tech and combat. He at least has biotic strength as well, so I'm gonna take Rex with me, I guess. Just like so everything is covered a little bit. Hi hey Adrian, welcome. Blade, hi. It will be three total lists, you and two others. This sucks. Okay, wait, my journal says... Return to the tower. I should be there when the ambassador presents the quarry's evidence that the Citadel Council returned to the Citadel, Citadel, Citadel's tower in the Presidium. Okay. Is there one of those fast travel things? Somewhere? Mm. She's a rocket girl? <laughs> Gypsy. Is there a problem now with Emmy? Just wait until you get to- no. Could you spare a moment of your time? Samesh Bhatia. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Ready to help? I'm listening. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. They say why? Let me help. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. You put this right. I'll find out. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay. Uh... Are our quests can I always do quests whenever or are they time locked? This you need Liara Sony. Okay, silver, but I don't have it. I, I don't have that person yet. <laughs> Garrus is my personal favorite. So many people love Garrus. 
One thing about having so many squad options is that it encourages multiple playthroughs of the game. A bit fun to rotate between missions, though. I'm curious what the overall fields of ME is for those played. I th think cutting like 40%-ish of overall content could give the game better pacing and be even more epic. I think the downside and running down parts are just there to make the game feel longer bigger, but narrowing down the amazing story into intense moments. Hmm. Hi, Illusional. Welcome. Silver Leaf. <laughs> pat, pat. Mr. Batia. Uh, I gotta go to the tower again. Hi, Mr. Floyd. Hola. Uh, I, I don't know. What I feel like is there's lots of talking. And very little action so far. But maybe it's just the intro thing of the game. Um... Maybe it's gonna change. I could see that, but I do, um, short these experiences if it concludes any parts where I can go down a micro better. Get the feeling the Expanse show took a lot of inspiration from Mass Effect. Yeah, Rex is cool too, I can understand. I ME, mean, you need to actually. Guys, can we not talk about um, like Mass Effect 2 or 3 at all? Because. Or not even the future stuff at all. So I can have my own very neutral um uh, view on the game hi Rasputin welcome I'm a bit late but thank you for the gifts <laughs> enjoy the emotes Rasputin hi Michael sub Liz the, the game is up come on Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council oh boy Eden the council Prime must be annoyed major victory the beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit and one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, is Ambassador. Here? Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Is it... is the... Odi... Odina? Odi is it Odina? By the way, Batia's real surname here. I have a friend with similar name. <laughs> I was thinking about that. I was I wanted to ask. Uh, okay, cool, cool. So the the voice actor of the Udina guy, he sounds like Emperor M here. Hi, Prem. Commander Shnu Shnu. Very large percent of the quests are always available until a specific point of no return, but that is much later. Okay. I want to I want to take my time and do things, but I don't know if I'm going to miss things if I uh, progress too far. So please let us discover the awesome series on our own. I'm excited to watch you discover the series. Uh, hi, Champy. I'm good. How are you doing? Welcome. That's what I didn't uh, like to in ME. The pacing is a bit boring. Yeah, it's, it's lots of talking and I hope there will be a little bit more action as well. Matrix Benizia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Saren's is bringing them back. The Geth revere them. That's why they follow Saren. Saren's bringing them back. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Not yet. Does it matter? It's trouble. Not yet. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. You doubted me before, yeah. You doubted me before, and now I've proven you wrong. So maybe, now listen. Um. Odina voice actor is Bill Ratner. Okay, sounds very similar to... to, um... Emir. What? Sugar Bear! Oh my god. 
Thank you so much for 30 bucks. Thanks for all the awesome. <laughs> Thanks for all the awesome streams you do. Liz love oh, little sugar bear, you sweetheart. Thank you so much for 30 bucks. Guys, all the all the all the golds are full. It's gotta be singing later. I'm very excited. Thank you so much. Our Captain Anderson is a war crux. <laughs> oh man. Won't spoil anything, but Immo, the beginning is talky for a degree of exp exposition, then you dive in Immo. Okay. I mean, sometimes games are like that. They There's lots of talking to get you into the story, and then it's uh, getting more action heavy. So I'm not like judging it now, but so it's a bit slow. The start is a bit slow. It's lots of talking, and um, I'm just scared that there's vital information that I'm going to need later. And then I forgot about it. But I bet you guys are ready to give me background information if I need, right? Has the slowest pace, but it's because it needs to create the setting and story. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's often like the first game is like that. Hey, Bone Torch. Welcome. The Reapers are real. You doubted me before. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. I've seen them. Can't you understand me? I've, se I've seen them in my vision. <sighs> 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Chris, thank Saren you so much. Saren is a rogue much. agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. The <laughs> Citadel fleet could secure the entire region. Keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic you, confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Chris Days, thank you so much for continuing the gifted sub you got from from Hoipling Hernches. I hope you enjoy the chonkies. Armin Shimmer Shimmeren as the Salarian. Huh? Dina's way too aggressive. He's super aggressive. And that's not he's not um He needs to be more chill, otherwise he seems invested in that too much like emotionally that's not good um hang on a second guys whenever jerry was tagging me uh the community challenge 12 hour stream started um uh, info is always blocking the message so there you go this you might think is it bad but codex is good you can relax a bit on the main items with the voice act reading it for you the voice the voice acting reading it for you not all entries or voice to select a study yeah, it's just, when I start a game, I'm always overwhelmed with the lore and all the info and the, the play mechanics, always, every game. And I will get into it after some time. It m probably takes me like two, three streams or so until I'm in it, you know? So I, everything feels automated and natural to me. Until then, we just have to wait. <laughs> Thanks for the hug, Ectimus. Not all codex entries are voiced. Yeah, that, that's what Jared just said. So do nothing sent me. Same old story. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Sent me. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It's the best solution. I'm ready. Quit holding us back. I'm ready. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Am I Spectre now? <laughs> I'm above the law. <laughs> Commander Shepard, step forward. Nice. Let's go. Everybody's like, oh, a human becoming a specter. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. 
Yeah. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. <laughs> Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Well, wait, wait but I thought the commander, no, the, the, um, the captain was already. Chris and, 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 and player? Chris and player. Not impaler, and player. Thank you very much for the follow. Uh, Mass Effect have huge background story and logical backstories. No surprise, it feels like a lot. Yeah. Music is kind of by the way they play the, every time the word Spectre. We talk about our salary first. <laughs> Commander Lise. <laughs> yeah, but politician is somewhat different. Responsibilities and needed characteristics. I thought I heard thunder. Na, 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 na. I love the music of the game. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. <laughs> any leads? Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. Udina this was meeting the of the Council is adjourned. She always closes the Council, it's okay. Just give a Spectre status away. Congratulations, already. Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Nice. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Odina is always so meh, so so harsh and like angry. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. I don't blame him. It's no big deal. Figures. It's no big deal. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Spectre bonus. Spectre training talent unlocked. Hell yeah. Let's check it out. I have four points. Julius, thanks for the follow. Welcome. He allegedly worked, selected, or considered for the Spectre, not a member. Liz. I don't I don't know what you're talking about now, Jeru. Hi Nero, welcome. The epic journey begins with this. Yay! <laughs> Are we here for peace? First mission, you can eliminate that guy as you see fit. Hell yeah. <laughs> we get special stuff, yeah. I got the power. I love how good Emil looks with the upgrade. Spectre training at bottom. Yo, hell yeah. Spectre training. Elite agents of the council. The spectres have access to special training unavailable elsewhere in the galaxy. Increases health, accuracy, and effectiveness of all attacks and powers. Grants unit, uh, unity ability. Increases the damage and duration of all your powers and attacks by 1%. Increases health by 5%. Increases maximum accuracy by 2. It's very little. But I could get all four now. I'm gonna do that. Hehehe. <laughs> Allows you to immediately restore your squad members to fighting state after they have been knocked out in combat. Cool. That's very nice. Cool, cool. Speak to the ambassador. We'll provide you with a ship and crew. Meet him at the Alliance docking bay, accessible through the center elevator in the CSEC Academy. So, before we leave this place, I want to do the Bati guy. I want to I want to give him I want to help him uh with his wife. How do I get there again? Wait, journal. Speak to Bosker the diplomat handling Batia's situation and find out why his wife's body has not been I want to do this. Can I Can I select this and then homecoming? It's an embass embassy lounge on the Presidium. How do I get there? Also go to CSEC to visit Spectre requisitors, Requisitions Officer. Usual readings. Eh? What? Hi, Glogu. Afro, hi, welcome. Snoo Snoo Commander. <laughs> this your rest, your team when they down. Rest with that skill. 
You resurrect. Yeah, yeah. I, I understood. I understood what it said, Corey. Presidium locations. Uh, ward access. Em embassies? Hmm. I want to do the Batic guy. No, ba Bati. Bati guy, I said, but it was Batia. Help him with his wife. Yeah, sounds like Sinister Commander Liz, all right? <laughs> Hi, Kim. Hello. How are you doing? You thought Anderson was already a Spectre member, Liz? He wasn't. Commander Snoo the first. Well, because Hakin, his name was? What? Oh, when you put down the controller, sometimes it clicks for you. Um, the ha Hakin or Harkin? Harkin. The Harkin guy said that the, com the, the captain used to be a Spectre, right? I can't see other messages, but when I send them, I don't see mine. Oof, that's weird. Hi, Enthroned. Okay, wait, let me, let me just check again with my journal. Embassy Lounge. Where's the Embassy Lounge? Citadel Tower. Financial District. Mm. I will never get used to this. This is the guy that I want to help. He's here. Dual control. Uh, Zedicus, thank you very much for the follow. Kind of specter, not an actual one. He was a candidate, okay. Quezacot, hi. He did, but he's also a drunk fool. Hmm. Okay. Well, some t you know, usually kids and drunken people say the truth. Because they're too... To, like, the drunken people are too drunk to think about lying, you know? <laughs> I love this emote, Vosper. Glad you do. Guys, where's the embassy lounge? How do I get there? Here. And I'm here. So, up here? Oops, no, no, put that, put that away. Put it, put it away, girl. Put it away. So, yeah, up here, right? Okay. Jip, 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 jip. I think. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Point Your just activities left. made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Mostly for easy XP, if that's what you want. XP is always good. Yep. I'm here for some mesh. Stop stealing corpses. I'm here for Samesh. Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. She's toxic? You're running tests? You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. This isn't right. Investigate. I'm releasing the body. Ah! <laughs> Oh, that's a tough one, though. Like, the poor guy. But... What am I gonna do? Shit. Some of the aggressive responses are amazing. Fixed my message, not showing up. Aye. Hey, game over. Renegade Shepard is great for a second playthrough. Go blue. But... I know blue is charm, but the question is... I mean, I see, I see the, the argument. I see the reason that this guy has. So I, I understand when we, when we can pre prepare ourselves better by studying this body. Maybe it's, maybe it's good for us. Follow the, follow that heart. And throne. Thank you for the three month resub. Only here for the snoo snoo. <laughs> Liz, you're the commander. You have to make tough decisions. It's on the box. It says it. I know. I know, Corey. I know. 
As a soldier and commander, I understand. As a human with empathy, I'm like, oh, come on, really? Maybe, yeah, maybe Samesh should hear this. Maybe, maybe it's best if, like, he, he would know. And maybe he would say, yeah, I'm fine with that, you know? Thank you very much, Enthrone, for the resub. I hope you're doing good. Enjoy the chonkies. Is it? Good character, no? So the blue respawn fits the RP. I don't know if I'm a good character. I'm a... I try to roleplay. I am a commander, after all. Let me talk with a husband before taking a decision. Can I say this? Samesh should hear this. I think this would be the best. Like, maybe he's like, yeah, okay, I understand this. And under these circumstances, I think they should keep my wife's body and do some investigation and some research. Maybe wife will decide. Wife? You mean husband? Tell Batia and see what he wants done after. Yeah, we'll try. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. <laughs> She's really like, Ugh. Wait, is this the right way? Uh, which, who's, is that me? No. This is me. Safe? Okay. Bing! <laughs> Jeru. Why do I keep picking up my weapons? God damn it. I'm running for you, sir. Hello, Commander. Hello. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosco? Hi, Silent. Hello. Will you return my wife's body? Wife. Tell me again what you've been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. Where can I find this Mr. Bosker? Oh, man, he was in the expensive bar over there. There's a problem, they're running tests. They're running tests. They're running medical studies on Nirali. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. This is important. This is war. We'll fix this. This is important. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. She did it willingly. She, she can still help. What would she want? Because <clears throat> this is your trigger happy? What? This game has potato faces. <laughs> well, it's an older game, Relafay. There's worse games from the same time that look worse. Went into that redeem. <laughs> it's a good habit to manual save and ME. Autosave is not to be trusted in this one, okay. Liz, yeah, husband decide no more about wife. Yeah, well, what'd she want? She did willingly, she can still help. If the military had asked your wife to submit the test to save human lives, what would she have said? It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Aww. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. I'm sorry, Samesh. I'm sorry. I feel bad. Go to the Hydra system and Arg Argos Row cluster investigate. This is this is not in the Citadel anymore, is it? These are different uh, locations, different, like in space. <laughs> well, she's already dead, so is that an option? <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. Faces are not potatoes. That's true. They're faces, but they. I mean, it's an older game, right? That's how it is. Speak to the ambassador. So, under do I understand cor correctly that that these are outside of this area? I cannot do them now. All in space. Yup. Go to Spectre Acquisition Officer as well. But I don't have a quest for that. Hmm. 
He walked away into the void. Poof, gone. So sad. He just disappeared. They're not in the citadel. Okay, good. You can look around for more quests on the citadel if you want. Well, this place is huge and I'll probably get lost. Like, very certainly. You can still visit this new snoo place. Hmm, fair point. I have a feeling like I will come back into this area quite often, right? Like, this is our base, kinda. Should be in CSEC. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Be more open-minded. What's the problem? So it's, it's not smart enough. What's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Let me talk to it. I'll help. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. What? What the fuck are you? <laughs> it's a jelly. Are you a jellyfish? You look funny. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? This isn't the way. You're breaking the law. Having trouble? What's the problem? How are you doing? This isn't the way. So this is not investigating right now, these sides, right? It's the biggest social hub in the game. There are a few side quests that appear all the time on the Citadel. Yeah. It was a really nice thing to add all the DLCs to the addition. More DLCs means more Mass Effect. <laughs> Are you going for having trouble? Here comes the infamous mirrors. You bit stupid jellyfish. You big stupid jellyfish. Bubblegum species. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language, and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. So is he some kind of preacher of a belief? This is unworthy of you. Could I buy your permit? Goodbye. Could I buy your permit? So am I offering to buy a permit for the Hanar, this evangelistic uh, permit thing. They are the evangelical jellyfishes. <laughs> Hi Warped, this isn't the way, clearly not from Mandalore. One DLC is missing from the Legendary Edition, though a small one because they couldn't find the code for it anymore. Wow. Allow me to speak about the Enkindlers here in the chat. I promise you all will follow the Enkindlers. Spending money. Hmm. Hmm. You need a permit to evangelize beliefs in public there. So buying the permit allows you to end the quest amicably. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. Insult their memory, not this way. They wouldn't want this. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Okay. Okay. These ones I can't do. You can use speech instead of money. Jellies for Jesus! <laughs> Kinda sad results. I mean... I don't know, was that sad? Didn't, didn't feel so sad to me. 
Hi, Matt Quarks. Welcome. How you doing? Farla, hey. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. He's so chunky. Ah, very famous one, yes. You are the one called Shepherd. Look how chunky. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. Have we met? You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. So when chunky. someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I was told to talk to you. I need your help. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? Oh, that's a bit you're late now. You're very blunt, Shepard. And you're right. But Rex has already told you far more than I know about this. I am sorry, but I have nothing else to offer. Well, that's okay. Personal questions? Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. What? I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted <laughs> attention. He twisted. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. This is legal. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. Uh-huh. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Hmm. So this is already done. What's it like living here on the Citadel? Thanks for the station wish. is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. <laughs> it is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel space together in a single, strong community. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. Eighty percent of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% mm -hmm. of all intelligent species, okay. but only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from <laughs> dozens of different species. I hope you never know what you'll find out in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. Okay. I should go. How's it going, Liz? Goodbye, Let's go, okay. Commander. It's like always, I'm starting a game and I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Like, this place seems to be massive. Got a moment, Spectre. Hello, Spectre. Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. <laughs> How's it going for you, David? How do you know me? I'm not interested. Good for you. How do you know me? How did you know I'm a specter? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. Okay. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. Hi, Quasius. They will be well prepared. All good here. Let's just tweaking my Skyrim mod list here and there. Ooh, still working on it, huh? Hi, Norseman. 
I miss your beautiful smiling face. Guess what? I'm a daddy now. Oh, <gasps> congratulations. Wah wah wee wah. Exposure, huh? There's a joke about an ME2. Oh god, I'm such a sleepy. Ugh, lizard today. I, c I could charge you. Investigate. This is an obvious setup. The partnership soured and each believes that the other intends to kill them. They will be well prepared. Her interest. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. I won't do this. I'll do it. Not a problem. So this seems to be something shady. Um... Right? Something illegal, kind of? Do you have lizards? No, I don't, Michael. <laughs> I mean, I have this community, and I'm Liz, and the community are the lizards, you know? Um, that's why we call them like that. <laughs> Mass sleepy time? Oh, yeah. I should have gone to bed earlier last night. I couldn't fall asleep because it was so cold. Actually, Enthrone, that is a very good idea. Guys, stretch. Everybody stretch with me. I might take a short break to either grab a beer or a smoothie. Hmm. How late is it? Uh, maybe I will go for the smoothie first. They're drug dealers, slavers, etc. So, not good people. Hmm. But I don't have the points. There you go. Uh, I'll do it. Not a problem. I could charge you. So as in, I could... Like, get her... In trouble for what she's doing? If shady as fuck, but you could take out a couple multi-system crime bosses. Beer-flavored smoothie? Okay, very <laughs> smoothie. Shady lady wants you to take out even shadier people. I, I mean, I am above the law, so I could just do it, right? Mature grape smoothie. Wait, that's wine. We're talking about beer here, not grapes. That's... That's something different. I do live in a, in a wine-producing area, though. This is an obvious setup. Ah, I don't know if this is gonna have bad consequences. It probably will. If life gives you grapes, make wine. A beer smoothie. Fermented and dist distilled grape smoothie sounds even better. How about a vodka for you guys? Oh boy. <sighs> Can I just walk away from her? So, if I understand correctly, this lady does shady business and she wants me to take out more shady people. There's good loot. I'm not about the loot if it means that I'm gonna be a bad person. I have a feeling this is a like bad karma thing. Kim, thank you so much for the form of the resub. Enjoy the emotes. Thank you so much for picking me as your prime sub-target of the month again. Never pass up the opportunity for heavily armed assaults on criminal organizations. <sighs> there won't be any negative results. <sighs> I'm gonna do it, but it's, it is gonna be a problem. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. She looks hella sus. Liz, you can't just walk away once you pick a combo. Also, every quest has a good and bad options. Means this one can make you a good guy, too.
Avina. Oh, this this thing again. What the fuck is that? Um, where do I gotta go? Alliance Docking Bay. Through the central elevator in the CSEC Academy. Okay, so we gotta go to the CSEC Academy. Where's the fast travel point thing? The next one. There's another jelly! A shopkeeper. Hmm. Why not kill them all? <laughs> Respect and also, who cares? You're basically untouchable. Because I do have a conscience. Yes, yes. This thing, so... What is closest to the... The CSEC thing? There you go. A Krogan statue. I mean, I can tell you more about the statue. She passes a Krogan. I mean, it did it did look like a Krogan, but... Hmm. Uh, uh... Am I right here? I'm gonna be off so, lo so lost so often. Meet him at the Alliance Docking Bay, accessible through the central elevator in the CSAC Academy. Am I in the CSAC Academy, though? To Docking Bay. This seems to be right. I guess. Docking Bay, right? It said so. Uh, yes. How can you fight your own people, Rex? There aren't that many of you left. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. Okay, so Rex is like, let's kill everybody. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. What? She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. What's going on? I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. There's more to this. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Well, I'm wrong. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. You can count on me. Any word on Saren? What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. We have a ship now! But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. What about the Reapers? Ah! <laughs> Come clean with me, Captain. I like Rex, he knows the shape of the universe. <laughs> what? You are the ship's captain now. Wow. So I'm not Commander Shepard, I'm Captain Shepard now? Captain Commander Snoo Snoo. Uh, what about the Reapers? The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Count on me. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. Ooh. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. <gasps> See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. Ooh. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. 
Let's start with Ferris. I'll start there. I'll start there. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll be careful. It might be necessary. That's your job. <laughs> That's your job, bitch. <laughs> uh, I, it might be necessary. Uh, well, we'll see, right? Dr. Snoo Snoo. Uh, not still, Commander. You did not get a promotion. God damn it. Liz, I don't know about you, but after this, it seems like a great chance for a break. Wink, wink. Adult juice time. What? Oh, you mean... I hope you mean the beer. Um... Hey, Thunder Warrior, welcome. I'm, it, it might be necessary. It's just the realistic and honest answer, right? Sometimes you have to make a mess. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. That is exactly not what it... That's the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. Yes, I know. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Are you... Are you impatient, Tully? You alright? Yes, Commander. Are you okay? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. Yeah. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Our team is Tau Class or Ferris. Any extra intel you can yeah. give me on our colony at Ferris? Hi, Tanimi. Hello, how the are you? The entire planet used to be one giant hmm. Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with Sleepy. a few small, uncharted <laughs> worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. Mm hmm What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. Tell you the all whole the energy. planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct <laughs> illegal research. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. Mm-hmm. Okay. You worked with the Spectres. I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. <laughs> this doesn't matter. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Look at the eyes. What's wrong? What's wrong with the eyes? <laughs> Sachiel, hi! Thank you so much for the seven month resub! You're legend! How's Mass Effect Sephardus? It's great! Hi, Ivy, welcome! Hi, Story, hello, hello! Welcome in! Hi, Litho! Half ship will travel? What? Sachiel, thank you so much for the resubscription. Enjoy the emotes! Welcome back to the Chonkies! Uh, patience, young Padawan. What report to the ship? A sap. Hi, <laughs> <Hey>, Commander. <laughs> how are you doing? How are you doing, Lena? Welcome. Sort of a good neutral bat most of the times. So we get a feeling for it. Big eyes, big vision. Fem ship eyes are somehow worse than male ship. Well, this is this is not the default one. I I created my own, but the options weren't great. To be fair. Overwhelmed with, with work a bit, otherwise I would have been here earlier. It's all good. Thank you for, for showing up at all. Like I'm always happy when anybody pops in. And if it's if it's just a minute, I, I really appreciate everybody's time. It's just me or has this learned the one space yard eye stare from Captain Shep. 
Honey, I invented that. <laughs> I just gave her the stare. Something went wrong. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split TWT, up the TWT, thanks for the follow. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Was anyone hurt? That's an extreme good plan. <laughs> you can't be such a dick. Um, was anyone hurt? I think it was, they already told me it was thousands or so. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. Shit. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. You got blamed? Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Wasn't your fault? That's not fair. Forget about the past. Oof. Hi, Say Dreamer. How are you liking the story so far, Liz? Uh, so far it's good. So far it's good. Mass Effect 1? Yes, Ryo, this is Mass Effect 1. Liz, I repeat, think we will play a Renegade Sassy playthrough? No. I'm so very happy you're playing this game, Liz. Hope you see a full trilogy playthrough. Yeah, like, this This is the plan. Um, I, I like the game so far, but I feel like there's lots of talking and I'm a little bit overwhelmed by all the information that is uh, tossed at me right now and I cannot determine what is important for me right now and what is not, what is really, what I really have to, like, take mental notes of. So right now I'm just like, oh god, so much information, can't, can't compute. Um, and also I'm scared to make wrong decisions and, like, be, be nasty, you know, I don't want to be a bad guy. Uh, I, I don't, I have no idea how impactful my choices are. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Sarah. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. That's not fair. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad Fair feeling point. about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Forget about the past. It wasn't your fault. Hmm. See, Liz, in my language, we call that a ne bloque, which could be almost exactly used like bug-eyed. <laughs> Welcome to Mass Effect, just go with the flow. And Chad, do not spoil. <laughs> play it the way you want to play it. Well, the thing is, I, I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious now. Half of the time, I'm picking something and I feel like this is gonna be a good answer. And then Shepard is like, totally a bitch about... <laughs> ah! <laughs> I wanna be nice and friendly and Shepard is like, BAM! Shots fired, you know? Ugh. I don't, I don't like when the options seem super chill. And then the outcome, the actual answer, is totally different. And I, I don't like when I'm tricked by a game like this, right? I want my choices to be actual choices and not like a trick. So isn't that what Chad is here for, to help you keep it all straight? I hope they're here to have fun. And when I have a question that maybe I can get some answers, but... It is a first playthrough and mistakes are are gonna happen follow dialogue options are similar sadly yeah trust me you're going to be a big damn hero no matter what that's just how mass effect rolls okay I mentioned earlier the lower right choices are all, mostly the sassy i know i know i know this already but it's not always like what i learned so far is like these two things when there's just two and they're opposite of each other it's one or the other um when there's stuff on the right, uh, on the left side, then you can investigate further and ask more questions and get background information. And usually the right side is ending the dialogue. I don't know. 
I just told him that it wasn't his fault, so I'm gonna say, what about the pet? The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. How it's was no that good. even close to... <laughs> How was that even close to what I just had as an option? Uh, I think it's one of my favorite games that I'm having fun watching. Go with the flow. Okay, whiskey. And Foxy will thanks for the follow. I'm here to watch you kill everyone and everything. Uh, goodbye. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Shroom. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. This feels wrong. I'm ready. I'm fucking ready. Let's Saren's go. out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. I need to be honest with them. Now we do things my way. Let's keep this short. I need to be... I want to be honest. I want everybody to know what they signed up for. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Humanity, humanity must do its part. Eden Prime was just the start. Nobody's going to help us. Saren will be ready for us. Eden Prime was just the start. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. So do I have to make epic speeches too? God damn it. Must do its part. Saren will be ready for us. Nobody's going to help us. We must not fail. Now come on, I have to... I have to... Give some motivation, right? Humanity must do its part. Let's go. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Saren can't hide from us. Saren will be ready for us. Uh, he will be, and we, but he cannot hide. This means sass effect after a first play for the lords. <laughs> Uh, both of them are true. He will be ready. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Everyone's coming to us. We must not fail. We have no other options. This sounds so desperate. Uh, we must not fail. Everyone is counting on us. Let's go. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Hell yeah! Well said, Commander. Captain I won't let him proud. down. Not, not if we fail. He doesn't matter anymore. I won't let him down. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the epic music just stopped. <laughs> what? That was weird. We need to do the snoo snoo. Hell yeah. Come back, friends. Welcome back, Actimus. So, Shepard never blinks? Never. Never. Do you blink? Nah. Vari, thank you very much for half a year. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. How are you doing? Thank you so much for your support. Welcome back to the Chonkies! This moment reminds me every time I play the game first in 2009. Feels strong, man. Wishy. <laughs> Yo, Mass Effect type! Yes, Forensic! Hi, welcome! The stare. Blink check? Nope. People who don't blink in the future. Listen, no matter how many times I play Mass Effect, I always giggle at the Renegade options when I pick them and hear them. Yeah, Renegade seems to be the, the sassy, funny options, but I don't want to be nasty, you know? 
The void eats everything, even the music, apparently. Shepard held her title and starting staring contest for five years straight. <laughs> it's a force of habit. To focus on the mission to blink. <laughs> okay, guys, before we do anything, I think I will go and grab smoothie and then later have the beer i mean we're not even halfway through the stream are we yeah we still have 20 19 minutes until the half of it so yeah guys everybody who doesn't know uh, who, who didn't know today is a 12 hour stream we have lots of time left for playing today um so i'm gonna take a short break stretch a little bit and stuff um I'll be right back, enjoy the clips that I'm playing from my GDA5 first playthrough, and I'll see you afterwards. Enjoy. This job wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for all the shitty drivers in Los Santos. Why is it raining? Uh... Agent Orton. So, due to heat, water, evaporates, I think is the English word, and then it goes into the sky in form of clouds, um, and then when it cools down again, it falls from the heaven, and that's called rain, and that's why it rains. My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You Who is Bob? Are not very fucking nice. Don't tell me I have to shoot her now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you never know with Trevor. <laughs> oh, hey there, Trevor. Oh my God, he did kill them. Trevor, no! Mm, hey there, Wade. Trevor, no! Did you meet Gebra? <laughs> you did not do this, Trevor! You did not strap the the eyeball raped teddy bear with the underwear from Debra on your truck. The fuck is wrong with you, Trevor? Oh, okay, wait, I've gotta go back. Out of the way. <laughs> this is my road. I wanna try. I wanna try a stunt, guys. Stunt time! Go! Oh god, 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 oh god. Yo slow motion Where am I supposed to land? Failed Miss Misbehave? Misbehave? <laughs> oh no! <gasps> I was bleeding out of my booty hole. He had a little bit of bloody explosive diarrhea coming out of him. And he had it. <clears throat> no! No! <laughs> you used to do? Stop shooting! I can't hear myself think! Okay. Is he going through the hospital? Oh my lord! Hold on to your corset! Uh, seems rude not to follow him through the window. Dum dum dum. <laughs> Cheese mate, thank you very much for the follow. And hi guys, I'm back. Hi Eddie, hello, how are you? I love how Renegade basically varies widely between pragmatic to full-blown goddamn psychopath. Wow. I got a true fruit smoothie, guys. Welcome back, Commander Liz. He Skull, guys. Oh man, Liz playing Mass Effect while munching on pistachio ice. Doesn't get a be lot better than that. Wow. Does it have chocolate chips in there? Hardy, hi, welcome. Had you tapped while I was... Str uh, okay. But I'm back now. It looks good. Yeah, it's nice. I think it's mango in there. Mm. Three coffees so far. I was a very sleepy lizard today. So wait, who do I talk to now? What's my job? Gath attack. The Gath have attacked the world of Pharaohs, your primary 
primary objective is to go to Zeus Hope Colony to investigate what Saren is after and why he sent his Geth troops to the planet. Investigate first to see why the colony was attacked by Geth. So first off, we want to find Liara Tisoni. Go to Artemis Tau. Explore the uncharted worlds of the Artemis Tau cluster. Do I have to? Do I have to decide like this? A galaxy map? What? Wow! Oh, can I just go there and like be? I want to go there. <gasps> okay, that's cool. Supposedly constructed by the long-extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium Ring. Okay. What? <laughs> what? How do I... how do I... Oh, zoom out. Oh, there's the- Wow! Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, zoom out. Oh, whoa! Serpent Nebula. Wow! Wow! The hour's dig side. This is where we gotta go. Bam! Sparta? Gnosis? Why is everything so Greek here? This is Malacca country! Guys, we found Malacca- the Malacca galaxy! Nice! Hi Wenzel, how are you? Welcome! Happy Canada Day to all my fe fellow Canadians and chat. <laughs> Hi Cheap Effects. The galaxy map music is so good. It's pretty cool. Athens? Macedon? Uh... Gnosis and Sparta. Zoom out. I can't just zoom out now. I cannot zoom in further. Travel. I can just travel there. Hmm. I'm listening to you as background and I hear much amaze right now. Yeah! I mean, look at that. I see space. That's really cool, right? Da, 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 da. Galaxy map music is one of my most iconic uh, Mass Effect soundtrack. I don't know to which one I have to go. But maybe that's just the point. Maybe I just have to run around. Let's go to Sparta! Travel to another system? Hell yeah, let's go. Bing! Oh my god, it's July already through. I know, right? Suddenly, suddenly July. Bye! <laughs> This looks like a massive spaceship cannon or something. I don't know where I gotta go. Don't know. Thank you very much for the 15 months resubscription with Prime. Holy moly, you legend! Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the emotes for another 30 days, Donald. How are you doing? Welcome. In the original ME, this part was loud as fuck. It is still very loud, I think. It is a massive cannon. Okay, good. It's kind of a spaceship cannon. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. How the hell do I know where I gotta go? Mass Effect has been one of my most all-time favorite game series, so glad you're playing through it. <laughs> I hear that so often. Questlog might give information about where to look, but... Okay. Uncharted words of the Artemis Tau Cluster. That's it. The Uncharted Worlds of the Artemis Tau Cluster. So I have to... I have to check everything, is what I understand. Mass realize we're basically cannons. <sighs> we're gonna start here. Altaya. 
usually large terrestrial world with a trace atmosphere of methane and ammonia. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of sandstone and other sedimentary rocks with deposits of iron and chlorides. Chlorides? Judging by the sedimentary composition of the crust, it appears that Altaya once possessed an atmosphere thick enough to support some form of liquid. What cataclysm stripped the atmosphere and left the planet to freeze is not currently known. But... Why can I not travel? I cannot travel there? Is that what they're telling me? Tremandra is a dwarf planet composed of light magnesium silicates with deposit of aluminium. Uh, its surface is covered with white swathes of ancient dark basaltic lava, possibly indicating the world was created through an impact with some other body in the system. Tremendous magnetic field is non-existent. This makes it impossible for ships to dump drive charges from orbit. That said, tremendous minuscule gravity allows even cruiser-sized vessels to land safely for direct grounding. But I cannot travel to any of those. Only one map plan is actually explorable per system, so don't feel afraid. Okay. I wasn't afraid, I was just like... I felt like I was not understanding the assignment. <laughs> Small distant Alsages is a small terrestrial with a trace atmosphere of methane and argon. The sur I feel like I, I just finished um, watching the entire series of Breaking Bad and reading all these uh, chemistry terms. I'm like, <laughs> Walter White, <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> um, uh, the surface is composed of water, ice, and calcium with water, ice, and calcium with occasional deposits of light metals. During the Alliance pirate suppression campaign in the blah blah blah, the Batarian Iluum Ranpera was called with his frigid Tenerian grounded on those sages to drive discharge when challenged with the cruiser High Hyder Hyderabad what the hell are these names? <laughs> refused to surrender. Then Tenerian was destroyed attempting to take off. The debris is strewn across the southern hemisphere. Apparently, I could... Rare elements surveyed. Scans from orbit have detected a small deposit of plutonium. Okay. That's it? Oh, okay. What's with this one? Gas deposit surveyed. Hydrogen. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. Uh -huh. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Aha, here can land. Let's go. Atlas is a terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Atlas's surface is covered by wide deserts of silicate sand with only a few areas of in igneous rock islands to break the abrasive dust-choked wind. Atlas's orbit is congested with debris thrown inwards by the gravity of the gas giant Onta Malka. Due to a high rate of meteor impacts, exploration is highly dangerous. Okay. I think I missed one more over here. No? Okay, actually, we're supposed to land here then. Let's land! So we survey equals my oh no <laughs> no can I pick three now that I'm the boss lady can I maybe pick three come on <sighs> I like Tali can I just have to no, I can't. <laughs> she always looks very surprised. The character on this. What? <laughs> there. You get money and quest items from surveys. Okay. How do you feel about Walter White? I like at the end that... I, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody who d hasn't watched the show, but... Um, we finished watching the movie about Jesse, so everybody who doesn't know, they made a movie um, called El Camino uh, that gives a little bit of closure for Jesse after what happened and during 
uh, what what happened during um, Breaking Bad. It was, it was nice to watch that yesterday. We have been over this oh, one, two squad mates allowed. But why? Why can I? Does it get more? Do I get more people later? Like, it would be helpful if I would know what I need in the mission, you know? I like that she has the tech stuff. And she has the... But I, I'm gonna be the, the combat strength, so we don't really need combat, combat strength anymore, right? Maybe I should take him then, Caden. Lots of tech. Hmm. Bird not Rex, weird name. <laughs> okay. Only two slots for teammates for the game. Oof. Which last is playing soldier? Uh, that movie could have been just an extra episode. Didn't feel like a movie. It was good though. Wait, am I driving? Okay, the game was bugging up. Oh my god, I will hate this. Oh my god, the driving is so awkward. Oh shit, what's this? Holy shit nuggets! What is this driving? Hello? Oh boy. I just rode over it. There's comets coming down. Uh oh. So I really have to drive around on, on planets, yeah? Oh boy, I'm gonna get stuck. Wait, you know what? Before I do anything... We're gonna save before I do something stupid. Yeet! see stuff there. Mav is your best friend in these. <laughs> this seems to be still intact. Alliance movie. Am I even, even hurting it? Uh oh. Repair, repair, repair. I did not. Oh. I did not. Oh, what the hell? Is it healing? Ew! Ah, what the? What the frick? <laughs> I don't- <laughs> I didn't expect this! I didn't expect that there's suddenly alien Cthulhu monsters that I have to fight! Oh, what a thunk! Why can I not shoot? Am I too far away? No, stop spitting at me, you disgusting malaka! Is there something like a dash forward? This combat is so weird. I'm shooting, I try shooting. Maybe I misunderstood the, sh the cannon thing, but it didn't tell me any other way. No! And a machine gun, and you also. But I don't know how to use the cannon! It didn't tell me! Move it, move it, move it, move it! Go away. 
go away, go, 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 go. Stop following me, you prick. <laughs> Nope. This is so weird. Ah! This will take me some getting used to, guys. How long is the cooldown for this? Super slow. Am I even making any damage right now? How did it hit me? Like, are you kidding me? Oh shit, heal, 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 heal. I'm dead, my car is broken. Cannot heal, I cannot heal. No! Cannot heal anymore! What am I gonna do now? No! No, 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 no! Piss off you- no. How much still dr- No, was that? Did it do? Did it do an autosave? Uh, d load. Apparently, it did an autosave. I don't know. They charged this enemy legendary edition, and the original was a joke. The thing is that I was, I wasn't, I wasn't aware of. That I can use a, a cannon. It didn't tell me that at all. It would have been nice if the game would have told me I actually have a cannon, not just a machine gun. Because before, when you were shooting, it was just uh, RT. And all of a sudden, it's uh, RB. Would have been nice if they would have told you that. But now I know that. Now it's gonna be easier. Okay, this is so weird. I really have to understand. But seriously, like, though, who, who goes in and reads the menu? Or the manual, like... Does anybody still do that?
How does this thing always hit you, no matter what you do? Yeah, but but try but try driving and aiming at the same time. This is like the worst mechanic that I I hate that in every game when you have to shoot and yeah. <laughs> Honor Munson, uh, Thugbeard, and Sylvionica. Thank you very much for the follows, guys. Resume. Okay, let's try that again. I don't. I don't want advice, guys. I will figure it out. Okay, just physical damage as well. I I do not know how to how to dodge these the the assets. Though. Just driving away is it the only thing you can do. Hey, Melodius, come on, heal. You could try to jump with your car. Driving around and hoping for the best. <laughs> Literally doing the spray and pray method, and since it's using a liquid, you can use his. But it doesn't have any. Like, it, it's, it's, it's like kind of homing, you know? The fucking ass is following you. Hi, Aussie, welcome. No, no. This doesn't help either. Why can I not shoot? Okay, I can't- I can't shoot. For some reason I was not able to shoot. I- I- I clicked it. Why does it work?
know even if you're not touched by it. And I don't know if I have to be in a certain... In a certain... Could you stop, you silly fucking thing? You're gonna kill me anyway. Do it already. There you go. To be honest, the Mako is the worst part of the game. I mean, the the hit range, like the it's it's a tank of a of a hitbox. His 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 stuff or my my wagon. I don't know. Wow. Thank you, game. Instantly, over 50% of my health gone. This will take your health, though, there. In the edges, but it looks like it's hitting. Senior. How it still hit me, no matter what I do, it always hits you. And now I can shoot. Why can't I not shoot? No, I can. Am I making am I making damage? Although I not I don't see the health bar of that thing. Or is it just going into Nirvana? Whatever I shoot. effect on my on my car. Uh, gotta love old games sometimes. Okay, don't stand on this thing. I guess that's that try. I would like to heal, game. Can't heal anymore. We have to collect things. Oh, the Mako's the ship, okay. So there's a visual block of the legendary edition. Original just fine. So now I can't heal anymore. So that's that. That's it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna die again. <laughs> Uh. Oh, yeah. 
you don't have enough Omni Gel to heal. You can break down some inventory stuff you don't need if you want to. But how am I gonna do that now? I'm in a fucking battle. You can always go to your menu, aha. Uh -huh. So you break down in your menu. I'm still repairing, okay. bosses are not as tough as this fucking stuff, man. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah, I want to go home. What am I? Oh, there's people. Oops. Medical kit? Can I? Can I? Can I pick this up, please? How do I? Do I drive over it? How, what do I? What do I do? Exit the- how do I exit? The game doesn't tell me anything. So I thank you very much for giving a, a, um, a sub to Liz Shepard. What the frick? <laughs> how? How? Game- game doesn't tell me how to exit. How- how do I- Aha! Uh -huh. You have to hold B, okay. Like, tutorials would be nice, game, you know? 
the, the stuff that when you when somebody plays a game for the first time and you do something for the first time it gives you some info looks like these men were under Admiral Cahokan's command do you want to know what happened here you lead I'll follow uh, I follow I follow you so I'm not gonna lie, I like the game, but this was utter bullshit. <laughs> the controls are nasty and nothing is explained. Like, for example, that you cannot shoot while you're repairing and stuff. And that you heal it also with Omnigel and n nothing. I just... Uh. So what, what is my... what am I gonna do now? Hostel takeover. The two crime lords are located in the hand system. Wait, that's completely different stuff now. I'm looking for her. Our team is Tau. I'd say, if I suppose you don't want to do it again. Oh, yeah, you're right. Let's get moving. Not, not getting in the vehicle? No? map so this is where I am right now right debris I assume you can select the sub entry of the quest for more information the sub entry I mean which one has same time did a really good job with controls It's just I I don't like that any time when you when you are driving something and I mean I have no means to heal my stuff now. I mean you guys tell me that I can do stuff, but I I I don't even know how to from the menu. I I don't know how to how to break things down to Omni Gel now. So I don't know how to heal my my Mako now. I don't I don't know not anything. Equipment. Okay. And what then? Omni gel? Convert no, so I have to decide what I'm gonna pick. So since so this is I have that twice, I'm gonna do that. Shotgun, I have that three times. Convert all junk? I don't know what what is junk? What not equip? Oh god damn it. Ah! <laughs> uh, Omni gel, yes. Omni gel, yes. I don't know. All of these seem pretty bad, to be honest, if you ask me. You can mark items as junk by pressing the right stick. But how do I know what is junk? How do I know what I don't need anymore? I don't, right? Okay, um... I'm just gonna turn in everything into Omnijet right now, because I don't know. Why? I misclick so often, it's horrible. So I have something equipped, right? Okay. Now I can repair. Exciting about items is part of the experience. Hmm. 
Compare the currently equipped with the selected. I know, Jeru, but everything seems to have... There's always just one thing that is good and two things that are bad about all the equipment. So it's kind of hard for me to make a decision of what I actually need and what is what I should focus on. Cannot exit the mark unless it's parked on a level terrain. But there's a dead person or something. Mummified Solarian. Okay. Recover artifact. There you go. ID tag recovered. You found Captain Mylan's identification tag. How it ended up here is impossible to know for sure. Well, maybe with the corpse that it came with? We'll get more weapons. Don't worry, you will get better ones. I know! <laughs> Jeru, how do you know that I didn't read? Just because I didn't read it out loud doesn't mean that I didn't read it, you know? Why is it red there? Why is it red there? Is it like... Bad... Bad county? I can't... Or is it just like the end of the map? I'm not supposed to go there. Is the game gonna be like, yup, yeah, nope, you shall not pass? Looks a bit like it. I guess so. Can I zoom in? No. This you can lift off from the planet at any time and then land again. It heals you, it wastes loading time. You get pretty good free heal. I'm a bit confused. Also, what does that mean? Oh, this is my car. Okay. And this? Destination. But what's the other icon? <laughs> this thing drives so horribly. I'm not having a fight, we are having, uh, not having a conflict. It's all good, Nurzel. Quali? What's with Quali? So, can I remove a destination again? Clear destination. So now we go here, right? Over there somewhere. Get the hang of it. Yeah, it always takes time until I understand what I what is important gear, what is like what I need to focus on, uh, stuff like that. You don't know, like the current ending of the Mako. There is an option to switch between classic and legendary mode. What mode is this one right now? First, you able to know massive take your journey through the classics. Yep. Well, I Chad voted for this, so. Wait, there's nothing here. Please not another monster. Please not another monster. Okay, wait, I gotta park it properly, right? Aha, I have to stand still, okay. It won't change much of the handling. Mm, I figured. Electronic skill is too low? So I came here for nothing? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Can one of you guys do it? Heading to position. Uh, Tali, you fine? Uh, I, I mean, you guys told me she has lots of energy, but this is a bit too much. <laughs> I'm right here. Uh huh. I see. No sense standing around. Yeah, true. Tali being Doctor Strange. If your party had the skill at the right level, it will auto allow you. That's why you were talking about auto leveling. 
squad. That's why we were talking about... Well... If there's a way for me to have less... Uh, to be less... Um, overwhelmed with the game at the beginning, then I'm taking it. So, what do I do now? Not this. Photo mode. Uh, well, I, I've experienced, like I've explored everything on this on this place. I cannot salvage this, so I assume I can just leave this place. There's probably nothing else in these areas, right? But how do I leave? I return to Normandy. Yes. But then. Hmm. This is the one that we just explored. And these ones you cannot fly to, right? So this is the wrong solar system altogether. So now we check Gnosos. Phaistos, Armeni, Therum, Zakros, Arcanus. Okay, I'm not gonna- I, I don't know. I feel like there's gonna be lots of reading, so I'm not gonna read everything. If there's something to, like, salvage from the planet- Aha, I could land here, Therum. Um... Okay. Survey. Nitrogen. Okay, cool. So we got some stuff, but the actual planet where we want to go is Therum. Land. <laughs> I like the screen. There can be resources just to salvage, which are not shown in the map. So what what skill was I lacking that I would have needed here? Was it the tech strength? Let's imagine if Malacca was a planet. Electronics. Is that tech? I just have combat tech and biotic. I'm confused. So which... That's tech. Okay. So I want to make sure that I have Tali with me, but she has super high. Like, her entire bar is full with that stuff, so... Uh, she should come. And then... And then maybe Caden? To have even more? And then I'm the only one who has combat skills? The two skills that are required to open all containers are electronics and decryption. Those skills are available to Tali, Garrus, and Alenko. Have you leveled her up? I don't level them up. I think it's auto-leveling them up. Mestra, probably. Tali's basically all you need for tech. But it didn't work there. I had her with me, but she, it didn't work. Let's see. All you need for tech. This is a special cutscene. Didn't have that before, did I? Or did I? Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Okay. What is this though? This looks like a like a vault. Can I check this out? They need to be a proper level also, so we need to check the level up screen and switch to Tali. Okay, cannot, cannot open. 
Kino was the only crew member I've never taken with me. Okay. Why not? Ooh, there seems to be some kind of magma. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm totally gonna fall into that thing. And then I'm gonna die. Lama said you can see in the squad menu how many points they have assigned to the electronics ability. Maybe the auto level is not leveling that skill, so it's too low. But I don't know what I need. So it's good that the game takes care of it for me, right? Give mana, thank you, Chloe. And Actimus. And trucks. So I'm here. Refinery. Hmm. Voltec calling. Oh wait, we're not playing that. Yep. Wait, this is a dead end? What the hell? What, am I supposed to go over there? I don't get it. I cannot go up there, can I? You need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa. Ah, here. I guess. No, this is not where it came from. Hmm. You need to get to leveling up screen to auto level up. It's not, it's not passive. Aha! I thought it was just gonna do it by itself. Medicine unlocked. Okay, cool. So do I have to do anything now? Oh, I cannot take her, her helmet off? Well, this prefers to drive off road. Actually, no. But this place is confusing. Oh no, I see red. Red means enemies. Uh-oh. Please, no more of these. It looks like a massive bug. I don't like this. What the fuck are you? Uh oh. Great. Can I loot them? Wait, are you still alive? Stop jiggling. Are you still alive? Stop it. Is this still alive? <laughs> she can't take helmet off. They all have space aids. Okay. Hi, Fritz. I hated the Mako levels. Oh, I start to dislike them as well. Okay, it stopped. I think it's time for F this shit. I'm out. <laughs> he don't jiggle jiggle. It folds. Exactly. Uh. Wait, they just dis disappeared? Okay. Pretty sure it's deadless. I mean, it was still jiggling, so you never know. Lots of dancing on this planet. Hi, Markane. Welcome. I'd like to see it wiggle wiggle. <laughs> for sure. Uh-oh. I see more red. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Could I just get out of the car and approach things by foot and just shoot them on foot? What? What did it say? It said something. I couldn't read that fast. Uh-oh. 
Oh shit, nuggets. Okay. Are we good? Are we good? We could, but it's a long road. I don't think we can take that strong point head on. Why not? So, what do you. I'm gonna save. I cannot save? What do you mean? Why cannot. Why, why would I not be able to save here? Oh, why are you so weak? Oh. Yeet! Can I save now? Oh, god damn it. Come on! I want to save! Why are you driving so weird, huh? I'm gonna die. Again. Casually dodging the, the missiles. This seems to be okay, right? Can we open this? Can we salvage these? Can we do anything? Doesn't look like it. Can totally tank rockets the size of a car, no problems. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess I gotta go through this path there. Uh, Caden is a wuss? Okay. Stradivarius, good night. Thanks for hanging out. Anybody was here to tonight. Thank you very much. like this in the middle of the road though like why he dead I think I hope looks dead to me the giant worm attacks bypass your shield everything else doesn't the Mako Mako's way more resistant than it looked during that fight before okay Can I save ever? Hello? Nice. <laughs> Anybody else? What is this, by the way? Ooh, big bada boom. <laughs> oh, ow. <laughs> he flew all the way over there. Did you see that? This is where his corpse is. He stood here, right in front of me. <laughs> Yeet! Smoothie, yes. Okay, but what am I supposed to do here now? Can I just blow this away? No, okay. Aha, there's a building. Maybe we can go in there. Pretty sure that with the tech engine, she doesn't even need the avoid most enemy fire. She had a little shit. I 
I need another weapon. This is bad. Who, who's shooting? Are they coming from outside, really? Begin manual overwrite, let's go. Why? Aha! You can go inside and open these! Oh! Okay. Wah wah wee wah! Oops. Wrong button. She poopens. Maybe I should explore further over there. Hmm. Let's check real quick. Hi Dutch, hello, how are you? Wow, this. Wow, what? My money don't jiggle jiggle. It folds. I want to see it wiggle wiggle. For sure. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, I found loot! Nice! I like loot. This loot mode activate, hell yeah, as always. Oh, I can also go in there. Was it the one where I came from? No, I came... I was over there, right? Yeah. So... <laughs> I shot him through the wall. <laughs> nice. No! Oh man, the controls are so weird! Why don't you... <laughs> I cannot deal with the controls here. It doesn't... it doesn't... what? It doesn't do what I wanted to do! I just want to go forward and it doesn't... There you go. Hi, Yolius, welcome. Hello everyone, how's the game going? It's going good! Take it. Gosh. Open. There's a loot. Let's loot emoji. Yeah. Up is forward. No. Yeah. Yeah. You would think so, but it's yeah. It's it's weird. Never mind. It's it's okay. Uh. So we opened this gate and this gate. So I don't really know where which way I should go first. Let's go back to the Mako. Fatigued? Oof. Can I increase my stamina? Oh. Mina? Eh, eh. Stretch? Again? Okay. Everybody stretch with me, okay? We're sitting all day long. We gotta stretch a little bit. Thank you, Joe. Maybe it's some kind of circle. Let's check. Aha! I think the other one is actually shorter, but we can check. Hydrate? Of course, Kevin. After this movie, I have, to have beer in the fridge. <laughs> it's gonna be more turns, uh, turrets, right? another thing. I don't need to stretch. I just got back from occupational therapy. Okay. Well, if you don't have to or don't want to, that's fine. I don't think this was a hit. Dead. Oh, not dead. Ow. Are you still not dead? You are dead, okay, good. Bought some cattle one yesterday and made some screwdrivers. Ooh. Hope you stay dead! This is my Mako version of teabagging, okay?
even hitting? I guess so. There you go. Level up, nice. Cool. Chat has preached that is not a Mako but a Malako. Okay, good. Hey Attila. I'm so glad you picked Mass Effect to play. Uh, actually, a community pick. There was a, a poll on, on Discord. Even though the Mako isn't the most enjoyable part of it, I hope you're having a good time. I do, I do. Beer's amazing. I have water. Yes, nice. Drink your water. I First off, I have to finish my smoothie. Um... I feel like I shouldn't max out my Spectre training thing. Advanced unity. Restores dead squad members with 40% health and 75. So, does it do that automatically or do I have to do that manually? To revive my squad members? Mako? Oh, it's Mako. Okay, sorry. Shepard is looking cute. <laughs> does she? I think she looks a bit weird. Manually? Ugh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Um Hmm So I have to activate my shield as well, right? Hmm. Assault rifles, apparently it is. Oh wait, uh, this, what? Stuns organic enemies for a few moments and inflicts toxic damage. First aid unlocked. Okay. She got all the- she learned all the things. Told you Liz you should have gone with female Trevor as character. Female Trevor! Oh boy. Why that? This thing looks big. That's what she said. Oh man. Ha! Jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> Shields on you can automatically recharge after waiting and not taking damage. That ability instantly recharges when you are in a tight. But do you have to manually activate that shield as well? Or is it just a default, it's active shield? Hey, photography, welcome. Yeah, we're working on getting the aura right now. Haha! <laughs> There's stuff up there. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't like it here. Oh god. Wait, did I just enter an area that I can't save in again? Oh my god. I tried to save so often, but I couldn't. And I have a feeling that was the chance for saving and now I can't anymore because I, I reached an area or something. Can I go back?
It's fine, you will you will be good. You think so. Oh, thank god. Uh yeah, override please. Uh, all the abilities are manually activated list. The squad can be assigned to use all abilities, which looking at your playing will probably be a good idea to enable for them. Good save. No, it was grayed out, I think. Space. Was it not? I felt like it was grayed out. Hmm. Squad ability use? How do I do that? Mm-hmm. Okay, and options. Uh, gameplay? Defensive. So, I would say defensive is fine. They use their powers to defend themselves. They're not attacking when you are not attacking, right? I think that's okay. All? Why are you always writing stuff in, in caps lock when you want to order me around, Cory? You can just suggest a not caps lock. Beer clock now. Geth rocket trooper. Oh, these things. Okay. Ow. Caps lock have more power. <laughs> Why is- why is all better? I can imagine that sometimes I don't want them to... ...to start a fight, right? Make them use all because you don't manually get, tell, tell them, they never use them. Stop shouting, no bully. Oops. What? No. Uh, okay. Auto save, unable to target or set. Yes. Okay. This is what space said. Defensive means they only use powers that help them heal, like the shield boost. They don't use attack powers on their own unless you order them for the real. Aha, uh -huh, okay. I thought maybe it's like, um, with Resident Evil Zero, where you tell them to be defensive or offensive, and then they attack everything on site and they waste your ammunition and your resources and stuff. So I wasn't sure, and I would rather have them defend stuff instead of attacking and, like, using all my stuff, you know? Hans, thank you for gifting us up to Core Maker! Form enjoy the emotes. Welcome back to the Royal Lizards. Thank you, Hans. This one only engages fights when you engage. Power usage. Just goes out automatically. Oh. Die! Hello. Hmm. How's the game running? Is it smooth and no lags? No, no lagging. No, no stuff. Everything fine so far. Jammed? So does that mean I have to get out of my car and run? Or well, saving works when not in combat. 
That is a very fair point. Also remembering the AI body system in RE0 gives me a bit of PTSD, yes. <laughs> Nothing wrong in listening to space for advice. S space varying games. Ugh, okay. Sometimes there's a little dialogue thing up, thingy my bobs popping up. He's hiding, my dudes. another one not now commander okay then we don't talk it's fine oh hi <laughs> oh shit why can i not shoot <laughs> this game <laughs> why the fuck oh my god wait let me let me change the gun <laughs> it's bad Usually you get this little, this indicator that there's another enemy, right? But that guy was completely hidden for some reason. What do you mean getting the hang of the combat? The fighting, like the shooting before wasn't that big of a deal. The, the Mako thing or whatever it's called. That's nasty. Recoil is too big. What? Boom! Headshot. <laughs> He's dangling from from up there. <laughs> sense to shoot through these come on shield shield be gone be gone shield come on shield do you have to destroy the shield or something there you go wow 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 I don't like that I left the Mako behind Okay, there's something up there. Oh. Is it is it dead? Now it's dead. Okay, you have to destroy them. I thought maybe they'd run out, you know? Take out those hostiles! What? I'm working. 
working on it, honey. If the game lets me. Sometimes it's a bit wonky, isn't it? What the? Why can't I? Uh, uh, game? What the? I can't shoot. I don't get it. Eat this. <laughs> Some more hostiles? Is that it? Just remember where you parked your Mako. So I think I have to go up here, right? I think you found the wonkiest cover spot. Yeah, that was super wonky. Eat my bullet, exactly. That's the spirit, guys. That's the spirit. Uh, very open. I'm gonna run for this. Oh shit. Cutscene. Woohoo. Shit, Nuggets, what is this? Oh my- oh god. Hi Team Stir, welcome! Good morning to you. Aw, oh, shit! Freaking out here. Help. <laughs> oh shit. This is fine. Oh. Does he see them? What does he see? <laughs> Is it just a very tanky boy or...
Like a health bar for that thing would be marvelous, you know? Like really great. shooting something. it but the shield recovers Recovered. Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that guy jump scared me. For fuck's sake, asshole here, eat this. Ugh, god damn it. Ugh. Breathe. Oh, Tali's back. Even the Geth wouldn't want to live in this heat. <sighs> How was your nap, girl? Ugh, Jesus. Hi.
Well, the, the sniper seemed to be too slow, I felt like. So, what am I gonna do now? Like, <clears throat> why am I here? Am I supposed to go up there? Probably not. Imagine fighting that on insanity. Oh, yeah, thanks. No. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> She was dead all fight, even though you could res resurrect her. I don't know how to resurrect them. Like I said, the game didn't tell me. It was the most- or it was so quick that I couldn't... I lost somebody. I mean, maybe I'm not supposed to shoot them. I lost something. They are definitely the bad boys. Hello? Sorry guys, I'm shooting with a controller, so... <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's a bit iffy, you know? Wait. Why am I not hitting him? Stand. How come I don't- I'm not hurting. What? Bates and Bob, thank you very much for the reset for two months. Thank you. What the fuck? He had a blue shield. Not this? Uh oh. What is a blue shield now? The game showed you the power wheel during the first mission. This one? Ah, and I can resurrect people like, uh... With this, I think? Okay. Use shield boost. Use barrier. Use ne neural shock. And when I activate it, does do they have to do it right then, right there? Or do, do they use it at the next best moment? It looks like this cavern formed around the ruin, after it was built. Huh. This, the blue shield is the first thing that goes down, and then the health bar, so basically everyone has double bars. Even you. Ah, uh, this blue line! Ah, okay. I understand. Thank you. That looks hella odd. I don't know what this is. Can no longer pre prevent. Ooh. No longer prevents uh, overheat. It only lowers the amount. Okay. That's one long elevator, mate. Quality commentary right there. <laughs> when you activate it, they they use it right away. It's an attack power select. 
it while you're aiming an enemy will with the camera so the skill locks on that enemy aye 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 <laughs> another elevator elevator section okay gotcha Hi Spangs! Hi Evaluators! Hey Gagner! Welcome! Uh oh! Well, I have a bad feeling about this. You lead, I'll follow. Uh-huh. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. What can I look- what, why? Game, why don't you let me check out the place before? Before I go anywhere and get shot at, you know? Uh, hello? Could somebody help me? Please? Oh! Hello! Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped! I need help! Hello! Cute freckles! We hear you, Dr. Sony. Or T. Sony, I think. Uh, Telemelio, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Keep it down. We hear you. Dr. T. Sony? Liara T. Sony, I presume? Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Benazaya? Lady in distress, list to the rescue. Exactly, that's the plan. Second user squad mate in Mass Effect. Oh boy. <laughs> Liara, ooh. Caden is okay, squad mate. He can pull his weight if you know how to use him. Lyra calls for aid. Will Chet answer the call? Of course they will. Let's do your favor more Paragon or Renegade choices. Well, d depends. For the fun and the lulls and the giggles, it's probably the Renegade choices. But for f my conscience, I prefer the Paragon ones. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! Hmm. I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! Help me, Step Commander! I'm stuck! <laughs> Jesus, Malakadu. Your mother is working with Sarah. Oh, uh, no! I, uh, I may be I'm sorry. Benizia's daughter, but well, I'm nothing yeah. like her. Just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. What can we do? Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Okay. Nice. Okay. Hi, Rascal. Thank you very much for the 25 biddies. 
Okay, maybe I'm too naive for the internet. What is this uh, with a stuck joke? Oh, it's a... Yeah, you better don't know. You're too innocent. Ask a list. You told me about it, Jeru. Lisk, are you stuck? Said to ask you. <laughs> I'm not stuck, but I'm a master at getting people unstuck. And with that, I mean... You know what I mean. You know what I mean. <clears throat> uh, I just love these games. Played the Legendary Edition last year, but watching you play this, I guess I have to do it again. <laughs> Can't help it. Um, yeah, it's my first time. I've never played the series, so... Hope you guys enjoy. have the hiccups. I don't know, but I assume it has to do with sexual things just because internet. Yup. Yup. It's not a joke, it's a legitimate life situation. <laughs> uh, Gamers is better, but if you have to use Caden or like the character, he is not dead on arrival. <laughs> oh my. Hi, Inotina, welcome. And Rai, by the way, hi. So basically this is, is the, what? No. Uh, <sighs> I really like the Spectre stuff. I mean, it pretty much is like the the OP skill line, right? Restores dead squad members with 40% health and 75% shields. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Sniper rifles unlocked. Yay! Cool. This if I had to rate your in innuendo level, I'd give it a 12. Okay. Hi Pyro, hello, how are you? Don't Google it, don't go don't Google it. <laughs> Unless well maybe prepare your waifu before you do it. Not that she just runs into stuff. This is the sledgehammer. Sledgehammers always work to get people unstuck. Oh boy. Of course, I can't save. Somebody's still alive? Somebody still needs some shooting? I think everybody's dead, huh? It's one of the great things with the Mass Effect series. You can play it several times in different ways. Yeah, that's the great thing about RPG games in general, I would say, right? When you have choices and you can really roleplay a character and shape that character to your liking. Or maybe not liking, but you know what I mean, right? Mm. Enter code. Shit. Legend, thank you very much for the follow. Guys, what did I just do? <laughs> I did a thing! Yeah! I'm a pro at doing things, you know? Like the like the captain said before, I'm I'm here to get shit done, you know? But am I supposed to go in there now? Maybe I'm supposed to shoot stuff here. Give me all the jazz. We activated a giant laser. Oh, okay, good. That that much I knew, but Malaka. He nice. I'm all about the loot, about the loot, no trouble. I'm all about the loot, about the loot, no trouble. I'm all about the loot, 
about the loot, no trouble. I'm all about the loot, about the loot. Yeah, it's pretty clear. I ain't no plap shap. Okay, I'm not gonna start singing stuff now like this. <laughs> let's 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 go where the giant laser opened a path. Very grass of Simon. Wait, what? This looks like a bathhouse of some sort. I was doing editing. <laughs> nice, Akiba. Just enlighten me and I feel dirty now. We'll ask wife later if she is stuck and needs <laughs> Nice. I did another thing, guys. Uh-oh. Hey! Okay. Hello. Oh, how did you get in here? It was I didn't easy. Think there was any way past the barrier. Superior firepower is not important. It was easy. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before Morgeth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Okay. You ever played any of the Dragon Age games? I played Dragon Age Origins. Oof. <laughs> Cap chap list flax and before Any the idea ladies, how of we course. Get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. Let's go. Hi, Sarah. I still cannot Hello. believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. Uh oh. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Uh oh. We need an escape plan? We're getting out of here. Uh, um, escape plan. Joker! Get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister! Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. Eight minutes? What? He needs to move faster. Tell the elevator. <laughs> Can you play the best Dragon Age? No need to play the others. Just watch the lore video. Oh boy. Dragon Age Acquisition is underrated in my opinion, but Origins is the best game of the series by far. Okay. I drop music in this game. Listen up to it. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. Big Toad Boy is angry. Uh oh. Together! Surrender! Or don't. That would be more fun. <laughs> the Quarians are a little bit uh, blood hungry, is that correct? There's ruins coming down. What do you want? Kill this bastard. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Battle Thanks master. For rid of those energy fields for Krogans? Had the doctor over. Was it Krogans? Whatever Oops. it is you want, you are not the, getting it from me. I got an achievement. It said something about about Quarian. So I assumed these were Quarians. Uh, whatever it is you want, you're not getting it from me. I'm not giving her up. You want to fight now? Kill this bastard. We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! <sighs> I like your attitude. Mm. For good? Shit, how do I not now, Commander? <laughs> you can't, can't. The 
can't be dead on the ground. <laughs> and he's just lying there. <laughs> Don't you see, Commander, that I'm dead right now? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, Commander, not now! Take out those hostiles! Yeah, yeah, I'm working! <laughs> Where are they at, though? Wait, how do I resurrect them? Oh, he's back. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. <laughs> he done. He's, he, he was busy, but now he's done. Come on. Okay, hang on a second, sir. There you go. Uh, okay, there you go. Uh, no, <laughs> Commander. <laughs> oh, fucking God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Loading screen, let's go. Double surprise Too close, Commander. And, and Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? He saved us. It's easier. It eases the tension. He's a jerk. Uh, it eases the tension. It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. Mm -hmm. I see. It must be a human thing. <laughs> okay. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 50. Damn, lady, you're looking like a snack with 50. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn, I hope I look that good when I'm your age. My, a century what, what I'm like saying. A long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my Baby. research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I might know. What did you learn? You're wasting your time. What did you learn? Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. How do you know this? Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a I feeling eat. derived from Welcome. a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. She's so cute, she has freckles. Liz, okay, so is she legal asking for... <laughs> Oh my god. Um, <clears throat> well. Liz Fairlight is gonna love the clip, is he? <laughs> Are you gonna show it to him? Oh, he was here earlier, so. 
Not now, Commander Liz. Thanks for clipping, guys. Thanks. Who came before them? Cycle? It's the circle of life. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who the was? The Wigger. Yeah, no, right, McWin? I don't know. Does look like a Wigger. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, oh, thank you, the Hubert. Protheans disappeared. I have <laughs> dedicated my life to figuring out why. I can help you. I know what happened. Shut up and I'll tell you. Wow, you can be such a bitch. Uh, I can help you. I want to be nice to her, so for potential snoo snoo. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What wow, evidence Liz, do you have? What? Have you read the title? It's Commander Snoo Snoo, okay? I'm not Commander Shepard, that's just a... Alias. That's just a, a code name, you know, it's just a for cover. I'm actually Commander Snoo Snoo, and the main mission of this playthrough is getting as much Snoo Snoo as possible, and she is one of them. <sighs> uh, what evidence do you have? The beacon, a vision? I saw it. The beacon. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. <laughs> I am sorry, divine. my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. This isn't out of line. Whale Bang is a Mass Effect meme after all, is it? <laughs> what is Snoo Snoo? Uh, enchilada, that's... That's a... Um... Futurama meme. It's a... Making love. But there's also the phrase from Futurama that says, Death by Snoo Snoo, which indicates that... That particular Snoo would be very, very rough and, uh, painful, maybe. Potentially. So what good are you? Wow, you can still help I us. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Welcome aboard, you can come. Great, another alien. <laughs> You can't be such a jerk in this game. Great, another alien. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to <laughs> think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Crushed pelvis and whatnot. Oh boy, this is getting deep. Uh, can I make a re recommendation about the karma system as a considered backseating? This is not explained by the game. Uh, if it's something about the order of the dialogue, people told me that already. Argentino? I don't know. Blow chicka wow wow chicka woo. <clears throat> Rex, it is. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is spongy and bruised. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, we are interested in the aura for her. Biotics. Of course. 
I like your character model. Thank you. Uh, I think she looks a little bit, little bit odd. She looked less odd in the in the character creation. That's what I liked about Fallout 4. Always a heavy sarcasm option. <laughs> we'll talk later. That's all for now. We're done. We'll talk later. We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? You want me to patch it through the council? Why would I not give it to the council? Are we are we questioning the council? Are we are we are we thinking the council is sus? I have to report to them, right? Because I might not be under the law, but I am working for the council, as far as I know. Let's give it. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. She wants to help us? That's unnecessary? I know what I'm doing. She wants to help us. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? Disconnect. It was. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Under pressure. Thank you for the hydrate, by the way, Chumbi. Hi, well, gaming. Hello, hello, hello. Guys, thank you very much for the contribute uh, com contributions to the 12-hour stream. Um, this is one of the 12-hour stream. Next month, we're going to do another one. So if you guys like this, then make sure to, to put more points in to the next goal. Council sass. <laughs> seen lots of me character models. Trust me, yours looks great in comparison. Oh, okay. There are three aliens of zero humans. Obviously, they are sus. Wow, Selvin. Wow. When you get options, are the most hilarious. Hi, have a nice face. Welcome. Been a while. Hope you're well. Yes, I am. How are you? Talking with the crew after every main story mission, like this one, is great content and you get to know everyone, joke included. Okay, um... I will do so, but first, guys, we'll save. Uh... D uh this one. Emote only? <laughs> um... I wanted to take a break. Do you guys want to spam emotes while, while I'm on a break? It's about that and your Paragon Renegade level on the skills menu. You should go for Paragon Renegade because if you have a lower level of Paragon Renegade, you will lose the best decisions. Yes. Okay, is your, is your shift uh, stuck again? <laughs> break and after emote only? I will do so, yeah. <clears throat> okay, guys, um, I will take a short break uh, and get a beer. So I'll see you right after the break, I hope. And uh, yeah. Stay tuned. See ya. Enjoy the clips. <laughs> Fun, isn't it? And completely humane. <laughs> completely humane. Absolutely. In the nuts too. Oh, that was the. No, that was a fine. I love it. You know it's for their own good. I know it's for their own good. I swear. Yeah, this is shock therapy. <laughs> the face. Oh my god. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. But I think this is what Trevor would do. Oh no! Destination! Uh, how? Oh, federal. This! New plan, I changed oh. my mind. Sanchiansky Mountain Range. No problem, man. <laughs> Muffo, why are you riding into my. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? No! Why is it raining? Uh, so, due to heat, water evaporates, I think is the English word, and then it goes into the sky in form of clouds, um, and then when it cools down again, it falls from the heaven, and that's called rain, and that's why it rains. My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is. I'm not a 
afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You Who is Bob? Are not very fucking nice. Don't tell me I have to shoot her now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you never know with Trevor. <laughs> oh, hey there, Trevor. Oh my God, he did kill them. Trevor, no! Mm, hey there, Wade. Trevor, no! Did you meet Gebra? <laughs> you did not do this, Trevor. You did not strap the the eyeball raped teddy bear with the underwear from Debra on your truck. The fuck is wrong with you, Trevor? Oh, okay, wait, I've gotta go back. Out of the way. <laughs> this is my road. I wanna try. I wanna try a stunt, guys. Stun time! Go! Oh god. oh god, 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 oh god. Yo slow motion Where am I supposed to land? Failed Miss Misbehave <laughs> Misbehave <laughs> oh no! <gasps> I was bleeding out of my booty hole. He had a little bit of bloody explosive diarrhea coming out of him. And he had it. <clears throat> oh, no! No! <laughs> you used to do? Stop shooting! I can't hear myself think. Okay. Is he going through the hospital? Oh my lord! Hold on to your corsets! Uh, seems rude not to follow him through the window. To do the entire thing again, the entire chase. No! We are women. Hear our shout. We are women. We have no doubt. We are women. We are free. We are Shut women. the we are fuck up. up! Thank you. Oh, my N word. <laughs> What's up, homie? <laughs> Press E to D. Hi, guys. I'm back. And I have a beer. Hi there, dragon. Hey, most. Hello, welcome in. <laughs> How are you doing, light dragon? Good to see you. Skull, guys. Emote only! Okay, okay. I'm sorry, guys, but it was redeemed just a f seconds ago, just a few minutes ago. Noah, by the way, thanks for the follow. I don't know if I said that. <sighs> I sprinted up the stairs. <laughs> Fun highlights there, Liz. Glad you like them. They're on YouTube as well. What kind of beer do you have? It's actually a shandy, so it's beer with um, a little bit of lemonade. I don't want to get it wasted, you know, I just like the flavor. Um, skull! <laughs> Thanks. I ain't beer, bitte. <laughs> okay, so emote only, guys. Three minutes. Let's show me your favorite emotes. Okay. <clears> Hello? <throat> oh, don't have to be mine. Can be Twitch global stuff as well. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. They're on our side. Aliens on the ship. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. Never turn away help. Personal questions? How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school. All the emotes, beautiful. <laughs> My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony, trying to wipe it out. They had the numbers, but their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. It was a slaughter. 
We couldn't even keep track of how many ships they lost. <laughs> hey, Pearl King. Oh, I see the fair bee. I love it. Hey, Midgard. Welcome. Da, 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 da. Uh, now you're here? How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Nice. Captain asked for me when he was picking Keep them crew. coming, guys. I love it. Show me all your emotes. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Don't be such a speciesist, okay? Hello. Door control. <laughs> Funny name. <laughs> okay, let's go to... Let's go to Joker first. Oh, man. I have zero endurance, but I have some booty jiggle physics. At least something. Uh, I prefer gold to silver, you know, <clears throat> for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled the boots out of the fire. You sure you want that? Earning medals is hard. That's not why I'm here. You sure you want that? If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent mm. the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. Seven so, weeks? Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? That's all he has in him? In seven weeks? Hey, Comega, welcome. Stewberry, hello, hello. <laughs> hey, Daniel Lord, hello, how are you? Investigate ship status report. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? Five. She's the best ship in the four, fleet. Three, if you've got a pilot who knows two, how to handle her. One. Balance is what you expect. It takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core. We no got more emote only, guys. <laughs> power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. He reminds me a lot of this, um, the pilot from... Firefly. Great show. He also had this big of a ego. Um, actually, now that I think about it, Reaper is also the name of the bad guys in, in, in there, right? Kamega, thanks for the follow. I'm fine, are you? I'm great, thank you for asking. Uh, I just want to talk. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. Disease? Do not mean to insult you. Oh boy. You know who the voice actor of Joker is, right? Is that him? The difference is that this part is actually good. <laughs> Wait! Which What? The Andrew, thank you so much for 11 month resubscription. Thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes that I made. Re Reavers! Ah! Reapers, Reavers, very close, come on. <laughs> Reavers, right? Firefly, yeah, you're right. I haven't watched that in years, okay? Cut me some slack, please. Seth Green is amazing. He still has in seven background on his Twitter account, I believe. Nice. Time for beer, beer bag. Let's go, Zora. Seth Green is the voice actor. I don't know who Seth Green is. Uh, because if Liz was left to drive, the crew would be dead in two minutes. If I'd be driving in real life, it wouldn't be such an issue. But driving in video games? Pfft, big poo. I didn't mean to insult you. What disease? What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Uh-huh. Okay, I've got Vrolix syndrome. What's Riddle that? bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Oh, shit. Victor, thank you so much for 13 months. Wow, all the resubscriptions today. Thank you so, so, so much. Robot chicken? Buffy? Seth Green is Dr. Evil's son. Dr. Evil? <laughs> How do Reavers 
clean their spears, then run them through the wash. <laughs> oh, FS Pizza, thank you so much for the three month reset. All the resets today, I tell you guys. Holy moly, thank you so much, guys. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for, for being a chonky. Enjoy the emotes. Why do her eyes look like that? Because she's judging. Uh, how'd you get your nickname? Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. Little children. Okay, that's weird. You know how people organize a space party, right? Uh, right? They plan it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Um, hi Liz, hi, Pisa, welcome. Hi Hibbit, hello, good to see you. I'm glad somebody enjoyed it. 96 out of 69 subs, holy moly guys, thank you so much, legends. How's the game going? It's going good. That's no answer. Yeah, right. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. <laughs> Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. Okay, were you unhappy? Tell me about your disease. Were you unhappy? Why didn't you ever smile? Anonymous, thank hey, you for the five hundred three biddies. The world's not gonna thank hand you. you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy, even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. Uh, a mage, thanks for the follow. Suzumu said Seth Green was the son, Scott Evil, in Austin Powers movie voice actor on Family Guy, was the werewolf in Buffy the Vampire Slayer TV series. Oh man, I haven't seen the Austin Powers movies in... What feels like centuries. <laughs> I remember, I remember Dr. Evil, like this, this guy, right? But the sun? I don't know. Thank you so much, Anonymous, for the 503. Thank you. Oh, the bongo. <laughs> bingo, bingo, bongo. Da, 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 Um, okay, goodbye. I, don't I have wanna... to go. All right, see ya. Bye. Why don't black holes have any friends they avoid? <laughs> but guys, we have a we have a channel point thing for um for for redeeming like jokes, right? Fosbury, thank you for the 250 videos. Thank you so much. And Hawk for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Any no mouse is being generous today, as always. I love Seth Green in this role. He's a very small man with a big heart and usually plays pretty chill characters. It's fun to hear him play someone so outspoken. Hans! <laughs> Thank you so much. You guys are so kind. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Hans. And Hawk for the gifted subs. I hope everybody enjoys the emotes that I made. And uh, welcome to the Chunkies. Uh, hey Odinson, welcome. While it's not an excuse for all the xenophobia, it's worth noting that this is only about 26 years after humanity found out there are aliens and hello, been lurking for a bit. Thank you very much for lurking, I appreciate that. And we're level three hype train already, damn guys. Uh, no, not map, I wanted to go to journal. So these are side quests, assignments, right? And missions is my main quest, I assume. If I understood correctly. Choo-choo! <laughs> Go to Ferris. Investigate Ferris to see why a colony was attacked by Geth. Uh, Noveria. Head to Noveria to investigate reports of Geth on the world. I think, yeah, I think, like, missions are main stuff and assignments are just, like, little, little side quest. Hydra system in Argos Row Cluster and investigate. Hydra system. Okay, let's see if we if we can get there. Hydro. More people to talk to though. Oh, you mean more? Oops. You mean more in the? 
Oh my god, <laughs> it's so hard to get out of there. But where are they though? I don't, I don't see them anywhere. Uh, would they be sitting here? Thirteen. Another thirteen. Holy moly, Anonymous, thank you so much for thirteen gifted subs. I don't know if it's always the same. Uh, anonymous, but wow, thank you so much. <laughs> Bezel, thank you for the five gifted. You guys are so kind, thank you. Ship has multiple decks, okay, okay. Hi, Caden. Not now, Commander. <laughs> hey, Emeka, welcome. Thank you so much. Commander? Do you have a minute? I'm listening. I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. But we can't get backup from the council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. I hear you. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. I mean, it's funny, we finally get out here and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. Cute way to look at it, an old-fashioned view. Zip it, Lieutenant. Hmm. Take the elevator. But now I'm gonna check out this deck. Everybody who got a sub, enjoy the emotes. Welcome to the Chonkies. Hi Mark, how are you? Good to see you. Hi Texpai. Hey Liz, hi Vodka, welcome. Nagato Chaos, hello, welcome, good to see you. Choice. Hello, hello. Hi Duty. Is this the part of the of wait. Is this the part one of Yeah yeah, this is this is a Mass Effect one. Have played it bef I've, I've played it before? No. If not, be ready for a roller coaster right of a story. Uh cute way to look at it. Well, well. You're romantic. What happened to my hair there? Sign on for the dream, Alenko. Did I go white for a second? In space. <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid, where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves, or you know, for justice. Or maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry, biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Uh, Mass Effect first time, good memories. <laughs> Dizzy, hi. Evening Liz, doing good, hope you are well. I am, I am, how are you doing? Liz, previous message. We haven't giveaway, eight hours in. We could, but I don't have Mass Effect. I just have some... Some uh, GOG stuff, but we can do it, Jerry. You can, you can. I think it's it should be enabled. You sh you can try to open a giveaway. <clears throat> a brain camp. Mm? That's all right. What did they train you for? Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Ooh. We live them, no matter what. If we inspect and listen to your watch and listen, somebody else's stream, the lizards will keep on. <laughs> Oh, Legend, you're sweet. Anonymous! Ah! Another 1,850? Holy schmunks, what? Thank you so much. Hi, Eckler, welcome. It's for anything, but I will say a friend finished the third game yesterday and was openly crying. Aww. What's the survival rate? Seems like you beat the odds. How many didn't make it? Out of 100, maybe 60 have no effect. 30 suffer adverse effects, little things like brain cancer. The other 10 show enough ability to augment with implants. Not always permanent, though. Not like the cancer. 
Next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. And how's a kid supposed to deal with that? A station at the edge of human space. So he's a space witcher, basically. Jump Zero, friends, intentional exposure. Guys, thank you so much for the hype train. 31 subs and 2,603 British. Thank you so much. The son of the dead with a chin that looks like balls and family guy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much everybody for the gifted subs and the biddies you guys are so kind thank you hi mike hello hey chris really wants to hear you sing yeah we got all oh, right we have to sing as well jerry did you start anything could you did you try hi victor uh odinson thanks for the follow welcome jump zero is gagarin station right What's it like? It's going yeah, with my the hair there. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. What? Guys, okay, so we're gonna do giveaways of some game keys for GOG. Um, good, old, uh, good old games. Um, they don't have only old games, but. Um, if you want to join the giveaway, type in exclamation mark I am Chonky in one word. To have a chance to win. Time to get physical then? What does that mean? Is that snoo snoo? No, it's for, 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 for reals. Yeah, there you go. I am Chonky, I am Chonky. Let's go, let's go. No, seriously, guys. Is that... I think so. I am chonky in one word. <laughs> oh. Uh Hi Ritman, hello. For real this it means getting intimate. You were all teenagers. I'm sure you found other ways to occupy the time. I'm not the sort who does that kind of thing, Commander. Not lightly anyway. There was a girl I spent a lot of time with, but we kept our clothes on. Rana. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart. And charming as hell. Beautiful. But not stuck up about it. Like you, I guess. Ma'am. Did you love her? Ooh. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But... Things never felt together. Training, you know. <sighs> I was looking forward to my first snoot snoot experience. Come on. Sounds rough, go on. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better. Caden said no. Oof. This was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. I'm interested. In what? <laughs> I'm so confused. What is this dialogue? What am I interested in now? I want to know my crew. You're right. Hi, Reach. Hello. Welcome. Oh, God, you were even boring as a teen, Caden. <laughs> Mass Effect, yes! I wanted to get to know you a little better. That's all. Thanks for the talk, Caden. Well, oh. You're welcome, ma'am. Sprichst du etwa auch Deutsch? Yep. Make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? No, just you. To some degree. What do you think? Guys, do I have a chance to snoo snoo this guy or not? I'm confused. <laughs> this guy is being cryptic about it. He's like. You're so pretty, just like this lady that I was in love with when I was a teenager. 
And now I'm like, I'm interested. Let's get physical. And he's like, blah, 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 blah. You have to build up to it? Oh, man. Are the guys not needy anymore in the future? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, um... So should I say no, just you? <laughs> um, you do, but it's a slow process. You do, but is it worth it? Listen, I have a plan. Okay? I'm fucking Dutch Vandalin, and I have a plan. And we gotta snoo snoo everything that is not running away from us. And then we have to snoo snoo. Okay, that's the plan. And maybe rob a bank. Hot tub, of course. <laughs> Borkslav, thank you so much for the first time sub of Prime. <laughs> Enjoy the emotes that I made. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hang on a second. Do I have to make decisions for relationships? I don't I don't want no relationship. I want to snoo snoo and then I want to move on and get to know the next person from my crew. Okay, that's the plan. That is the plan. Good plan. I know, right? I have good plans, but do, can I can I just have one? Do I have to pick? If I have to be picky, snoo snoo, snoo snoo. Do I have to be picky? Well, then maybe uh, Do not snoo snoo with everyone. The other will react to that. Really? Could snoo snoo Kate and Oliara. They're mutually exclusive. Also, if you go for Caden, Liara says, Ugh. And if you go with Liara, Caden says, Ugh. Or what? Damn, my orange juice. And Pratan is high welcome. One relationship per game, I'm afraid. What? I've been lied to. I've been lied to. How, how, guys. You lied to me. You said there's lots of snoo snoo in this game. Alt F four. Fuck this game. I thought I can have snoo snoo with every alien and every crew member, and now I realize I can just have one of them. You're telling me I have to drive this goddamn Mako thing on all the planets, but I have just one snoo snoo partner through a game. Oh. I need beer. This sucks. <laughs> Just play again. There's three times snoo snoo over three games. Three times! <laughs> I was lied to. There's lots of snoo snoo, but only with the same person you pick. To some degree. Of course, but I don't enjoy it with everyone. We'll talk again later. I'll, uh, I'll need some time to process that, Commander. Me too. Yeah, I'd like that. He, he kind of looks cute, though. He kind of cute. Okay, Liara, where you at? I have to build a relationship to you. You, you blue, you have freckles, you're cute. I want to touch your weird tentacle head. So, where is she at? Elevator. Replay value list. <laughs> Zachman, thanks very much for the follow. And Borgsloth again, thank you so much for your prime sub. Garrus. <sighs> Can you snoo snoo Rex? You can't. Tell me you can't. <laughs> there is after the medical room. No. Oh, yes. Wait, what now? Can you- can you snoo snoo Rex or no? Oh wait, no. Garrus is my space boyfriend. I mean, I like his- I, I like him, you know? A lot. Like, he cool. He seems like the smart, cool-headed, logical, rational kind of thing guy, you know? And he looks weird. I think I might get complex as well because this hit- this waist is way too- this is... Like, next to him, my waist looks thick. Commander, nice work out there. 
I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Garrus is my waifu. Wait, waifu? Garrus is the goat, exactly. You can't, but I enjoy your asking for to snoo snoo Krogan. Might be very aggressive. That actually might be death by snoo snoo, right? <laughs> With the Krogan. Can't snoo snoo Rex. But you must go to badgedragon.com to do it. <laughs> uh, pulverize a concrete bunker. Hi, Moon Wolf. I don't think a human could survive sex with a Krogan, to be honest. Oh boy. I knew working with the Spectre would be would be better than life at CSEC. You knew? Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no. But I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. It's not that bad. You shouldn't complain. True. Uh, Shaggy, thank you very much for the follow. Liz? Solstice, hi! And Smask, hi. Welcome in. Gato's voice, ooh! <laughs> the game Subverse would then be perfect for you. Much snooze with everyone you want. But I think the game are not stream friendly. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, maybe not. Together! <laughs> we are our best waifu. Garrus, take my money! <laughs> it's not that bad. You shouldn't complain. True. Let's be on his side. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. That was your reason? So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. It's a tough decision. You get over it. Forget about it. It's a tough decision. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can <laughs> get the job done my way for a change. I'm just laughing a lot at these comments while doing going shopping. Wonder what people think is going on. <laughs> Maybe my human and a female Krogan. Kind of like a male Chihuahua and a female Great Dane. Oh my lord. <laughs> I have the Garrus body pillow. You do what? Okay, interesting. Zap, y'all, sorry for not being here often. Hey, so this is okay. I'm okay from home this summer from work. Ooh, okay. Just wondering how long till giveaway. Need to reboot. Uh, a bit longer. Mac. Hi. Hi, Mac. How's it going? Have you doing good? <laughs> 100 bucks, oh my god. Mac, holy shit nuggets. <laughs> Thank you so much for 100 bucks. You're hilarious. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I hope my mom welcome. This is genius list. Thank you, Sarah. I think you broke Liz's computer. <laughs> no, you broke the Liz. The program failed. Shh. Damn, Mac. Thank you so much. 100 bucks. That is a massive donation. Thank you so much, my friend. I wish I got a 100 bucks. I'd love some s salmon steaks. 
<laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna invest that money to get the next game, which is probably after this, pr if we finish the entire series here, probably gonna be um, Ghost of Tsushima because that game is fucking expensive. Cost seventy five bucks here in my country. How you doing, Liz? I'm doing good. How are you? The crash is great. <laughs> There's almost a new game in Switzerland. Yeah, I mean, it's it's more than a game, but it's like two people going to the movies and having popcorn. So, thank you so, so much. Guys, can we get some hype in chat for, for Mac, please? Some chonkies or hypers or stuff. stuff. Music's real tense. Oh yeah, guys, sorry. Uh, uh, that depends, wait. Uh, well, maybe I can get the job done f my way for a change. That depends. Whatever. Sounds good to me. That depends. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. But I love you, Gary. It's so fine. You're a very cool guy. <laughs> We like big butts. Gonna wait for a bit. I'm in the middle of some calibrations. <laughs> Fuller. <laughs> Nurse Wolf, thank you for the five gifted subs. What? Guys, you're so crazy generous. Holy moly, thank you. We're gonna sing soon, okay? Commander? Wait, can you yeah, romance her? Well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Yeah, it's like your opinion, Howell. And you know what we do about opinions, right? We don't shove them in people's faces. How are we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? What? I'm sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? You, yes, you can, Roman sir. Garrus is the biggest of bros. Ashley only as men. Oh, damn it. I believe her. Might not matter. Well, we'll watch her. I believe her. It might not matter. Not everyone has a happy family life. No. Mm, cheers I to that. Not. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. How we doing? <laughs> I asked that already. Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Tet -tet -tet? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. Of course. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. Fox, <laughs> thanks for the reason. Welcome back. I know back. things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. Why? With all due respect, Commander. Should they have full access to the ship? Thank you so much, Fox Unleashed, for the three month resub. How are you doing? Enjoy the chonkies. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Hey, Flo. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Ashley's cool, but can only be romanced as a as a male. Oof. Five so oh gosh, guys, you're so kind. Oh my god, how's Amber doing? What? Amber? Who's Amber? Ash's family has a rough history with aliens. Uh huh. Okay. Because they're not lines. What do you mean? Don't mince words, Chief. What's your concern? This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems, engines, sensors, weapons. You're out of line. You don't trust aliens? I can't confine them. You don't trust aliens, I assume? Thank you so much, Fox, for the five gifted subs, for the resub, Nerzu for the five gifted subs. Guys, you're amazing. Thank you so much for all your support. Okay, guys, yeah, there's there's also a giveaway going. Uh, type exclamation mark I am chunky for a game key of GOG um, to join. And I will pick, or like, Daryl will help me pick in a, in a minute or so. We have a few keys, so no worries. Uh, not of this game, other games, but yeah. So you don't, you don't trust, trust the alliance as allies? I'm not sure I'd call the council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. We need allies by mistrusting our allies? Uh, we need allies. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. How cynical? Not necessary? Of course they will. Of course they will. 
Liz, would you go for same sex romance in an RPG if you like the characters together? Oh, you mean like, like, like gay, like man on man and women on women? Yeah, sure. I, I don't care about gender. When the character is nice, I'm gonna, I'm gonna snoo. <laughs> Uh, hi Moonlight, welcome, Mortal King, hello, hello. Lovely person, hello, welcome in. So, uh, how cynical? Not necessarily. Not necessarily, but mm, let's let's stay neutral about this. I don't see that as inevitable. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. Why do you feel that? Let's get behind that. Have you met Tali? Yeah, she's a complicated love interest. Mm. Snow, no matter what, exactly. <laughs> it's all about the snow, no trouble, I'm all about the snow. <laughs> Pretty much only cares for snow, not, not for gender, exactly. <laughs> no, it's just, for me it's about personality, it's not really about anything else. Man, the character's nice, I'm gonna snoo, exactly. <laughs> Not me, but... <laughs> it's getting complicated now. Um, I've heard this before. Give me a break. Why do you feel that? These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. Your service, military family, your service. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, ma'am. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. You deserve better? Just one rotation? Stuck groundside, huh? You deserve better. It's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. Military family. I never knew my family. Grew up an orphan on Earth. <gasps> Rachel, hi. Her... Couldn't say, Commander. Hello. So Just to get wow. Away from you. Welcome in, Rachel. Hello, sweetheart. How are you doing? Rachel K. Raid. Hello. Welcome in, Raiders. How was the stream? Look at all the lovely beans here in chat. Uh, Samatro Clownzo, I hope I say that correctly. Robo Magic, Clouds, Get Falling, uh, Star Rad. Thank you very much for the follows, guys. Welcome in, everybody. How was the stream? Rachel, hi. What have you. Oh, Cyberpunk? Oh my god, I love Cyberpunk. How was Cyberpunk? What are you playing? Where, what, what quest are you on? Tell me everything. Hi, lovely. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Welcome in, everybody. Hi, I'm Liz, a variety streamer from Germany. I'm living in Switzerland, and today is a 12-hour stream. This is the first time ever that I play Mass Effect. I've never seen or played this before. This is Mass Effect 1, and we're just getting to know the crew. Um, yeah, and, 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 and we're having a good time. Bonjour! <laughs> uh, female enthusiast, Giark, Hazy, Tallfish. Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome in, everybody. How are you, Liz? I'm good, Cloud. How are you doing? It's so fun. I also love Mass Effect. So happy you're playing. Oh, nice. <laughs> Guten Abend. Oh, Hans, thank you so much for gifting us up to Rachel. Rachel, enjoy the emotes. Welcome to the to the chonkies. Welcome back. I just got Judy to fall in love with me. Ooh, Judy. <laughs> Judy was my love interest as well when I played. Absolutely adore Judy. Judy's so, so gorgeous. <laughs> so, uh, maybe this is a good moment. I don't know if I want to want to pause it right here, but uh, do you want a song, Rachel? Because I I owe the community songs anyway, so maybe we take a short break to sing a few songs and then move over to uh, like continue playing Mass Effect. Do I want a song? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's get over here. Can I minimize the game? It's still gonna run the background music. Okay, Rachel, what can I sing for you? Cheers. <laughs> um. 
Uh, ich kann hier nicht parken. This is the only German sentence I know. You cannot park here. Okay, okay. Uh, that's, that's a start. <laughs> no pom pom shit, no. <laughs> Not that, Fritz, no. Um, muting the game? I, I can't. I can maybe. Wait, can I? Wait. Ugh, I cannot. <laughs> How do I how do I mute it? Oh wait, I can hang on. I have a cool thing here on my on my on my stream deck. Hang on a second. Haha! -ha. Okay, you just have to remind me that I have to do it over the stream deck, okay? Okay, so we have a bunch of uh some collections. Um we're both Vikings, hell yeah. Songs in space. I don't think I have, if I have something like that. Mutant windows. Yeah, this is, uh, this is over windows. Uh, I have a, I have a um, stream deck thing where I can do that. Uh, so Rachel, did you say anything like what you want? We have, um, we have Horizon Zero Dawn and Horizon Forbidden West songs. We have Final Fantasy. We have The Witcher. We have, um, How's it called? Dragon Age Origins, we have Skyrim, we have Game of Thrones, we have Disney songs, The Last of Us, <laughs> of so much. <clears throat> I vote Witcher, my favorite game. Okay, do you want something spoopy or something romantic? I have, you get to choose because you raid, of course. And then we have four more songs. Spoopy, okay, good. Then I'm gonna sing Lullaby of Woe from the Blood and Wine DLC. And I hope you guys will enjoy. Everybody spam some Liz Brew in chat, okay? Who's asleep amidst the trees? But so sweet in the breeze. But one so rising, she's wide awake. Fearing all manner of good sex and reefs. For your darling, holy sleep has flown. Don't dare let her tremble. Birds are sailing for the night Cows turned in as daylight dies But once a license just wide awake Fearing all manner of good sex and my dear Dolly, Polly, shut your eyes, lie still, I say it. Utter no cry, says the witcher, brave and bold, paid in coin of gold. He'll chop and slice you, cut and dice you, eat you up whole. <laughs> oh, I love that song so much as well, Sporting. I hope you like this, Rachel. Guys, we're gonna play more um, Mass Effect in a, in, a, in a few minutes. We're just gonna do the singing now, because look at these golds here. 
Look, look at these. They're uber full, and every one of those goals adds one song to the to the to the singing. And we, if all three are full, I'm gonna sing a fourth one. So there's four songs now. Anonymous, another 1,000 biddies. Holy smokes, you're gonna kill me. I loved it. Oh, nice, guys. If you like the singing, I have a YouTube channel, and if you want, you can head over there and follow to check out more singing. Hi, Jojo. Thank you so much, Anonymous. And Rachel, thank you so much for bringing your people over here. Um, guys, please go check out Rachel playing Cyberpunk at the moment. Love that game. I cannot wait for the DLC to come out to play it again. Thank you, Rachel. It's, I, I had a bit of beer and not too much to eat, so I'm just like, whee! <laughs> Um, so guys, what, what are the other songs we're gonna sing? I would love Anonymous to actually pick a song, but that's probably difficult, so... Hey, okay, Buffy. Oi, welcome. Hi, David. Um... Hmm, what do we, what do we do? Mm, uh, Kamoni and, uh, Dwin. FCB, thanks for the follows, guys. Welcome to the Lizards. Liz Max said Elvis, of course, Elvis. Just gotta find it, there you go. Okay, this one is from Mac, with a $100 donation, holy smokes. heard that. <laughs> Thank you, Gan Mac, for one th one, 100, 100 dollars or 100 coins. Thank you so much for that massive donation. Holy moly. I hope you guys like the singing. Um, we have two more songs, right? No, three. Three more songs. So what are we gonna do? Hi, Kondo Kala. Good to see you. Hello, hello. That was freaking awesome. You were freaking awesome, Mac. Thank you so much for your support. Just woke up almost nine hours. Nice. Go Rory. Good morning. How was your sleep? Trash Gamer Jason, thank you for the 100 videos. Thank you so much. 
A dreams smart sauce, thanks for the follows, welcome. I've said it before and I said it again, less singing is my favorite thing on Twitch. Thank you very much for the kind words. Thank you, thank you. How about Wonderwall? I haven't heard that from you. I haven't, I haven't sang that in ages. We're, we're doing a 12 hour stream today. Hello, hello. Welcome in, Xena. Went to sleep last night about three. Hmm. We could try a Wonder Wall, but it's a totally unpracticed. Mass Effect must be addictive. No, no. <laughs> yeah, but also, um, 12 hour stream today. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, you can say that again. <laughs> David. Holy, what the... Okay, wait, I'm gonna go back here to play that alert because that is big. Where is it? Here. 42.69 coins. That's a very fine number. Very fine. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so, so much. That was a nice song. We're gonna sing three more. David, my friend, thank you so much for, for the donation. You're a legend, you. Thanks for brightening our days with your wonderful self. No, you. <laughs> I'm a guard. <laughs> Dimple, thanks for the follow. David, our friend, yes, yes. Okay, David, you pick a song and help me a little bit. Maybe we try my Jolly Sailor Bolt again, I don't know. Creep? For my creepy slithering DMs. <laughs> Radiohead. Okay, let's try.
for the follows guys welcome welcome <laughs> love you for the thanks Liz you're very special you're very special well, how's your <laughs> uh, okay guys two more songs I think right amazing oh thank you guys thank you and rocket hi welcome in hi Clark hello how about father and son could could do that also haven't sang that since I last sang that which is weeks ago um when the oh, when the party's over is nice i like that let's let's do that i like i like billy eilish i love her voice Suits her wonderfully. I love singing her, her songs. It's amazing. 
Ah, uh, thank you guys for all the follows. Welcome to the lizards. Nice to have you. <laughs> Bye, Sporling. Have a good day. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, guys, one more song. What do we do? Cobblery, thanks for the follow. Morokai, thank you. What? Mac, 57. You're so wonderful. No, you are. 57 more. Oh my god. It's four more. What do you mean? <laughs> Maybe we're gonna sing two more, okay? But we'll see. Mac, thank you so much for another 57. Did you, do you guys make sexy numbers up there? <gasps> Holy shit, Nuggets. Look at that. 269.69. That's so much, guys. Thank you so much. Holy moly. Hi, Lucas. Welcome. How are you doing? Guys, wow. He made it 269.69. Yeah, I see. Holy moly. Three more. Oof. Well, well, <laughs> you guys are bargaining here, right? Aren't you? Innocent numbers. Very innocent. I'm just thinking about what else I could sing. That I have in my power now after like nine hours of like speaking and singing and stuff. Don't thank you so much for 1,100 biddies. Thank you so much. 12 hour singing stream went, no, 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 no. I tried six hours once and I almost like fainted because that was too much oxygen. You, you need to inhale very deeply to then have the power to hold the, the notes for so long. And I never, I have very flat breathing usually, but when I sing, I, you, you, like I said, you have to inhale a lot. So my brain is not used to that amount of oxygen usually. So that day I was, like on a rush, it was like, <laughs> it was very weird. Can we do rest later? Rest later what? That is said three more just when he sent that, he. <laughs> Can always take a break, eh? Um, maybe something a little bit chill. Not super chill, but a bit chill. How about Moon River? It's, uh, it's a very short one, right? Maybe something Disney? Mm. Oh, that is, that is a beautiful song, but the, uh, the karaoke version sucks. How about La Vie en Rose again? Can you do rest later? Of oh, the singing? No, I'm gonna do one or two more songs, right? And then, like, whoa. Made it for less beautiful singing. Hi, Adrian. We're, we, have more, we have more streaming. Three more hours, guys. I'm just thinking about what song. Have fun, bye, Hans. Thanks for hanging out. Hercules, ooh, Hercules. Oh man, I love Hercules, but sadly, sadly, I don't have a karaoke version for that. Uh, let's do some Paramore. Let's go. I love Paramore. When I was younger, I saw my daddy cry and curse at the wind. He broke it. She tried to reassemble it And my mama swore that she would Never let herself forget And that was a day that I promised And never sing of love If it does not exist But darling Somewhere 
song we can do but then I really need to I need to I need to continue Mass Effect <laughs> Ben Canvas thanks for the follow Anonymous Anonymous, holy smokes. What the actual fuck, mate? That, I, I, I don't even know how to operate my, my stream deck anymore because I'm so confuzzled. Don't cry, I try not to cry, but holy. One hundred. I would so love to sing a song for you, Anonymous, but I don't know who you are. <laughs> Literal sadness. Did your PC go boom? <laughs> no, my brain go boom. <sighs> and broken again. Oof, wait, what? This person has a massive network disruption due to too much hypeness. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anonymous. Big smoochies to you guys. Can we get some hype in chat, please, for, for Anonymous? And some clapping and some chunks and all that stuff. We love you, Liz, and all the things you do. 
And I love you guys. Thank you very much. I don't have an anonymous song, sadly. I make yellow. Huh? <gasps> emote only? Okay, the nails wants emote only. Can you do it? Can you do it, Jeru? Like I'm I'm freaking out, I, I cannot type I cannot click buttons now. <laughs> I have a nails. Best chunk I can do? That's fine, Skellige. <sighs> thank you very much, Jeru. Smush, thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Did we have Killing Me Softly? Did we have that recently? I don't think so. So... What we do? Hmm. Hmm. Picking songs. I really suck with that. Mm -mm. I think I'm crazy. At last, come on, love at last. go guys can you can you remove emote only again please <sighs> guys we actually have a game to play <laughs> that was lots of singing guys you're abs absolute legends I have to actually move them turn the music back on of the game hang on no wait there you go. Easily my favorite so far? Your favorite what? Hi, Golicious, hello. Ronnie, hi. <laughs> Fabulous. He makes you cry, hello. Guys, thank you so much for the massive 
amount of coin and mind blown thank you so so much the biddies the subs the donations mind blowing thank you so 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 much from the bottom of my heart i love you thank you so much not so legend who you guys are i love your not excessive use of vibrato is that good yeah i try i try to keep it like not too rmb ish <laughs> Too bad the emote only doesn't recognize Franker phase emote. Do it does it not? Hmm. You're the best. No, you are. Howell, thank you so much for gifting us up to Asylum. Asylum, enjoy the emotes that I made. Chat, the anonymous donor is the Normandy Crow. <gasps> oh. So why are you here? Just trying to get away from Earth to see space? To serve the Alliance, wouldn't you? For the action. To see space. For the action. To serve the Alliance, wouldn't... Wouldn't you? To see space! No. The future of humanity is out here. There's so much we haven't seen yet. Yeah. I still remember my first field <laughs> exercise on Titan. When we hit mud, the reality hit me. I'm the first person who ever stood here. Bam! And my drill instructor kicked me in the ass. I went face first into the mud. He spent the next five minutes chewing me out for gold breaking. Uh, what the hell? Twisted Jester, subscribe for three months! Oh my f That doesn't work, Hark, okay. Oh, what the- all the re- look at all the resubscriptions today! Holy moly! Twisted Jester, subscribe for the very first time for three months in advance. Three. Three. Holy smokes. Jester, I hope you enjoy the emotes. Thank you so much. Welcome in. There is nothing can console me but my jolly sailor boat. Thank you so much. And hi, Constable, how are you? <laughs> I hope you enjoy the emotes. Thank you so much. Condor, 13 months. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you for the resubscription, 13 months. Vorbara, resubscribes, 8 months. Thank you so much, you all. Gosh, you guys, mind blowing. You guys are so kind. <sighs> wow. Orange juice, thanks for the 123 biddies. You the way is. You. How. Did you, did you actually sit down and think of how can I make. A streamer break their tongue when they try to pronounce my name. Woye. Woye. <laughs> Thank you so much for continuing the sub gift you got from Satquise. Where's the category music? Oh, you have to refresh. You have to refresh. Ocean! 17 months. Guys, I, I think we're not gonna play Mass Effect anymore today. We're just gonna say thank you. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, makes you cry, resubscribe for four months with Prime, thank you! Ocean resubscribe for 17 months with Prime. <laughs> thank you so much, you all! Thank you! Wow, wow, wee wah! High layer cake. Oh, now I want cake, goddammit. Y'all are fabu fabulous, you know that? Y'all are fabulous. <laughs> Constable, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I hope you are safe and sound back in the UK now. Thank you. Thank you so much. The singing blew me away. Couldn't not subscribe. Thank you so much. We have that pretty much every stream uh, when these golds over my head are full. Usually they're lower than 69, but yeah. What the heck? Is that my birthday? Is that my birthday today or something? Did I miss? <laughs> Holy moly. Trash Gamer Jason, thanks for the five gifted sub. And Mac, thank you for gifting a sub to Clouds. Clouds, enjoy the chonkies. Happy B Day, Liz. Thank you. Happy birthday. It's actually in November, but thank you guys. Go oh, I think Quali is making dinner or something, and it smells fucking delicious. Investigate your service, military. No, I asked this already. Gold bricking? Then my drill instructor kicked me in the ass. Ooh, I went face first into the muck. He spent the next five minutes chewing me out for gold breaking. Don't tell me you had Gunny Ellison. <laughs> He's the only one who uses that word to describe shirking duty. Oh, Lord. You went to the Makapag boot camp too? Yeah. 
Gunny Ellison's still reaming out recruits down there, kicking ass and using words like inveigle and pusillanimous. <laughs> Did he find the Tazaris from Fable? Happy birthday again, Liz. Okay, thanks. Is it always Liz's birthday? Well, when you guys are going crazy, then it is. <laughs> Happy random birthday. Thank you. Thank you very much. Happy sub day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy stream day. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. I love you loads. You're the best. Hi, Jetfire. Why not? Today is a great day for a birthday. Happy birthday, Liz. Thank you. They had Elder Scrolls Oblivion grins. Game over. Thank you very much for the 669 biddies. I appreciate you. Oh, holy shit. Here we go again. Damn, Prasad, you could at least give me a drink before you ask me to show my nipples. Jesus Christ, have some decency, mister. Um, Anonymous, another 20 gifted subs. Holy moly. Get the band hammer. <laughs> Where are the mods? <laughs> Thank you very much, mods. <laughs> I mean, he could have at least, like, be here, have a beer, and now show me your boobies, right? Have some decency. Um,. Anonymous, thank you so much for 20 gift subs. Holy smokes. Another... <sighs> Damn. I'm just sitting here playing video games and singing a few tones, you know? I don't know. I don't... Wow. <sighs> you know what would you guys get to see? I'm gonna show you some nipples. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna show you the best. I'm, I'm gonna show you the fucking best. Look at this. Here, see some feet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some sexy tunes along with that. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at the rubber ducky. Look at them abs. You, you see some faint nips right there. Look at that. Gerald, what do I see here? <laughs> okay, so. Serious business, we have to play a space game. And these poor ladies are standing there looking each other deep in the eye for what it feels like an hour. So we really gotta go back to, to business right here. Where the guy asking for feed pics is. I haven't seen him in a while. Holy shit, I know Uchi, right? <laughs> Where's the stream at a safer than just thing? <laughs> Probably will be now. I understand your feelings. You have to work with aliens. Just shut up. <laughs> I under- You have to work with aliens, yes. Alright, I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're gonna have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't Period. be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. She is so safe for work, right? She's she's asking like which cheek. Ah, uh, you know you don't know me, lady. <laughs> um Hi Toot, welcome. It's the craziest gold stats I've ever seen on your channel. Oh, it's been it's been crazier, but this is already crazy. Thanks. Good. Remember that. Uh, th thanks. I don't think kissing Turians will be necessary. Kissing the commander, no. How's the game going, Commander? So far, so good. I just learned today that they, that I can only snoo one person multiple times. Makes me very sad. Outer Space Monkey, thank you very much. I see Kalanda, I reset. Skull. <laughs> thank you very much for the for the two month resubscription. Thank you very much. This to you. Mm. Mac, thank you for the 648 biddies. I can. We got a level 5, 100% hype train. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Can we talk? Goodbye. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Oh, what? 
Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Hey, Garrus. Tali Niara. Ooh, look at that tight outfit of hers. Howell, thank you for gifting us up to Eddie. Eddie, enjoy the emotes. And Tani, me, coming in with a 10. Oh my god, you guys are killing me today. Killing me softly with your love. Telling my whole life with his words. Ah, Tali. Hi, Tali. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. Thank you, Tani. I've never seen a thank you, thank you. like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. Wow. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. I'm I'm f I'm missing all the conversation that is going on in the game. <laughs> Guys, oh my god. Tanini, Tanimi gifted 10 subs. Mac gifted 10 subs as well. Hoytling gifted 3. Constable 1,500 biddies. <sighs> You're the best around. The ship's special. You're special. The Normandy's a prototype. Thank you so much. Technology. A month ago, I was patching a big smooches to you guys. Into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now. I'm sitting thank you guys, thank you so much. Advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again oh, you for did bringing it? me along. Level five. Traveling on a vessel like this Damn. is a dream come true for me. Thank you so much. Sixty sub gifts and two thousand nine hundred and forty biddies. Holy moly! Liz David said you can only snooze no one person. I feel like someone should have told you that after all the advice you got. Exactly. I think so too. Skelly girl, enjoy the chonkies. Thank you so much, Hoytling. Thank you guys so much. Choo choo. <laughs> you're into ships? That's not why you're here. You're into ships? I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. Mac, thank you. Sawdust, enjoy but the emotes. We don't have anything like this. We make do with cast offs and second hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. Sorry, what did you say? That was 300 years ago? I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. Self-sufficiency, I like that. things we just can't make on our own. That's why I do everything for my channel myself. Emotes, overlays, panels, materials we just sounds. Don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Investigate. Quarians. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. Like what? What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. The Conclave? That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual hey, Akai, ship, welcome. however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. You're democratic? Let's change your democratic. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice, 
The Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty has only overruled the Conclave four times. Sorry, Tally. I didn't understand a single word because swish. <laughs> Holy moly! That is the second time that this that I heard this alert on this channel. Mac, ten thousand biddies. Holy shit! Legend. Absolutely legendary. 10k alert is the best. It's it's also the highest that I have. La 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 la. You you guys you intend to break me today. This is the plan, right? You this is a conspiracy. You guys sit together and we're like, yes, yes, we gotta we gotta break list today. You. Mac, you legend. Hot damn. 10k bits, that's... That's so freaking much, mate. Holy moly. Thank you so much. Guys, can we get some hype? Everybody spam some hype in chat, okay? Exclamation mark hype, everybody come out of the lurk. Look at the goddamn support we have today. Look, look wait, you, you guys can see it right now. Look, look at that. Look up there. Does it say it's 27,000 bits? 202 subs. 369.69. That is the sexiest goal ever. Well, thank you. <laughs> no, you made the golds, right? Yeah, I know you made the golds. <coughs> Mag, you legend. Thank you so much. <sighs> Do 100. Did you just make it 469.69? 469.69 out of 69. This, this is pure sexiness. This 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 goal is pure sexiness. Someone call quality and send some <laughs> and call reset list. <laughs> With all the money, she's less broke. <laughs> Mac, multi enjoy the emotes. Chris, thanks for the follow. Mac, you you did you did enough, please. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. You legends, all guys, I know is the absolute story legends. Of their origins, what they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. 
Absolute legends. Are you enjoying Mass Effect? I, I don't get, like, I cannot pay attention much right now at the moment, but what I saw so far is very enjoyable. Especially, my favorite part was not now, Commander. That was my favorite part. Tell me all about it, lady. Legendary Generous, absolutely. Mac, thank you so much. And I hope Multi will enjoy the Chonkies. Welcome, welcome back to the Royal. No, we, we, I, I removed the Royal Lizards. We are all Chonkies now. Yes, that's shorter. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any. No, Rakiha, we didn't. <laughs> Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. Y'all make me thirsty. <sighs> it's getting hot in here, uh huh. Isn't AI research illegal? Ooh. Oh, good, I didn't miss it. <laughs> yeah, no, we had no snoo snoo so far. Sadly. B very sad. How come the council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. Mm hmm. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. The neural network. Why did they turn on you? So the Geth share brain power? Uh, Liara, I think, Many is my favorite. Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in the group, the smarter they are. Like a hive mind? So there's some sort of group consciousness. No, nothing like that. Damn. They cannot share sensory data or information. Chad keeps card blocking Tali. <laughs> handle that much simultaneous input. <laughs> Each geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. But, when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. I don't get it. Why did they turn on you? What made them rebel? As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. Hi, microphones. Is this One the first day, game? Yes. A Geth began to ask its quarry and overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. Why? What happened next? Why? I don't see what's so bad about those questions. The Geth were created to engage in mundane, repetitive, or dangerous manual labor. That's fine for machines, but it won't satisfy a sentient being for long. The Geth were showing signs of rudimentary self-awareness and independent thought. If the Geth were intelligent, then we were essentially using them as slaves. Mm -hmm. It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us. So we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. Well, that's why you don't give them artificial intelligence. So you can plan to Romans Liara up? That is the plan, Vicious here. I think. But so far. Well, you know, I also like that. Uh, Kate. Was it Caden? I like that Caden was, like, not jumping in bed with everybody. Like, he made it quite difficult for me, so... Not... not bad. <laughs> Emoshi is the most loyal choice, okay? I don't know why, and I don't want to know. Resistance is futile. It's your fault. What did they expect? I mean, yeah. They defended themselves. Yeah, you can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. Mm -hmm. 
The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines. Oh, David. <laughs> incapable of organized resistance. Not worth speaking but of. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. <laughs> Chris, the AI is peaceful, bro. Us, Trust me, bro. Never bro. <laughs> Now we drift through space, exile, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. They didn't give them AI due to the neural network. Persis, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Holy moly, thank you. Thank you, Joseph. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Persis, thank you for the five gifted subs so much. I hope everybody enjoys the emotes that I made and welcome to the Chunkies. <laughs> welcome. You're so kind. Persis, how are you doing? Welcome. Also, Benny, how are you doing? I'm sorry. I, like So many things are happening and I try to keep up with your pace, but you guys are way too fast for me, so <laughs> thank you so much. We should play these again. I've never played them. This is all my first time and I'm like... We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Veil. Now we drift through space, exiled, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. They defend themselves, yeah. It's hard to feel sorry for you. Your ancestors tried to wipe out another species. We made a mistake when we created the Geth in the first place. But we did not make a mistake when we went to war against them. If we had not acted, they would have wiped us out. They're a synthetic life form. They have no use for organics. None. Why do you think they cut themselves off from the rest of the galaxy? I didn't want to say that. Why do you think they've killed every organic being I do, who's ever Ocean. tried to contact them? Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I'm sorry. But you did say it very shitty. Most Quarians tend to have pretty strong opinions about the Geth. Pilgrimage. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our Ooh, families And Tim, us. thanks for the follows. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Hi, Fury. Welcome. Hi, listen, chat. Hi, Fury. How are you doing? Welcome. If you're having a hard time, always remember that Dan Giesling took over 2,800 tries for Melina. Wait, he did it? He did it eventually? Oh, damn it. I wasn't there. God, shit. Damn. But I, you really, you you maybe see 2,800 tries, like, f failure, but I see 2,800 tries of dedication. Strong world. I could never, could never do that for 2,800 tries. Never. <laughs> I would have changed something. He, I think he did, like, no level up of the, of the vigor, right? He he played he played Elden Ring without leve leveling up his vigor. That is true. Dedication, <laughs> mind blowing. But that's a good amount so far. And he totally lost his voice now. Oh, what? Also, oh, he has he has not defeated her. But still, like that, he's not changing anything. Like I would just change my gear, change my equipment, whatever you know. I would I would try to find a way. Okay, I'm Witcher are my faves. <laughs> Witcher is my absolute favorite. Witcher is mwah. But today is a 12 hour stream and I managed to s still find. You go with strong, always! Even let me solo her took 250 plus. On the first try. But all these like 10 years ago. I think the trilogy still holds up. Also, yes. I'm an old person. That's okay. Age doesn't matter, just character does. Do they always expect accept? Sounds dangerous. Do they always accept? 
Probably not. She said if the gift. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, <laughs> no. the captain yeah. usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. Oh, Harpling, thank you very much for giving us up to Plipped. Plipped, enjoy the emotes. Damn, that's some dedication right there. I know, right? Even letting me solo her took turn 50. Two case try. Sounds like doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Well, he, he never leveled up his vigor. I don't know if he leveled anything else. Um, yeah, and he has he's doing lots of show, right? On stream, so... You c it's, it's hard. <laughs> We just started this today. I'm playing Mass Effect 3 right now. Ooh, SJS and Joy. Da, 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 da. Wish follow emotes can be shared everywhere. Love this one. Team Liara. <laughs> yeah, glad you like it. Uh, sounds dangerous. I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla and given gifts to help us on our journey. We also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment have left our immune systems weaker than most. Hmm. By the time we leave the fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. This is a rite of passage for all Quarians. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. Are we at 669 now? I have the hiccups. 669, 69 out of 69. <laughs> Damn! Gosh, Mac. How can I ever repay you? God. <laughs> Thank you so much for that generosity. Guys, please, everybody. Come on, come out of the out of the, the lurk, please. Spam some chunk. Everybody spam some chunk. Because that is one hell of a chunky donation. Or some 69 also works. 69 also works. Chong, 69, whatever. Whatever is, like, whatever suits you best. <sighs> I cannot compute this. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be staring at my ceiling later and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy moly. Hi, Takashi, welcome. Chonk, 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 chonk. Nicole is like, Pog! <laughs> Thank you so much, Meg. You legend. Thank you so much. Quali, what are you eating? Why does it smell so good? Can I have some? <laughs> is there something for later? I want to talk about something else. Chonk, like chonk, chonk, chonk. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Like what? Goodbye. <laughs> I should go. <laughs> See you later. Let's talk about something else. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Engineer Adams. Hey, Commander. You know that Quarian tally? Nice. He's been spending Hi, all time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. She's useful. Investigate. Stealth system. She's useful. Should I should I investigate before or should I use these other dialogues that I just unlocked? I never know. And nothing to myself. What the fuck? 
<laughs> yeah, home, go drunk, you freaking legend. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely freaking legend. Seeing young, sweet, and innocent Tali always melts my heart. No, Flo. Are we gonna be Mass Effecting from now on or go back to Diablo? Uh, we're gonna play Mass Effect now. I gotta go take care of my sweet baby, Shield Maiden. Hope you have a wonderful day. It's always a pleasure to watch your stream. Norseman, thanks for hanging out. Congratulations again on the baby. And uh, yeah, have a, have a great day or night or whatever time it is for you. Da, 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 da. Where's Shepard? This is Shepard. The the face we're looking at right now is my my custom made Shepard. Investigate is good for more lore. Okay, stealth system. Fill me in on the IES stealth system. How does it I work need exactly? mana. I need mana. I <laughs> Thanks for the space. mana. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks. Built Somebody has too much cell. channel no points, huh, Norseman? Location. Eventually, the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running, and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. By the way, guys, finally, Jeru, can you close the can you close the giveaway for now? Let's let's pick some people. <laughs> Um, options to left usually elaborate on what just said. Options on the right move the conversation forward and we'll remove the left options moving forward. Okay. And options are around the investigate. They are opened by an investigate option and are reaction to something you learned. If you change the topic, those will disappear. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can Next see two us minutes. plain as day. But you have to be pretty Last close two minutes. to get an actual visual out in space. <laughs> Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. FTL gives us the way? Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL, blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. Nice. Personal questions. Where else have you served, Adams? If you name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers hey, right stuff. down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo, I donkey. <laughs> only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. <laughs> Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. Wanna be redshift if they are moving away? Longest elevator ride ever? This is not an elevator, I think this is something that turns around them. <laughs> like like a, ma a magnet, you know? <laughs> Guys, everybody, last minute to type an exclamation mark, I am Chonky, to join the giveaway for keys for GOG. So you have to have a computer, okay? Normandy. I wanna know more about the Normandy. I am mega chunker. <laughs> Probably the fastest vessel ever designed. She's the only one using the new Tantalus drive core. Drive core? What's so special about the Tantalus drive core? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, but we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge Cardic, the core. thanks for the follow. Okay, bye. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm too chunky. <laughs> Okay, but where where's Tali? Uh, Tali, I say Liara. Where's where's my future waifu? I'm confuzzled. Who are you? Some officer. Nah. I want to talk to my crew. Okay, guess I gotta go to the elevator. Run! What? No. Go. I have one thing to say to you. Chonky, I am. <laughs> Rex and the Quizzes never left on this level. They do have stuff to say. Ugh. There's so much talking. <laughs> I want to do the pew pew. I want to shoot things, but not in the Mako. I want to, I want to, I want to shoot. I want to do headshots. Rex, we got to talk. 
Shepard. What can I do for you? Crack a joke by Mac. What's the best thing about Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. People say that all the time to me. <laughs> uh, let's pick how many. Let's say... Let me check how many giveaway keys I have. I have a one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight keys. So let's start with five. Well, Valorant has a lot of pew pew and no, no talking. I, I like talking, but I like a nice balance, you know? I've just come. I've just come from Elden Ring and Diablo 2, and now I have only talking and no action. <laughs> so much talking. Welcome so to older bike. What? Shepherd. Uh, uh, sorry, Rex. Shepherd, what can I do for you? Personal inquiry. Uh, I think the balance of Valorant is excellent <laughs> because you don't like talking at all. <laughs> Death by Rex new. Stretch. Okay. Switzerland forever! Grüezi boy! Talking simulator. Okay, Jerry can pick five people. The winner is Jetfire! Jetfire, everybody who is g be picked by Jeru, aka the chonky bot, um, for the giveaway, write me a whisper, okay? Write me a whisper and be like, hey yo, I won! Wait, Jetfire is twice? Twice? Why is Jetfire twice? <laughs> That's not possible. No one found our submarines yet. <laughs> They're rigged! It better not be Jetfire again, no? What's your story, Rex? <laughs> Hashtag scam. There's no story. <sighs> okay. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. <laughs> What the- oh, Sora, don't you bait me. Okay, waiting for a cooldown. Now if I may be mistaken, Liz, since I just woke up, but I thought you had two goals in this game, Pew Pew and Snoo Snoo. Yeah. I didn't get either yet. I get some Pew Pew, but not enough. Come on, just a short one. Don't be an ass. <laughs> I want to be sassy with him. He's also sassy with me. Uh, okay, T-Pop and Dark Side, thanks for the follows. Howl! <gasps> Howl! What's wrong with Jetfire? It's okay, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give a, a game to Jetfire and to Howl. You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> hey, Pizza Rolf, hi. Don't you have talking for the Snoo Snoo? Also, good morning. Hi. Morning. You like Rex, he's the same mood as you. He likes to pew pew and does not like to talk at all. When this version of the game came out, everyone was blown away by the graphics and they found out it was, was Mass Effect 3 graphics, but on the other games it was so funny. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, big deal. That's unfortunate. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It isn't? It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? Not when you put it like that, no. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Yeah, I mean, we don't look like toads at least. Touchy subject? I won't. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. <laughs> the cooldown is too big, huh? Two games for you. <laughs> the winner's home. <laughs> Why is the why is the bot quality why is the bot like this? Do we have a cooldown? Hmm. Quali's laughing his ass off. <laughs> okay, so we have Jetfire, we have Howl. Gotcha. Hi Jason, welcome. 
Hey, Wigs. Doing lurk stuff. Okay, so I need... I need Jetfire, Howl, doing lurk stuff to either write me a whisper here on Twitch or a DM on Discord, okay? Gentle Phage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Investigate. Extinction. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. So? Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. I don't know, he's kind of cute. He does look a little bit like a toad. An angry toad. But he's kind of cute. In a non snoo snoo kind of way. Just have to put that out there. Hi. Hi, Guitar. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, Jetfire, you're just, you're just uh, one, one of the giveaway things. Please write me a whisper or a Discord DM. Genophage. What can you tell me about the Genophage? So Ask I can give you the, the keys, you know? if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. What? Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan. Okay. Would he rather find a cure <laughs> so. for the genophage? So hard. Hmm. He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. So long, Rex. <laughs> Bye! Shepherd. Thanks for telling me about your uh about your set story and stuff. Okay guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the the names of the games right now. For some I have two keys. For two of them I only have one. So Dorfomantic is one game. Um House of the Dead Remake. It's a shorter arcade survival kind of game. Dwarf Romantic, by the way, is a puzzle city builder. Uh, Songs of Conquest, a strategy roleplay fantasy game. One key. Tunic, action adventure exploration indie kind of game. Two keys. And Trek to Yomi, adventure, act, action adventure. Uh, there's one key left. So the b guys who won, please, if you remember what I just said. Dwarf Romantic, Source of Madness, House of the Dead, Song of Conquest, Tunic, or Trek to Yomi. Write, m write me in the whisper what game you want, okay? So... Tunic is precious. It looks very cute, yeah. Dovmer is so nice. Yeah, I heard that a lot. If you're into, like, building stuff, yeah. Okay, so wait, I talk... <sighs> Did I talk to Garrus at all? Command. Oh no, I, ta I talked to Gary. I gotta already. go. Uh, but bye. Commander. <laughs> Commander. Those games that can swallow hours and you won't notice. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra Krausitin. supplies before you head out? Krausitin's still here? Looking for some extra supplies before we head out? Supplies? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Mm hmm. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Pay you? Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. So how many people have written me now? We have Lurk Stuff, Jetfire... Uh, you... That's it. Howl? Was Howl here? Show me investigate licenses. What are licenses? 
What do you need from me? <laughs> what are licenses? License. Okay. Wait, what? Each you, license you allows want? me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. Manufacturers? New items? How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And anytime we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Mm-hmm. Show me. Let's see what you got. You Show bet, me what man. you got. I barely touched it. Cool, keep, keep. Buying licenses from static vendors across planets and areas you visit will add those manufacturers to his stock rotation on your ship. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah, how, how will, can you write me a Discord DM? Um, do I have to repeat the names again? We have five. Krauserton has not replied. Shake that sheba tail. Shake that sheba tail. Ooh, shake that sheba tail. Shake that sheba tail. Ah! Hi, Mika. Thank you very much for the raid. Girl, how are you feeling? Welcome in, raiders. Hi, good boys. How was the stream? How was Bloodborne? Did you finish Bloodborne? Welcome in, raiders. Hello. Thank you so much. Mika raid. <laughs> Hi, welcome, guys. How was the stream? I, I think you played Bloodborne, right? Rest for Meeks. Yes. Yes. Mika definitely needs some some chill time. Much better today. I think the antibiotics are working finally. Girl, please get some rest too, okay? <laughs> Lord Arafam, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Lorgan McDevil, thanks for the follow as well. Dangerous fella, four months. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Guys, welcome in everybody. Hi, I'm Liz, a variety streamer from Germany. I'm living in Switzerland. And this is my first time playing Mass Effect ever. I've never seen nor played this game before. And uh, we having, we have a wild stream. We're gonna play this until we beat all three games. And uh, this is the first game now. And we started today. We're having a 12 hour stream, we're 10 hours in, so two hours left. I can rest on my vacation. But <laughs> well, then you're gonna be sick. <laughs> oof. Oof, oof, oof. Guys, please go check out Mika. Mika is uh, focusing on um, FromSoft games at the moment. Played uh, a few months of Elden Ring and switched now to Bloodborne. Oh wait, you were... Ah, today you played Elden Ring again. Are you continuing your mages, uh, your, your sorcerer mage playthrough right now? Thank you so much for bringing your people over. Mikelanyo, thank you very much for the follow. Silvex. Silvex? Cicada. Danny Loga. Gosh, you guys have names. <laughs> Soul Hunter, thank you very much for the follows, guys. Welcome in, everybody. Mika, do you want a song before you go? It's pretty late. You probably have to eat dinner right now, right? But I would, I would totally sing you a song. I have a bit of beer in my head, though. <laughs> We're having, like, party time here. Fun to see again, special first playthrough. Yeah, it's, it's it's crazy. I tried it, like, there's so much talking. I did not know. I thought it's mostly a shooter. Fly me to the moon. Let me can this album win. <laughs> you were not the first to ask that, to be honest. It's noon, I kind of want to go for a drive. It's perfect weather. Oh, let's go! Mac, thank you for gifting us up to Michelagno. Enjoy the emotes that I made. Lord Arafam, subscriber Prime, thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes that I made. Welcome in, everybody. Razor, thanks for the follow. We also played Elden Ring recently, uh, two times. One very thorough playthrough, no summons and all 165 bosses. And then we did another quick run as Melania. Thank you so much. Aragao, thanks for the follow. I think Mika ran off. <laughs> Good night, take care. Bye, Mark. Thanks for hanging out. And oh, Mac gifted us up to Bloom. Bloom, how are you? I'm here. <laughs> Mika, do you want a song? If you, if you have to run off, if there's dinner waiting for you or chill time whatsoever, I, I understand. But if you want a song, I would, I would sing you something. I also have to real, like, I have to understand like this is the first time that i'm at a vendor right now 
Enough. It it's fine, thank you. Okay, thank you very, very much for raiding over. Appreciate you. Have a good night, sleep well. Give Yoshi some head pads for me. Hill isn't good, are you? I'm, I'm great, I'm great. You mean Malakenia? Yes, Malakenia, exactly. This game explains your resident trader. Logical, fits in the universe. Don't disrupt your playthrough. Oh, weird. <sighs> I'm like saying thank you for donations and subs and bits for all day. And every few minutes we're like talking to a character and I don't know what they say anyways because it's interrupted the entire time. <laughs> it's crazy. It's absolutely wild. Uh, yeah, guys, please go check out Mika. Great streamer friend of mine. We actually have a, have a shared emote on Frankerface. Her Yoshi hugging my chunky. Yeah, they broke me so often. It's crazy. Only the level X weapon and mods are really worth it from vendors. You'll find a lot of stuff in the fields. Aha! Okay, this is level 7 though. Well, so far, the highest that I found was level f 3, I think. Heavy armor. I, I think I want to stick with medium armor. Predator. Wow. Ding ding. Oh, oh, okay. So you say level seven stuff is not worth buying? I love this one. <laughs> I wish there were more slots for animated emotes. I would totally put that in. Roswell, thanks for the follow. I would really like a good assault rifle thing, I guess. Sniper rifle. How expensive are they and how much coin do I have? Do I have 100? No. 11,035 is what I have, right? How much does it cost? Do I see that correctly? How many zeros are there? What? <laughs> okay, I'm broke. I can't even afford this stuff. Yeah, fuck this. <laughs> Green thumb. Thank you for the nine moms. I need your emotes. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Sierra. <laughs> Green thumb. Thumbs up for that. I mean, a green thumb. And Chonky also has a green thumb because he's a green lizard, right? So... Eric, thanks for the follow, and El Mel Meldro. Thank you very much for the follows, guys. Welcome to the lizards. It's nice to have you. So, guys, we're actually trying to romance this cute blue lady, and I don't know where to find her. So, where is she? Do I go up? Do I go down? What do I do? Where do I find the sexy lady the, that I made an emote off over there in the corner? Master gear that costs a shit ton of credits. Oof. I'm a scavenger, so I usually find good web. Yeah, I usually do that on, like, when I play as well. Like, when I play Skyrim, Witcher, I never buy stuff. I always just, you know, get it from looting the place. New Twitch, baby, yes! Okay, so Sora, Jetfire, doing lurk stuff. I have your DMs. I'm gonna repeat the games so you guys can tell me which ones you would like. Uh, I have Dorf Romantic, I have Source of Madness, House of the Dead... No, no, I don't have Source... <laughs> Source of Madness, sorry, that was a lie. That's already taken. Oops, I forgot to delete this one. Um, <clears throat> we have Dorf Romantic, House of the Dead remake, that's what, well, that's the one. Songs of Conquest, Tunic, and Track to Yomi. Still haven't the Empress, maybe he did on Discord. He did, okay. So that's four. Dangerous fellow, thanks for the biddies. Thank you so much. Da, 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 da. Liara, second level behind the doctor's office. On what level am I right now? I don't. I, I don't know. Uh, engineering. Uh, third. So I'm. I'm back. Welcome back. The key to any woman's heart is a banana. Just mind the radiation. I have learned things today. <laughs> what? <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm back. You're on level three. Am I- did I go down now? 
SR1? Anybody seen the sexy blue chick? Which level is this one? Go on the right on the left? What? Lol, the count is a shroud, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the right place! Ha! Do I go upstairs? A one. Open door, open! I have serious snoo snoo business! No, do I have... No. Still looking, I guess. Another then? Yes. One more picker, please. Uh huh. The doctor. Uh huh. Uh huh. What's this? <gasps> oh! Wait, you can refill stuff? Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? The door on the right. Epsilon! Okay, is Epsilon still here? Personal questions. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Where's the snoo snoo room? Earth always seemed boring to me. <laughs> too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military <laughs> life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. The doc is actually hot. You... you think so? Okay, I think she looks a bit old for my taste, but okay. <laughs> I, I see Cory likes them seasoned and well experienced. I see. Do we, do we, do we get another winner? Epsilon, yeah. So yeah, I have saw jet fired lurk stuff and howl for the for the winnings. A season lol. <laughs> uh, oh, she has the nurse factor. Hmm. I mean, she's a doctor, though. Any regrets? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Mm hmm. Okay. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted Stark right here. out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance she should if talk we to want Kaden. to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Okay. So Epsilon, I don't know if you heard it. I'm gonna say it again for everybody who wanna give a, a key now. Dorf Romantic, House of the Dead remake, Songs of Conquest, Tunic, and Trek to Yomi are the, gif the games that I have. Um, I'm gonna send you the keys after the stream, which is in less than two hours. But just give me like one or two preferences so I can send you the keys accordingly after the stream. At my age, Picky isn't healthy. Oh, okay. I asked that about the any regrets already. Caden Alenk, oh! How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. An L2? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? What kind of complications? <laughs> Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I mean, this is incredibly including and all, and I like that about it, but, um... I'm just, like, thinking about how people here today are excluded from military service when they have asthma or allergies against Poland 
and stuff. And they have like, the one guy has like brittle bones and this guy gets severe migraines. Imagine they get a migraine during, during, during a mission. Poland, <laughs> not Poland, Poland, like, you know, the, <laughs> you silly goose. <laughs> <laughs> Allergies to <laughs> pollen. <laughs> pollen? How do you say that in English? Pollen, yeah. Blade, there you go. This is a game, not RL. Yeah, of course, I know, duh. But kills a little bit the immersion, I think. Everybody seems to be so sick. But maybe that's just the future and this is just the the, the baby stuff compared to what they people are really have to deal with on the normal basis. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Goodbye. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Ah! Found her! Finally! Okay, lady, I chose you as my snooze new partner of this playthrough, and I hope you agree with that. What do you say? I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... And ends on ends one. And pukey, thank you very much for the follows, guys. I never probably thanked you for saving me from the Gath Commander. If you hadn't shown up, don't mention you're welcome. Just part of a mission. Don't mention it. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. <laughs> I know you took a chance. Crimson thinks of the follow this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. I know. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. I'd like to talk about you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. You must get lonely. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. Why is that? Do you like your job? Why is that? You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. Can I hair ten uh, tentacles be put in pigtails? It'd be kind of cute. Her hat looks like it's instead of a bicycle helmet. <laughs> Is a space archaeologist essentially? Hey, cat. This sounds boring. It's hilarious. Something like you're right. That's pretty boring. Eyebrow waves. Cool. Not much to tell. No, she's one hundred and six years old. Not one hundred and twenty. Mass Effect 1? Mass Effect 1 indeed. Hi, welcome in. Uh, it's not foolish. Do you like it? It's not foolish. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these <laughs> wondrous, good luck mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. I'm fascinating? Ooh. <laughs> Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No, I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. 
I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> what? What? Asylum donates 95.55 to Liss and says, Great stream, I love Mass Effect, but really enjoyed your singing too. Looking forward to hearing you sing again soon. Oh, gosh, guys, you're killing me today. Damn. Thank you so much, Asylum, for that. I really appreciate that. Oh, oh my lord. Guys, can we get some more hype in chat, please? Everybody spam some emotes. Just, just, just hype. Hype, 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 hype. Or, or some chongs or claps or hyper or something like that. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so mind blown, guys. Thank you. <sighs> I think I need the second beer soon. I wasn't serious. Relax. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. No. Now you know why I You're prefer cute. to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. <laughs> I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. That sounds like me. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. Sorry, culture. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. And we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. Cat, thanks for the follow. My Welcome. people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. What rumors? Like what? Most of the inaccuracies Hi, are Bishop, centered hello. around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. <laughs> okay, let's go. <clears throat> uh, how's that possible? That's disgusting. <laughs> no, how's that possible? I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic <laughs> John Natal, elements of their individual and racial identities. See a Witcher fan. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. How about the other parent? What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Who was your father? Well, father doesn't... <laughs> Feel a bit like black sheep at the moment. Why, Morokai? She wants to study you up close and naked. Ooh, it's very open her relationship. No, that's okay. Liz just got really excited about the new crewmate. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> uh, can you show me alone? Who was your father? Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner, though I know my father if you want to use that term, was another Asari. You can do that. You know who? Benezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. 
It is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Wow, that's like the opposite of being a mudblood in the in the Harry Potter universe. Oh my, snoo snoo. Age dif difference? <laughs> Who cares? She's an adult in her age, although a young one, and I'm a young adult in my species, so pfft. A brain bang, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, brain snoo. <laughs> you don't know that? Wait, is it possible Benizia's partner was embarrassed by the union? She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. You don't know that, that's terrible. Then why'd she do it? You don't know that. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. How do they deal with that? You as Sari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Thousand. Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even Lies. after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Okay. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Age is but a number. Who cares? Exactly. I mean, as long as they're old enough, you know. <laughs> but after that... <laughs> Imagine being ashamed for being a pureblood. I mean... I think they just wanted to make something different. Because it's like... The opposite of what, like, people were... Like, humans were bullied here. So, I think I talked to everybody now. Age is but a number. Exactly. How dare you be pure blood? Thank you for the mana, Smitster. I think it's kind of seem as inbreeding. Maybe, yeah, maybe it is. It's nothing gained, so like they don't they don't get more traits, physical traits, I guess. Being pure blood is almost like inbreeding for us. Yeah, probably. <sighs> Guys, I hate to do it, but I think I have to take another break. But that is gonna be the last one of today. Uh, I'm gonna get my second beer and then we continue. Okay, take a short break. I'll show you the clips. And I'll see you afterwards. Have fun. <laughs> Escalated a teeny tiny bit. <laughs> I own you! My shrink's office is right near here if you want to work through some of that shit. Yeah, because you're a walking advertisement for therapy! Eee, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Yeah, because you're a walking advertisement for therapy! <laughs> Come on, don't fall flat again. No, why is he always doing that? Are you fucking kidding me? What is this? What happened? Are we running or walking here? What is he? Why is he always falling? Press E, E. Hey, hey, lady. You know what? You're a one nasty fuck. You're really making my skin crawl. This is not how you flirt. You know what? You should see a doctor for that shit. Why do you exist? <laughs> I just hope you have proper hatred for yourself. <laughs> you make me want to puke. <laughs> hey, you. Really? <laughs> this is bad. Lady. You should get some help with that personality of yours. Lady, lady. I want to what exactly is wrong? <laughs> Why are you still breathing? <laughs> uh, uh, contacts. A small, personal, computerized device. Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh! Security. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, 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 no. Whoa! 
appreciate that. <laughs> oh. Oh no! Are you checking your every girl in bikini you see? Maybe. Don't be giving me that shit. That's terrible. Tactical truck. Hello. I love how they just get out. When he's just too big, you know. <laughs> oh boy. Ah! <laughs> oh, who, who planted that thing there? I don't know anything about that. <laughs> oh Lord! Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> Why? 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 What? This clip was so traumatizing. I'm sorry you had to see this, guys. Scarlet, thanks for the follow. Skull guys, why is it censored? Why? <laughs> because it was disgusting. <laughs> Skull guys, thanks for for being here. <sighs> nice cold beer. Okay, where was I? Uh, d d d d we have some other quests, right? Um, I wanted to go to the Hydra system, Argos Row. Hydra, Hydra. Uh, uh. Uh, where do I go for the space map? Where's my space map? <laughs> show me, show me the space. There you go. We're just watching that one. <laughs> Classic. Yes, Liz. Why? <sighs> how, how do I know Artemis? The Milky Way. Do I have to go further out? No. Am I- can I not do it yet, guys? Can I not do the quest that I want to do now? The Hydra thing? I don't see anything Hydra. It's being lightening up the side of beer. <laughs> Sparta. Artemis, Milky Way. Argos Rose, not the one that I'm looking for, right? I'm so confused. Which one do I have to go? You can only the main are marked. Is it is it Argos Row? Was that the one? Hydra is Argus Row, I think. Okay. Hydra, there you go. Travel to another system? Hell yes, let's go. I thought I'm looking for Hydra and then for Argus Row. And Message the coming one. in. Patching it through. Okay, keep keep. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, Meet me on the Citadel, so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge, on the Presidium. She blinked. Shit, what did she say? Where is she gonna wait? Fuck. <laughs> Was it Saiba? Shit, guys, where do I gotta go? Citadel. What? There's no Citadel here, is it? Hi, Selena. Welcome. Hello, hello. She went to the Citadel. Wait. What? Citadel is its own location. I was supposed to go here. How are you doing, Selena? Main quest appear on the galaxy view. On the galaxy view, you see clusters. When you enter a cluster, you get to the exit system. Each system has one landable planet. Generally, 7% of the site missions are found by exploring, so anything you visit, land is progress. Okay. 
eating pasta. Ooh, I'm so hungry, man. I, I cannot wait to eat something quality made uh, oven potato wedges and some nice sauce and and beans. Oh, I'm so so looking forward to that. What are you what are you having with with pasta? Like, what is the sauce? Hey, JG, welcome. How you doing? Even just a separate mission. Oh, I'm back. Welcome back, Norseman. So, you you tell me I should just go and check something out? Survey. Okay. I'm not going to read every planet's description, okay? Message coming in. Patching it through. That was Cyrus and Venom trigger. You can do the quest. Okay. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. Okay, let's land and see if we can help these guys. Also, hi, hi. Oh, shit, nuggets. Okay. Liara has this. And Tali has. Ooh. Let's take them, ladies. Sweet basil marinara. Beans. Ooh, that sounds delish. Selena, damn. Oh no, I'm back in the Mako thing. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, wait, let's check the map. So we have. Can I make. Can, you, can I set multiple markers at the same time? I cannot. Okay, but this is the closest. So let's go there first, which is here. It's a ladies' mission now. Yeah, let's go. Feels Marco. <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to go on the mountain? Ah, fuck. That's not gonna work, is it? Can I go around the mountain? Yeet! I can do it! I can do it! Oh, fuck gravity! Oh, come on! Oh. <laughs> Why? Come on, turn around! Turn around! Oh shit, nuggets. Oopsie poopins. Hell yeah! Look at me, pro driver. Let's go. Oh wait, this is this is the front. Oops. Whee! Oh god. <laughs> Fuck gravity. That's my motto. <laughs> this is not Skyrim Wars. It's not. Damn. I thought this is the future Skyrim Wars. Yeet! But seriously, how am I supposed to get there? Maybe I can climb up this way? This looks kinda climbable. A bit. A bit-ish. <laughs> Wait, there was the- oops. Oh, there it is. If she opens. How the hell are you supposed to get here? Usually. Okay, this is an even level, right? And we're standing. Oh, it works. Okay. Tyrion corpse? Recover artifact? Oh, shit. Wait, this is better. Uh... Oh, 
Okay. Thanks. I'll follow. Uh, uh, feel free to climb mountains. The terrain and make a were designed with that mi that in mind. Keep in mind physics will still apply. Meaning, you will climb up. You gotta do it via sideways and straight up. Don't tell me how to climb a mountain. <laughs> So next we gotta go here. This way. Good. This is down the hill. I'm running up that road. I'm running up that hill. Running up the senses. Land Rover version we could do the same place of the mug. <laughs> wow! I like the boost feature along with it. That's handy as hell. Uh Deli, thanks for the follow. Welcome. We'll give Liz a vehicle. You guys are such bullies. Maybe we need maybe we need some nice tunes while we drive. Let's go. You know what? How about How about some How about some <laughs> <laughs> or <laughs> Not your thing? How about How about <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Okay, enough. Now some proper stuff. Uh, Do you guys think we get another one of these little yes! monsters? It's a trap. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Did you see how far he flew? Wow. Damn. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. No. Oh, man. They were coming from everywhere. Oh, shit. I haven't saved in ages. Fuck. I have to do everything again, right? Fuck my life. Here we go again. When you land, the game makes an autosave. Yeah, but still have to climb the mountain again. way this is the right way that's the way uh-huh uh-huh I like it uh-huh uh-huh Christine hi how are you doing thank you so much for the six months welcome back how are you doing you land the game makes no save yeah yeah Oh my fucking god. 
Okay, try again. I hate this. There you go. F5. Ready. No, not talking. Ent order, entering. Ain't no. Hey, no mountain high enough. Hey, no valley low enough. Hey, no river wide enough to keep me from getting to my loot. Hell yeah. Nothing is gonna stand between me and looting. Uh, oh my god, why is this so tough? <laughs> why me and Llama keep saying quick save and you're a friend? F5. Yeah, I know, but I, I didn't see the message in quite some time. This Mako... Makoaka? Malako, the mountain lizard. <laughs> wow! Okay, fighting in the thing is horrible, but like driving around by itself is pretty fun. Whee! Okay, right before I get there, I'm gonna take a break. Wait. Am I close to something else? No. Because it seems like there's stuff. By the way, guys, again, I made a new merch item. You can get baseball caps now and other goodies on my in my merch store. Uh, yesterday, I was in dire need of a baseball cap or some kind of hat. The sun was shining down on my, my dark hair and my brain underneath was boiling hot. Um there is the wreckage. I do not see any survivors there. Careful, Shepherd. I've got a bad feeling about this. So I made a Malaka cap now. With the word Malaka on it. <laughs> don't get too close, don't get too close. Yes! It's a trap! Oh, what is happening? <laughs> Everything is happening. Is there stuff left? Or is there some bad boys left? Do we 36 flip varial? <laughs> this ain't Tony Hawk, sir. <laughs> scanning. Scanning. No hostiles detected. Can I save? No. Aha! Can I just drive you over? I, love, I like driving them over. That's fun. Oh, shit. Oh. Get into vehicle. Okay. <laughs> but what about the... What about the loot? Wasn't the loot? Says that there's loot up there. The stuff you see in the minimal is not visible on the large map and it's mostly minerals. Okay. <laughs> Jeru gifted the stuff to Selena. Selena, enjoy the emotes that I made. Wow! God damn, where are they? Oi! Oh, I think I found them. Ha, there you go. Thank you very much. Oh my god! <laughs> what? No, put that away. What? I have to... S What's this thing? Who put this there? 
Thank you, Jaru. Thank you very much. If you open your equipment, you will see what you got. I take it all. Okay, so let's open the map. Survey thorium deposit. But am I done in this area here? I wish I could zoom in. Can I zoom in? Hmm. I haven't been here. Let's go there. <laughs> Hack the mineral. I know, right? Wait. Oh. Seriously, if I would be in that in that vehicle, I'd be so I'd be puking <laughs> in triangles. <laughs> Gosh, damn. Hey, Arnim. I'm gonna be a left. Puking a triangle takes notes. <laughs> uh, I don't suppose you played the division, ha division, have you? No, I haven't. What kind of game is that? This is Commander Snoo Snoo and the best driver in the Citadel. <laughs> wow, it must be crap. <laughs> well, honestly, come on, in this kind of terrain, how are you supposed to drive like this? Selvich. There you go. Give me all the stuff. Give me all the stuff. Division's a third person shooter. I love it. Ooh. Okay, a third person shooter. Uh. Okay, how do I get out of here? This seems to be the best shot that I have, so let's go. Wait, actually, I don't really have to get out of here again, right? I could just... I could just be, like... Return to Normandy? I hope I'm done here. How do I know that I'm done with the planet when I've been to the three locations? Have you tried Dragon Age? Yes, but I've, I haven't streamed it. Hi, Shaka. Dova Queen. Dova Queen. Da -da 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 -da. Do you like this game? So far, it's fun, yeah. Okay. Did I not have a job here? I'm a bit confused. This map is done. Pretty much after you visit uh, all the points of interest, you're done. Okay. I have a two heat hazard. This is where I've just been, right? Where was I here? Where was I? I was here, right? Yeah. So... I'm confused. Did I not have a quest for the Hydra area? I still have to get into this, like, stuff, guys. I'm sorry. Uh. Is it done now? Have I done what I was... No. I'm confused. I had a quest here. I'm confused. Yes, you were just here in the other system of Argos Cluster. Okay, so I go I go out of here. Shaka, thank you very much for the 11 months, almost a year. Thank you so much. Do I have to go to Phoenix? 
The quest was for the signal that turned out to be a geth ambush. This thing is done. Ah, okay. I like the screen. This is funny. It's like, it's, it's level of Resident Evil door opens loading screen thing. <laughs> And this is just like the super peaceful music, and then the in between is like, <laughs> and then suddenly peaceful music again. <laughs> Tun Tao, Milky Way cluster system plan. Is the structure of the world map? Okay, okay, I can land here actually. Okay, survey. Okie dokie. Okay, this is nothing. Seems to be good. Was this the one where it could land? Yeah. Okay, let's land here. <laughs> so, so, what do you think of this as a game, mechanics, etc.? I'm always curious how first timers react to a 15 year old game. So, it is very. Um, Dialogue heavy so far. I don't know if that's I, I was already told it's gonna change with uh, Mass Effect 2 and 3 but um, So far it's good. I'm just like But I have that issue with every game the first Depending on how long the game is but the first few hours I'm gonna struggle with what is important. What do I have to focus on? What are the items that I really need? Ha, you know just learning the game and that always takes some time, but then I will get in the flow, and usually I'm getting decent then. Thank you, Sleeper. Thank you very much. Uh, off with your head! Thank you very much for the, f for the follow. Welcome. So let's let's get a male group now. Let's have Garrus. And then... Caden... Yeah, let's go. It's fair. This is definitely a game for multiple playthroughs. <laughs> Bam! Explode methodically from the outer orbit planets to the inner ones. Uh, I'm here, so this is the closest. There's actually a quest here? Hidden structure. Hmm. Okay, let's go there first. It's also the closest. Now, can we overcome this mountain, though? That is the big question. Oh boy. No, don't do this. <laughs> don't do this game, don't do this. Well, yeah, guys, you can contribute to the next 12 hour stream, which you're gonna have. Uh, every month we have a 12 hour stream. Ooh. And you can contribute to that with your channel points, which you acquire by just watching or lurking or just having a tab open. So if you like this one, maybe you want to contribute to the next one. I love doing- oh shit, I think I'm under- I'm under attack! Controller aim, controller aim. Mass Effect 2 has some good quality of life improvements for being more clear on what to do. Okay. We should ask Liz for photo mode. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> I knew it! 
<laughs> ah, too easy. Space police, open up! Am I more quiet when I sneak? Dum 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 da 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 da. Uh oh. Who the fuck are you? Garrus, okay, hi. Mate, I'm trying to shoot somebody here. Controller. Garrus is doppelganger, the, blue, the red version, the red edition. Come on. I need some weapons that- oh. I need some weapons that completely- what? That completely ignore these shields or something. How do I get up there? Oh, ow! Ooh, ah. shoot uh, a grenade, you know? for the follow. Okay, he gone, I think. So one left. Here, eat this. Oh no! My health was quite low. Whoops. Suddenly, whoopsie poopins. Can you use a shotgun? Do they are they better? Getting there was a pain in the ass. <laughs> Negative health is problematic. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah I know the shotgun is good when you're close, but I don't know if they're good against these shields, like these um, blue, blue shield things. Hydrate, of course.
Space sadness also, yeah, you, can, you can't, but agree with Corey. I suggest you check out weapons and armor modifications in the equipment screen. They definitely help. Yeah, but this... Do I have to cha like change that so often? Why is this grayed out? Why is this black? Is, that, is there a reason why it's black? Everything is blue, why is this black? Is it a level... A level cap for that? Can wear heavy armor yet? Aha, you have to unlock that, okay. So... I'm not really gonna use a pistol, I think. Shotgun. So it seems to make way better damage and heat sink. It's just one point accuracy rating worse, so I feel like this might be better. Assault rifle... More damage... Less heatsink capacity... And less accuracy rating... No, this can go... Okay. Oh boy. Let's sell these two blue slots on your equipped. What? A pretty useful mass effect. Hmm. But I have to I have to focus on some kind of uh, gear, right? Or or can you go with everything? If you press X you can modify your weapons. Uh, How do you know? Oh there. Ammo upgrade. Oh god, this game is so complex already. <laughs> Pretty active, hammerhead, phasic rounds, lots of phasic rounds, anti-personal rounds. Hey doing this, enjoying the game so far? This is one of my favorite series. Hey Ultima, I'm good. And I enjoy it. But I'm still learning, so it's gonna take some time. Mod slots like in Horizon. So wait, a lancer is an assault rifle. Let's focus on shotgun first. Maybe something that like completely shreds everything. Radioactive, armor piercing rounds, specified design, ultra metal. Hmm. This sounds good. Equip it. Can I just have one? Improved sighting. <laughs> I guess after 11 hours, it's, it's a bit much to learn about that stuff right now. Uh, 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 I'm not sure why, it just occurred to me, but given one of Liz's aim for the playthrough, it's odd that we skipped the Asari concert back at the Citadel. I forgot about it actually, Imstu. Wait, only percent lines. You can have an ammo mod and a weapon mod, same for armors. Grissies of Matter Enemy Legendary Edition, they took it out of the game. But why is it still a thing then? 
Phasic rounds bypass the shields. That's the kind of ammo you're looking for. Phasic rounds. Ab mm. Why did the music completely stop? Phasic rounds. But they're absolutely the same. Why is it three times? Two slots, the box in blue. Ah, up here! Right next to the name. Okay, I got it, I got it. Also called squash projectiles, designed for flattened on impact, increasing the amount of physical force transferred to the target. Seems good, I don't know. You can... You equipped your squad as well. You can have 20 ammo mods. It's not just your tune. Guys, I know. You got... <laughs> it's just... It's been a long day. And this is so much right now. <laughs> so please be patient, okay? But I'm, I'm, I will not have this down today. And I will not have this down on Sunday when I stream again. Maybe Monday. <laughs> I need I need time to learn games. Especially if it has like... Hours of talking. And... So many things to learn. It's just too much for me today. So... I, I, will, I will learn it, promise. But not today. And I will probably ignore a bunch of the game's features. Because it's just too much for me to learn right now. Adieu and Wonk. Thank you very much for the follows, guys. Welcome. My hands are tied 24 minutes. Hand mix and hamburger. Who? Don't worry, Liz. A lot of time you pick up as you play and choice. Exactly. I'm, go I'm going to learn it eventually. Also, in this screen, I don't really know what I was looking at. You know, so I have stuff for. I don't. I don't really know what I should focus on right now. To be honest, is it a sold rifle? So, do this deck. Can I, can I put two phasic? damage things in there. Thank you, Adieu. I really appreciate everybody who's lurking. Empty. Okay. Armor piercing rounds. I feel like this is as, as an... It removed the one. Oh, I hate my life. What am I doing wrong? I wanted to select the second one. I'm too stupid for this. <laughs> I thought I can put two mods in there, but I cannot select the second one. I just overrode the other one. Fuck this. Stinger. It's a little pistol, huh? Radioactive. I just, I'm just gonna give everything basic stuff. No, wait. Hardened ceramic plates can be applied to body armor suits, increasing their effectiveness, plus 9 damage protect protection. Mechanical augmentation increase the brute strength of the wearer, allowing them to deliver powerful blows when rifle butting or pistol whipping opponents. 20% smash damage, <laughs> nice. Stimulant pack 3. Armor equipment with stim packs releases targeted shots of adrenaline and speed of recovery. I think I'm gonna take this one. Can I ask a question? I don't know. You just asked one, so... Let's hit F5. Yeah, that seems good. The other slot is for the other kinds of mods. The second tab. Okay, let's see if we can get these guys down now. Oh shit, man. They fast as fuck, boy. My position sucks! <laughs> Why can I not shoot?
Wait, is, is everybody down but me? How do I revive my people? How do I revive them? I've been watching all streams. I think you have done incredibly well for someone who never who knew nothing about Mass Effect, so need to apologize. Liz, what? I was gonna ask where you get the necklace from. Pretty. It's from Yonna Yinton. Skill? Unity? What? <gasps> ah! Is that a... Saved right before this, so his head is a fucking bullet sponge. Yes, it is. Why can I not pick up what oh, open up? Hi, Lily. Hello again. <laughs> Shotgun doesn't really seem smart to me either. Like, I don't, I don't really know. What's in here? Why are you following me? Damn it, it doesn't even hurt him at all. Uh... The weapons are not made for holding down the fire button. Well, but these guys are fucking tanks. What, what are you... And the issue is, they're tanks, first off, and second off, if I don't hit them regularly, they're gonna heal, slash their, their armor is gonna refill, so what am I gonna do? Xbox 360 is way back. Hey, the Glona. When it came out, it made me interested in science fiction for the first time. It was great. Nice. Pirates! You can punish them? I don't even know how to how to like melee attack. I don't know if the game ever told me. Hey mom, welcome. <laughs> Good 
run away. But I wanna... Maybe I'm just not supposed to be here. I don't know, is this... Is there like level cap stuff and it's I'm just here very early or something? <sighs> but I literally have nothing. What am I gonna do? Wait, I, I can't give them anywhere. I should remember that the game did tell you because you said, why would I melee when I- No! That was when I was looking at something else, but the game was never like, press this button to melee. At least I don't remember that. Casual crow in enemies region and usability. Did I accidentally switch the weapon? Johnny, thank you very much. Recharging? God damn it. Okay, Garrus is alive. Fuck. Ah, no! Run, 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 run! Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I give up. I give up. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to do this right now, so maybe we're just going back later. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm, why I'm doing this anyways in the first place. I don't even have a quest here. But it's too late and I, I can't get it done right now, so fuck this. Hi, Full Metal God. Heart mode is not good. It's not a heart mode, it's a uh, veteran. Uh, I feel like I'm not making any damage, really.
So, what I, what I was wondering, guys, can I... Can I basically level everything in this game, or should I better focus on something? It used to automate if someone is in your face and you press shoot, but I think they changed in Legendary Edition. Have you used to I I don't know how really to use these things. Always over this menu thing? So level about eight tenth of all, okay. It will max everything. Well, but if it's the majority, then I don't really have to, like, be super picky. Like, for example, in Witcher, that's basically not possible to level everything. Maybe with mods. Almost you can level many skills to max, but not all together. This, what? Well, Jaru, I'm gonna show you my quest. Okay, here. These are all the quests that I have. <laughs> so, it's just uh, pick one, right? It's not really making it's it's not making a difference whether I go to the citadel now or not. We can actually do maybe some do some some main missions. Investigate Pharos to see why the colony was attacked. Hi Montana, welcome. Is this drunk? I'm not drunk. It's been it's been eleven and a half hours of streaming. That's why the that's why I'm a little bit oof. It's a meeting. So what? Early on, you want to focus on what you use the most. Yeah, that 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 I do. I, f I focus mostly on assault rifles. How's the aiming? It's okay. It's like with every other game, but it's a third-person shooter, so it's not that bad. First person, I would probably play with mouse and keyboard. Mm. Fur was it? Fergo? No, fur. Fuck. Wait. Let me let me open the journal again. Pharos. Pharos. I have no clue no clue where this is. Pharos here. Pharos, Pharos. But we had we had talking the entire game so far. There was like maybe five times where we were in combat and the rest was just talking the entire stream. So I feel like actually doing and exploring stuff, you know? Wait, let's, let me do surveys on the other ones first. Thing. Welcome. Hope you're holding up well for the 12 hours. So cool you're playing the series. My favorite of all time. That's nice. Have I seen this? Hmm. Johnny not noticed? No, I'm not drunk. Promise. I'm not- I'm not drinking enough to be drunk in the first place. And I don't tend to be drunk and I don't like being drunk. To answer your question, pick one weapon and then armor, so you can unlock heavy armor. Then the rest of your- of the perks fitness is great for the HP. I have- I haven't even unlocked that. Can I even see my skills at this point? I can't, okay. What? Why? Wait, is this- is this something with a bigger... Is this something where I... I'm confused. Am I on a planet with, like, civilization or something now? That I can leave my planet through the front door? They're not yeeting me down? Cannon squad. P 
pick one weapon and then armor so you can unlock heavy armor one armor what do you mean one armor This plan is where you dock, you gotta leave from the front door. And I assume this is one of those. Where's the front door? <laughs> uh, front door? Hello? Where you at? Hello? Hello? Squishy at the moment, I would say more armor, more HP. Near Joker. So I'm wrong? What the fuck? I will never. <laughs> ah, this place is so confusing. The armor advice was about putting points in the armor skill to get better armor when you level. Is it Mass Effect 1? Yes, Nostalgia. Hi. Okay, so how do I get to the exit? Do I go down the hallway or up the stairs? Combat armor is a skill. Okay, by, you said pick an armor, so it, it sounded like there's options to pick different armors. Up. Okay, thank you. And... Yeah. So near Joker is not at Joker, right? Joker's over there. So how do I get out now? Or is it is it there? Like, literally. Is this the door? Ah, the airlock! There you go. Or do I have to be... The comment... De Decontaminate. <laughs> oh, now I have to pick the people that take with me. Oh, my least favorite part. Parting from people. <laughs> uh, uh... Oh, I hate this. Why do I have to do this? I like Garrus and I like the Aron. Let's go. I'm just gonna do with favorites now. In the general direction of Joker. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. David Al Talakani. Hello. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who? Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Oh, what the fuck? Why is she automatically changing the weapon sometimes? I must be clicking something. There you go. You still alive? Alani! Alani, enjoy the emotes that I made. Welcome! Thank you so much! Ashi, thank you very much!
Okay, are we good now? Whew. They are a CC god. What is CC? Yeah, six months is crazy. Alani, I hope you enjoy the emotes for six months. You gotta be stuck here for a while. <laughs> Ew. Not these malakas, please. Oh shit, they're everywhere and so fucking fast! Have you been to Novaria? I no. I don't know what that is. I assume a colony. That the guy! Thank you for the five gift subs! Thank you so much, my friend. Quick safe. Head to the tunnels. Make sure they're secure. But what if I find Geth there? Hello. Are you saying you won't go? No. Decided we will snoo snoo. Thing on the floor, thank you for the, for the vibe gifted stuff. Guys, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Crowd control. Aha, uh -huh. okay. I think it was mentioned earlier, but I didn't read the explanation for CC before. So I was a bit confused. Thank you very much. Hi, Nocturne. Thank you very much. Both that the guy and thing on the floor and as you feel, feel us. I hope I said it correctly. Thank you very much for all the gifted subs and for the six month in advance. Wow, we were. But I, I don't know how to stop the gap. Stop the gap. Okay, I'm working on it. So, what is my. That's an ovaria to investigate reports. Uh huh. It's an ovaria person. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Oops. It's usually a term used in MMOs, really. Are you- I, I can't tell. Are you dead? Are you just chilling? I'm not really sure. Ledra. I feel, I feel the like it. Kill us all. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that, mate. Oh, we're getting close, we're getting close, we're getting close. Maybe through here. No, not through here. Maybe through here? My headaches. Maybe here. Fight Den. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since. Watch out! We've oh. got Geth in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! There's a planet. Uh huh. Is it me or is the the oh. is the the, the covering just super bulky sometimes? Also gone. Okay, good. Can I save? Cannot save. Guess a bit sophisticated in the sequels, but it's pretty wonky in this. 
Spatzilla, hi. <laughs> good old Mass Effect 1 jank. Ooh. I don't know if I would consider this good. <laughs> what are these things? It's just lasers floating in the air. What is this? Okay, he dead. You know what? Eat this. There you go. Apparently there's one asshole over there. Thank you so much for the 5,000. Montana, thank you for the 100. Guys, you're amazing. Thank you so much. There you go. Are you dead? They dead. They dead? We did it. <laughs> Level 4 high train. Holy smokes. Thank you, guys. Now we can update Fidan and get a vehicle safely out of the Normandy. The Geth base is our next objective. But there's loot, lady. Loot. Oh. Indy, hi! Indy, how are you? How's your new flat? You moved, right? Are you, are you done moving already? No, no, you're amazing. No, you guys are. What's the hype train? <laughs> Indy, thank you so much for 26 months. How are you doing, my friend? Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy the chunkies. How are you? How How's Ripley? Welcome in. Gosh, guys, we have not even 13 minutes left of the of the stream. Then we did it. 12 hours. And then I'm going to I'm going to get some good dinner. <laughs> Super hungry. Move is still ongoing. Unpacking sucks. Ripley's still confused. Oh, I understand. Poor Doku. Liz, Jaru. What? Is there a reason of, of life to loot and snoo snoo? And food. Oh god, they're everywhere! Oh no! Shotgun 
one is nice. Anonymous. <laughs> Anonymous, you gotta stop. <laughs> this is too much. Sweetheart. Another 1006. I, I, I'm not even sure if that Anonymous is always the same Anonymous. But Anonymous. Sir lurks a lot. I love that name. Oh, we were. Thank you very much for the follow. And Anonymous for the 1060 biddies. I, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. So we're just going back the way that we came so that we can talk to the Stan guy. <laughs> Thank you for another 300 VDs. Generally forgot it was 12 hour stream today and was wondering why you were still here. Yeah, it's 12 hour stream. Don't get me wrong. I love the story. <laughs> ah! Damn. I love snipers. I love shooting stuff. Ashgoth, 1,500... Oh, guys. Killing me softly. This well, it looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Another 1,000! Mlem, oh. <laughs> for no reason. Okay. Mlem. Thank you very much for the mlem. You two need to heal. Look at you. Sheesh. Wrong way, Liz. But there was loot, Frank Hart. If there's loot, it was not a wrong way. Never. There's another one. Doesn't look like it's been activated yet, though. We should keep looking. Wrong way or another. <laughs> choo choo. Thank you guys for the hype train. Level 4, 70 subs, and 809. No, 8,960 bits. Thank you guys so much. This stri striped away a lot in 2 and brought back some of it in 3. I like all the games, but when it comes to the combat and movement system, 3 is my jam. I'm very excited to see how that is. Guys, where where the hell am I going? I'm kind of lost. It's dark. I'm tired. <laughs> how do we get home? Do I go this way? No, this is a dead end. I'm confused. Is there a quick turn like in... In... Oh, oh! How did I... I... I smacked. I smacked the nair, but I smacked it. Upstairs? Upstairs? What? I, I was completely wrong then. But it seems so familiar. Back up the stairs. Okay. Back up the stairs. Back up the stairs. Pharaohs would be kind of a labyrinth. Melee! Wah! <laughs> Back and up the stairs. It got turned around there. Okay, I'm going all the way up now. It's good for the booty cheeks. Good workout. Okay, and now... This way. Elevator? Was he out of service? Rude. And the stream at the end of stream. My luck, <laughs> Husky. I'm gonna be streaming again on Sunday and playing these games for the next couple of weeks, probably. On Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Uh, and you can check the time when I start in the panels. It converts my starting time in your time zone. So, yeah. Also, you guys could follow if you want to get the notifications when I go live. Hello? Wait, there's the... Ah, here they are. <laughs> they were just Without chatting here. Cool. Thanks Easy. to you. <laughs> I'm just glad your colony's safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the guest. Husky things They the may fall. have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Don't worry. Why? What do they want? If you want answers, go ask them yourselves. We don't know what they're after. They Sassy. came, they attacked us, like that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. 
a good place to start looking if you want answers. <laughs> Fosbury, thank you very much. Should be right for numbers now. Guys. That... I haven't even looked at the donation goal in, like, a long time. And now I see it's 769.69. That's almost 800 bucks, mate. That's so much. And 231 subs. And 36,100... Oh, gosh, God. You see them? You see them tears? <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for your love and support, and I really appreciate you. You guys are legends. Johnny, thank you very much. For warning, warning, Liz X is about to crash. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I try to stay strong now for the last five and a half minutes. Johnny, thank you very much for the gifted sub. And that guy, thank you for the gifted sub as well. Catholic Giggles! Ooh, I haven't seen Catholic Giggles in a while. I hope they're good. What kind of Porsche are you getting? Oh man, I wish I lived in Switzerland. That is... That is not gonna pay my rent. <laughs> oh. Thanks for streaming this. Of course. You are the legend. No, you guys. Uh, Exogeny? It's Exogeny. It's the company Thank most you guys. of us Skull, to you. before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. We're prepared, no problem. Good. Mm, uh, we're prepared. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. Geth base? What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, nah, water, chubby. and power. <laughs> I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now. <laughs> sorry, we're sorry. Getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. Hmm. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. How do you like the game? Are you gonna stream it more? Yes, we're gonna play this four times a week now. The Swiss are taxed at 110%. Which should be captain of a ship RAL is? No. First of all, I don't, I don't like the responsibility. Um, and uh, second of all, I don't know how to fly a ship. <laughs> to hear the arrest of the Energizer Bunny, he was charged with battery. <laughs> so talk to all the peoples. Got it. Anonymous gifted another sub. All these anonymous people here. Mystery man, I hope you enjoy the chonkies. You are so amazing. No, you are, Chubby. You are. Why not eight days a week? Also, <laughs> what? Um, what else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. 
They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Hmm. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Okay, guys. We have... A bit less than one and a half minutes left. I'm gonna exit the game now. And then we can talk for a bit, and then I'm gonna leave. Why are you Geth? What do you mean, Chow? <laughs>